I think he's literally making his way out here. But, all right, you're unmuted. So I don't know. What are we going to do? What is all the... Uh... Oh! No, you're right. I don't have a hat on. And it's just throwing me off. Cause, okay, so this is happening. Is he walking out there? What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Welcome to another watch along. Greetings from the Jersey Shore, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Huh? When did the mullet go bye bye? Man, that mullet went. It went bye bye a while ago. It left. It left. Wait, that's not right. There's some things messed up, Snoo. On my one host, what I do? Oh, hang on. Coming back. Yeah, go back to Cam. I'll fix it. After the UFC induction, I made sure to walk around like a dummy. I made sure to walk around and and get the uh, get the hair get with the mullet. I had to go into the Hall of Fame with the mullet, and then and then we cut it off. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what up, man? How you doing? Fight Pass YouTube Wilson. Look at that. B double X one. What are you doing, Mega Chronic? One love. Look at that. Love fist. How you doing? Sean Fansler. What up, Fansler? Yeah, man. Oh, okay. So we got Ebo. I know, right? We got Petrovsky coming up second. We got Felder, Bisping, and Megan Olivi. You know what I mean? So 14 fights jam packed. I feel like was that a boogie? You should be good to go. Probably not. But Angel Pacheco, 7'2, 3 plus. All right, he's 5'8, 135. Look at Callan Lofren. I don't think I'm saying it right though. Colon. Is it Colon? I gotta wait until they say it. But if I go over, can I switch, you switch over to now? Yeah, yeah. You, you right. should be able to switch. Look, they're going right into it. We got the first fight. They're out here. They're in. They're going. It's on. This has happened. Happened. All right. We got. All right. So you like you like it to Pacheco? But look at this. I want to hear you say his name. They're getting ready to say it, though. So. He's from Tyrone, Ireland. Hold on. What? Are you going to say his name? Kulin. All right. So what's up, gents? I watched Roadhouse and Conor McGregor was hilarious. I told you. How you not? Like, you know he's going to be funny. Conor can act, man. Conor can act. You know? Conor can act. Now look at Pacheco. No, he's got the plus 370. So we'll find out. Yeah. Felder is my favorite commentator. All right. I like that. I like that. We got Chris Weidman. Started off his career in Atlantic City. All right. Okay. Okay. That's I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. I think there's going to be great fights. I think it's going to be great. I mean, I'm excited. Yo, locomotive. How you doing? How you doing? What on earth happened to the rat, that rat mullet? Well, we shaved that off a while ago. You see, look, I got silver starting to break in here. Man, my hair's about to turn gray. I ain't trying to have a gray mullet. I'm getting old, man. When my hair turns silver, we're done. We're done. Now, look at that upright stance of, of, of uh, Lofren. Give me a paper and fix your uh, stats page, please. Oh, thank you. Let me try that. How's that working? There we go. Keelan Lofren looks like a powerhouse. The way he stands up. How's Matt doing? Matt's doing all right. Working out a lot. He's doing good. He's doing real good. Oh, that was a good right hand for Lofren. Look, Pacheco was in there. You know how Pacheco was like, he's trying to throw those light punches and kicks. Lofren stepped in with the big shot, stepped out the way that there. Jen's brother, just here to say hello. How you doing? Got to see family. There you go. Good night. Might catch you in a bit. Be real. Be good. Be real good, my friend. Be good, Doug. No, we don't want... To, oh, Jen's in the movie? Nah, you don't want to see Jen's in the movie. It just... I'd have too much fun. 
that upright stance. So look at that law firm with that upright stance. Yo, one love. Coach Jens with the gray hair, that's when it'll happen. Uh, it's time to start coaching when it gets completely silver. Like, you can see it in there. It's getting there. So, yeah, silver. Right, look at that. The way that Lawford's standing, he is up, upright, but he's wide stance on land that leader. That's that kick right there, Pacheco. Cla I'll be crashing down on that calf a couple more times. Look at that. Lawford wants to load that right hand. There you go. Pacheco kind of hunkered down. You look tougher with short hair. Well, I'm not trying to look. All right. I appreciate that. You mean I didn't look rugged with the mullet, though? And then fight pad, are we on, are we on uh, Facebook? Ebo's net and two fights, I think, right, Father? Facebook. I got that's one. I got to make sure I share my Facebooks. Something like that. And we'll do it in a minute. We'll do it in a minute, though. All right. So, again, stand in the center. Look, I like this. Lopper stand up. Double jab, double jab, right hand. He closed the distance. Good with that double jab, right hand. Look at that. Cracked Pacheco. Now here he's going to step in. Lawford got to sit back, look down that one, two. You can tell one's got the uh, more explosive punches. I like this Lawford. Look at that double jab, calf, get out the way. Fight past Facebook. Yeah, there it is. I need a mullet. I don't need a mullet. I'm telling you, I don't. I don't want a mullet. I started wrestling and Warren Dunn, much love. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I don't, I, I started wrestling with my son. I can't have that hair. That hair was ridiculous. Here's what happened. I'll tell the truth. This fight's happening though, so I feel like I should, I should probably watch this first, but we'll get into it in a minute. As the right hand by, by Lawford, but now I want to tell the damn story. I can't even think about it. Okay. My wife bunned it one time. Put my hair into a bun so I could wrestle. And then it started, I was like, and I shaved my head. She did that man bun. I took one look at that and shaved my head. Done. Done. Oh, Lawford's picking up with the right hand. Oh, Lawford. Pacheco, you better snap that hand out there because he's going to walk. There's a good right hand for Pacheco. Do it again. One, two. Calf kick all day, but he's cracking you with the one, two. He actually hit you with a three, two. My bad. I mean, a two, three. I quit. Change the stance. There's the hook. Sale fresh, sale fresh. The eight months, much love and appreciation. Sale. All subs, go support the UFC Twitch family. Lawford throwing the heavier shots, Doc. Lawford throwing the heavier shots. Pacheco could put together some little combination, jab, cross. I like that rear leg. He's throwing at the calf. But he's not, it's like he's not hitting with any kind of power. Lawford's cracking him with big shots. Tatiana, how you doing? You know what I mean? But it's like it's like Pacheco, look, he's hitting him clean, but it's just like he's just he's just popping him. He's not just uh, he's not cracking him. Like when Lawford hits him, you know what I mean? It's kind of shattering. Does that make sense? Trying to describe it? Day space dream, how you doing? Trying to work that out there. There you go. There's a couple jabs. There you bloodied him up. Pacheco! Get in there and throw that jab again. Let's go. I could rock a mohawk, but then that, but how about I just roll this like I like rolling this number two. I take a number two clipper, and that's it. It's my way of punishing myself for ever even thinking about putting a man bun in, even for a moment. Thinking, let me just move my hair out the way so I could wrestle. And let me see what this looks like. The minute it got knotted up, I went. And I walked right into the bathroom and just took it off. Like, nope, that ain't happening. No offense to those who roll the man bun. That's all on you. It's all on you. But I would rather shave my head. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather shave my head. Yo, what up, Mariner? Mariner, up, Maddie. How you doing, Maddie? Uh, neon zebra, what's going on? Everybody, all right? Everybody, good. Look, Lafren's got—he's bleeding at least. He's bleeding. And that's a good thing. Pacheco was able to give him back. Do I think Asana win? Let me see something. I think I'm. 
I'm all about Evo. I think Evo, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see this fight. You know what I mean? No way. Well, see, they, we do that, right? When they shave, they shave the eyebrows and they shave everything. I'm not doing that. I can't go that bald. That's no. I can't, I can't go, I can't go that bald. The monks do it and stuff when it, but yeah, I can't do that. Oh, there we go. That was the three, two, three for Pacheco. There's the jab. Lawford, oh, Lawford threw the double jab, right? Oh, look at that. But he's bleeding him up. Pacheco, come on. Oh, big right hand lands for Lawford. Here comes Lawford's pissed. Like, you can tell one's trying to be the slugger. The other one's trying to be the, like, landing those shots right there. Come on. Pacheco, quick hands, quick hands. Lawford trying to parry and jab over the top. Urseg will KO Pantoja and Brazil. I'm not going to argue with it. I like Ersig. Oh, right, you go. Double jab right at Pacheco. You just made Lawford into a wrestler, but he gets the takedown. Pacheco. Now Pacheco's going to, now Lawford's going to take him back. Pacheco. He had the double jab right hand. He rocked him. Joy. I don't know if she left yet. Joy. All right, maybe she didn't. I have to ask another way. Look at that. He's got the figure four around the body. Oh, you got to let him try to. He's, gotta, he's getting the rest. He's getting the rest. Let's go, Pacheco. Fight the hands. Lawford's going for a rear naked choke. No can do. Did I just see a 7 Eleven sign? Ah, uh, big gulps, huh? Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm always sitting up. Oh, now we got big shots. He's got, look, he's got that near wrist. Landing big shots. Pacheco can't get up. Pacheco, you got to at least block him. Come on, he's got the figure four around the waist. He's got that wrist control. And he's got to just keep landing shots. He lets you take about 18 to the head, but they were all pity pat shots. He's backpacking the dang out. I'm just how many times he's, he was just drilling him in the head. But that's all right. Punch yourself out. All right, now you got to try to get the reversal. He's got Lawford on his back, but he's still got the figure four body lock. They can't stop it right now, though. You know what I mean? What? That is awesome. Look at that. Now, again, he's got to figure out how to get out of this. We got to catch it, but we got to figure out how he's going to get out of this damn thing. Let's try to work your way out of it. Peel on the hands. Peel on the hands. Now, Lawford's going to try to flip him back over. He's going to flip him back over. He's back in that body lock. Big shots. Lafren's landed a bunch of them. He's got to try to come up. He's going to try to power half. He's got to try to power half and crack down on that head. Lafren's going to pop up. There you go. We're going to roll again. He's keeping it. There you go. Try to fight this off. And there you go. Break the grip. He broke the grip. Pacheco! Oh, now you got to be careful. He's going to try to turn into him. He's going to go for the mount. Nope, he's going to flatten you out again. Man, he let him just power you over. But now he's, and again, right hands. This kid's going to have a sore side of his head. I promise you, tomorrow, man, the side of his head is going to be sore. Now Lawford's going to try to go for that rear naked again. Look, he's going to peel it and slide out. See if he can slide out. Dude, he has had to work. My man just got half guard like a boss. Atta boy, Pacheco! Way to fight, you little savage. I can't believe this guy. Dude, if I was laughing right now, I'd be like, oh, man, I'm in trouble. Like, I'm in trouble. I just had that body figure for it for like a good three minutes, beating the brakes off the side of your off the side of your dome. And now all of a sudden, I'm in half guard. This kid is just muscling through all of it. <laughs> Yo, Johnny, how you doing? Johnny Gordner. Look at that. But now Lawford still got the throwing that right hand. Yo, what up, Bimo? I can't believe Pacheco is unfazed by these punches. Unfazed. He's standing back up. He's up. There you go. Lop Pacheco is on his feet. Lawford is bleeding out the nose, looking tired. Pacheco rips him with the right to the body. Let's go. Pacheco hit him with the right. Don't let him tap that head. Lawford trying to tap that head and go over the trip. No. He is one, love. Look at Pacheco. He's not even faded by it. Round three is going to be a nightmare for Lofren. Look, he's looking like he's got to be tired. This has got to have worn him out. 
Big boy shoulder standing upright. He's starting to move out of the way a little bit. And guess what? Pacheco's still moving forward. Pacheco, he can't punch hard, but if he could, man, if he snapped those punches in there, this would be a different game. Yeah, Nail Bomb. Well, not only his arms, but he had that figure four for how long? Now Pacheco's got to push up against the fence. If Pacheco could just snap those hands out there, woof. <laughs> oh, let's go, Pacheco. What's he, a plus 357? Ugh. Now, I'm not going to lie, though. That was, he probably gave that round up to a 10 9 ish. 10 8, maybe. But he's going to finish him. I, th- I bet you he might finish him right here. I had to do it. Apologies on the on the pause. What? Oh, Plantfield wins. So do I. I mean, Tatiana Suarez, that's my mm, champ champ in my mind. But Blanchfield would be right there to cause problems. Blanchfield's a beast. Yo, Metaverse Cop. Metaverse Cop, how you doing? Ah, do you see that one, love? Yeah, man. Pacheco has got mad. Yeah, this is impressive. I'm, I'm telling you, this is impressive. By the way, Fight Pass Facebook. Facebook Fight Pass. Fight Pass Facebook. I can't see the chat, but if you're watching, come over here to the YouTube. Fight Pass YouTube and get into the chat. The water's nice and I can see things. Let's do it! UFC 300 early prelims. Oh, what happened to his leg? What just happened to Pacheco? His leg. Something just happened to his leg. He got all hurt. Now Lofren's all over him. What did he do to his leg? He tried to check it and it knocked his leg numb. There he goes. He did another one. Lofren cracked him two more times in the calf. He did that leg in one shot. Whoa, Pacheco. That leg is done. Yo, what up? How you doing? Yeah, man. Oh, that calf kick ruined him. Look, it, it knocked it numb in the first shot. He's been trying to shake... Shake this damn thing up. Look at Lawford's got to just keep tagging that thing. There you go. Lawford pushing forward. That little burst of energy. There he goes. He's trying to rip a left of the body to the right upstairs. He's going to tag that damn calf again. Oh, nope. He goes for a double. Lawford goes for a double. Get him up against the fence. Got over under position. Couldn't get the takedown. He, dude, but the right general, the way he's. He's man, he, he hit that nerve. It instantly, it's like, you know, you get that the, the dead leg right off the bat. No, that's crazy. There you go. But he was able to defend it, get off the fence. Pacheco, you better start cracking that jab. See, he needs to throw. See how it's like Pacheco's throwing the punch in slow motion. He needs to snap that hand out there. Lawford's done. Right, they're still in the center, though. Push forward, Pacheco. Lawford tried to throw that. Oh, he tried to land that double up and land that right hand. Oh, there's that calf again. Oh, really? Look, he had to switch up for a minute. Look, he's done. He wants to go right. He can't box the other way around. There he goes. Look at this. All right. Pacheco's very tough. The fight he's had to battle through for this, this is all right. He swapped around three, by the way. Oh, shoot. Thank you. I didn't even, man, I, th- I had the clock ready. I did everything, but what was he still on round one? Not only is he limping, he's switching back to Southpaw as fast as he can so he doesn't get kicked. You know what I mean? Yo, Tokyo, how you doing? Oh, there we go. Jab cross up against Fetch, trying to do a jump knee. Get in there, Pacheco. Get in there. Lawson trying to drop down for a single, but he's going to pull him up. Let's go. There you go. Come on, hey, Jow. He's bouncing a little bit, getting a little bit back in his leg. Come on, let's go. Boom, he drops down again. Lawford dropped down for the single. Oh, a double, I mean, sorry. Gets the double leg takedown up against the fence. Lawford is too tired. He's like, man, I'm going to do everything I can to get this thing down. I'm, I don't want to stand up. Even though he had that leg completely compromised. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Look at that. Lawford's just, he's going to just hold him, keep him up there. He's, yeah. Lawford is not having a good time with that nose. Now he's going to spin around front. 
Let's go, Pacheco. And Pacheco had snaps. Now he gets back up to his feet. Two big right hands and an elbow from Lofren. Where's that jab, Pacheco? There you go. See how everything's lumbered, like he missed. Oh, big one-two for Lofren, though. Cracked him with the right hand. Man, Pacheco! There's that calf again. That changed the game, didn't it? Changed the game. What up, JKD? This is a great fight right off the bat, one love. What a first fight. This is insanity. Boom, calf kick. Let's go, Pacheco. What up, McSendit? How you do? You're one of the old. <laughs> what up, man? How you doing? You good? Are you good? Look at that. Lofford's going to coast. Lofford coasted. Come on, Pacheco. Pacheco, just, he's got grit, man. He's, he's a rough. Look at that. There we go. Now he threw a right in the left hand. He just doesn't have no snap on those shots, but he can still. Ooh. Wow, he just ate that left hand. Nice jump knee right into a single leg to get taken down with the double. Damn it, Pacheco. But he jump knee into a leg, turns into a double, takes him down. Boy, the kid is tougher than shite, though. This is Pacheco. Very tough, very tough. He just ate that left hand of, of Lawford. You see that? If you do see it, exclamation watch you on the front of the YouTube. You can see what, look at, jab, jab, little leg. Come on, Pacheco, give me something. Snap one, snap one. Come on, Pacheco! Oh, the heavy one, two for Lawford. Heavy one, two. No, he tried to jump me, but you jump it out of mid and he spins an elbow. <laughs> hey, man, that's how you show him. Make me a plus 357. That's how you do it. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. I love it. Love it. Joy. I had a question. You got to come. I don't want to yell at that. You got to come here. Well, before you leave. Before you leave, can you come down and I can ask you a question? What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing, though? Let's find out. Find out. I mean, I know that Lofren won, but so why do they do that when, when the monks, when they shave everything? They shave their hair and the eyebrows. They have to shave it off. They don't always do that, right? What's it for? Okay. UFC 300. How does this happen? Metal Mama, how you doing, Metal Mama? All right, here we go. Let's find out what happened. UFC 300 is next. April 13th, but... Oh, I want to say it so bad. But I won't. I want to say it's so bad. After I get made fun of. 3027. 3027. And 3026. There was a 10 8 in there. Keelan. Keelan. Nice. 300 is going to be a lot of fun. No hat today. I know. I feel weird not having my hat. Like, I already said something. I didn't realize I didn't have it on. I, I, Jens with the Bob Ross perm would be, I don't have no, I don't have hair like that. Did you not see the flowing long, the flowing locks, the mullet that I had? You know what I mean? I had a, like, a, I had a crazy mullet. Oh, okay, yeah, we had a blast. Had some photos. I could send you some today. If you're really interested in this running, handling your fan mail. Oh, yeah, the fan mail. Okay, so these are pictures. Very cool. Fan mail. I'm in. That was the one. I'll set that up, though. Talk. Pacheco was never out of the fight, but he was never really in it either. He had some heavy shots, though. I liked it. I wish he just had a little more snap on his punches. I think, you know, I don't know if that makes... Just snap, bop, bop, just snap. I wish you had a little more of Lofren. Lofren had snap. You know what I mean? Lo and uh, 
No, what? Morgie, huh? Chance Palmer, former UFC lightweight champ? Yes. Has been inducted UFC? Yes. He's eighth member of the Pioneer Air? Yes. Not only first lightweight champion UFC, but yes. Fantastic. What are you reading that? Straight from straight from Google or something? What the heck? That's awkward. Isn't that weird? I, like, I got it. People have to read stats about me that I don't even know. <laughs> Somebody asked me my record. I said, I don't know. Somebody asked me that. I go, I don't remember. They're like, why? Because I don't think about it. Are you dead serious? I go, yeah, I'm serious. I don't think about it. I don't know. It's over. Those days are done. I don't, I don't think about it. Every now and then I'll have a moment. I'm like, oh, tear. But, you know. Let's go. Let's go. Pacheco, Pacheco had a puncher's chance, but if he really could snap those punches, he would have, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it looked like everything was kind of slow motion. But he did try to double up, but he, like, he punched too far. It was, yeah, it was crazy. Lofren was, was hitting harder. And snapping his punches. It basically, Pacheco wasn't snapping his punches. Right? Malcoon, highest takedown rate in UFC history. 7.2 per 15 minutes. Third largest control time percentage in UFC middleweight history. 61%. What? Eighth highest strike accuracy in UFC middleweight history. 56.7%. Huh? Dang, I'm telling you. Why are people so high on Pachowski? Because he looks like a damn tank. That's why. <laughs> he looks like a tank. He's 10 and 3. He's coming off a loss, though. Who did, who did he lose? Who's his last? Well, I'm sure they say, who's his last fight? Who did he lose to? Both of them are coming off losses. But this is why. He just looks like a tank. Huh? Laughlin, Laughlin had great head movement? And he's the ultimate fighter. Which ultimate fighter was he on? Because we were watching it. Did we get to that one that he was on yet or not? So, okay. So he fought Michelle Pajeda. I would hate to have to chase Michelle Pajeda round two. though. That would be horrifying. You know what I mean? But he is powerful. If he take, he's got good rest to take it down. I love it. Very cool. All these pictures. It's picture time. Won five of his last six fights. Finished eight out of ten wins. He's got four knockouts, four submissions. He's tied sixth highest takedown accuracy in UFC middleweight history. Fifty four point six percent. So he's gonna try to take it down. You know what I mean? And Andre took that fight on short notice. Thank you. That's okay. All right. Ooh. Oh, look at it. I can't. That's making fun of me. I'm not. The referee, man. It's. AK, oh, he's not even in here. It always makes me want to. If you see it, can you see the referee? I can't believe Pacheco, like, Petrovsky is that big. Six, man. You just a grinder, right? Can I ask one question? Co just chance. Yeah, what do you think about Sean Strickland wanting a rematch? Well, I would see why you want the rematch. Do you get it right off the bat? I don't know, like, who's up? There's other people. Do you, do you fight one and then, you know what I mean? Beat whoever's, beat the, fight one and go back in. It's not the Royd ref. It's more, I call him, like, I always think of the Lord of the Rings reference. Protecting my hobbitses. 
But I'm short too, so that's why I'm making I'm doing it. I just get that that that Lord of the Ring vibe. You throw him in some mail armor, we're done. Here we go. Petrovsky is that much taller than Malkun as well. Yo, Jiu-Jitsu Journey, how you doing? How you doing? I think Hamzat would KO Bo Nickel like he did Dawkins. Stop yourself. Stop yourself. Is AK Snoo in here? Is it, did AK Snoo tell you to say that? You better, you better stop that. Don't you be... Stop that, Wilson. Stop that. How long do you believe a fighter should wait to get a rematch? Well, I don't know about... See, okay, here's what I believe, Ranger Darts. Here's what I believe. When it comes to a rematch, like... I'm gonna just keep I'm gonna just keep climbing the ladder and if we meet up at the top, then I'll, you'll get your rematch or we'll get a rematch or whatever. You have to earn it. Go out there and beat somebody. How long did he defend the belt? How many times did he defend the belt? Do you should you get should you get an automatic rematch after one fight? You know what I mean? Like if you were the champ for three or four fights, a rematch. If it was a close fight, maybe a rematch. I don't know, you know what I mean? That's the um that's the, the only thing when it comes to getting the rematch out the bat. But go out there and fight somebody in the top three or four, beat them, and go right back in there and get your title shot again. Might take you two fights. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? But, and now I'm stuck on this one. What? I'm sorry, champ. I just have a feeling. Hey, you can have the feeling. I understand. I mean, it's the same feeling that I have, but it's just, it's not... It's Bo Nickel throwing Hamzat around. <laughs> you see what I mean? But me and, a me and AK Sue have been having this. This has been from the beginning. I've wanted Bo Nickel to fight Hamzat after, his, after the, the, the contender series. So <laughs> it just is what it is. Fight Pass. Fight Pass Facebook. Where are you at? Fight Pass Facebook. Where are you at? That's what I got to get. I got to get you... I got to make sure I go over there. That's what I meant to do is I got to share those on the pages. Dang it. All right. Okay. No, I got to focus on this fight for a minute, but we're getting there. We're going to get there with the Bo Nickel Hamzat fight soon enough. Strickland versus Vittori. There you go. Whoa. Like, but don't you think, get him somebody, then let him go right back in. Oh, there's a big shot, huh? That's why you go, Jim. Yeah, I didn't think about the times he defended the hell. No, but that's it. But that's why that's why we just get to have a conversation, one love, and that's why I love that's why I love chat, man. It's, that's what we get to do. We're here to just chat. We're here to rap. I don't know enough. That's why I don't mind asking. I got no problem asking you all questions. All right. Oh, hey, there we go. Body lock. Body lock from Alcoon. Jacob, can he get him down? Got him pushed up against the fence. He's got that double under. He's got double unders, Jacob. Tracks. That what? No live chat for us over at. I know with the Facebook. I got well, no, I know. If you if you're watching it from Facebook, I gotta get you to come at least pull up, pull up a, a, a chat and jump in. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Now we're back to the center. Chosky with those hands up. Jacob's doing a great job, man. Jacob's out wrestling him. He's out. Is he out striking him? No, nah, just by two. Look at, boom! Went for the kick. Chosky, Malcolm with that. Get that right though. Oh, he went for the high kick. Good block though, Jacob. Good block. Let's go. Andre, look at Jacob with the body shot. Andre stepped in with that leg kick. Did he just run into that jab? Um, yeah, that's what I do. I have, there you, then that's why I like tracks. Tracks, Dale, that's how, open them all up, right? What up, Sledge? How you do? 
All right, let's go. Malcolm, ja look, Jacob's cutting him off. He's on the outer track, right? Goes in for a long single. Gets the single leg, trips him down. GG, nice job, Petroski. Good job on the takedown. Now he's got to figure out if he can get inside there and maybe snap, get around the back, take the back, bring him down. There we go, but he's going to stand right back up. Oh, we're going to get out wrestled. Nope, didn't get a leg in. Went for the front headlock, but Jacob got out of all of it. Nice. Good scrabble to get back up. Get There it is. Now we're back up. I'm telling you, man, Jacob's bringing, Jacob's got an answer to everything. Jacob's got an answer to everything. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Now, Petrovsky's going to, is Petrovsky going to tire? You know what I mean? Is he going to tire out? Is this might be too heavy of a pace for that much muscle. Wait, was, was he the underdog in this fight? I didn't see, hold up. He was a plus 170. They did have him as the underdog. I'm telling you what, though. Look at Jacob is just getting started. This guy. All right, I've woke up a little bit. I woke up a little bit. I'm, I'm getting there. One second. Good night, Joy. Have a good night. Be real. Be good. Be real good. Love you. See you in the morning. You can out-wrestle this mother. Look, they want him to out-wrestle him. Out-wrestle him. Why not go out there and just go right at his strength? Out-wrestle him. I'm in. Blanchfield. Blanchfield, Fioro. Here we go. Look at the size of Petrovsky, though. Get out there. Be the big boy. Let's go. Boom. Look, he tried to step in with a single, but then when he got popped, he got stood up, and there it is. Petrovsky lands at least a two-shot. Aggravator, how you doing? Lands a two-shot. Oh, yeah. Boom. There's the kick. Nice kick from Petrovsky. Look at Jacobs, though. Got him. Hunt him down. Petrovsky's on the outer track, circling around. He tried to land a one-two. Look, Jacobs standing right in front of him, standing right in front of his face. Not falling for that jab, lead hook. Just keeping those hands out there. Hey! Tried to explode into it. Yeah. Oh, and he got someone. What happened? What happened? What happened? Okay. He got him in the liver with that. He shot for the. When did he get the liver shot? He kicked him in the body after that one. I know. But what happened when he stumbled down off the, the shot? No, he kicked him in the liver. And that busted him up. And he's bleeding everywhere. But what happened? What happened when he went for the shot? He fell forward. And he went to all fours. And then Jacob just turned around and booted him. Just punted him. But look right here. So he goes to step. Oh, okay. So he got popped. He went on the leg. But he got. He was dragging the leg out. So, okay. So he got hit. He got it. It was a delayed shot. Uh, he got hit, look, right here, boom. I, the only thing I can think of is he got a little shot behind the ear. And then he, look, he just stopped. And he just fell forward. And then he booted him. He booted him. But there was a punch. Look, watch, right here. Boom. That. It hit him like just, he shot it just a little whatever. Grazed him right here. Wait, did he shoot it on the hip? Okay, I quit. Was it the hip then? Whatever. When he got booted on the bottom, that did everything. Okay, he KO'd himself. It was the hip strike. All right, I quit. I love it. I thought the way he tapped that head, but whatever it was, so that's what he did. He went in, he popped it here, and then, huh, do you ever stream on your personal account? Let me let me get back to that. Matt Flowers. Matt Flows. Matt Flows, do you ever stream on your personal account? Do you want me to tell you the truth? Somebody got the keys to the kingdom. I'm on the personal account. But no, the other one, not really. Not yet. I need to see it again. I need to see it again. Yeah, no, I got, no, much love, Matt. No, I got you. No, it's awesome. No, I got to. Maybe for gaming or something. But right now, the UFC Fight Pass YouTube is my big. That is the one that we're, we're building that. Facebook, Fight Pass, and then, of course, the Twitch. I want to see that again. I looked at it three times, and I still don't. I still. I 
I don't understand how they... I got to tell people. He hit his head on his hip. That really did it, huh? I'd like to think it was the punch beforehand. You know what I mean? I think the hip strike. I think when he hit him on his, he hit him just above the ear that it might have, it might have messed it up. But I didn't see the hip part. But whatever it was, he hit it and he just went straight forward. What happened in your opinion? See, he thinks it was the hip. I think, did anybody see the, day, the punch? It hit him right, it hit him like right here. It grazed him like right here. And it may not have been a hard one, but then he shoots in and then maybe he hit the hip. Whatever it was, it knocked him still. Watch, there's that punch. See, then there's, the, it's the punch, man. It's the punch. He ran into his belly. He didn't even hit his hip. That was the punch right here. That. He ran into his hand. The hand that grazed him right here. The hand grazed him. He shot in and went boom. And it grazed him right here. And then he shot, stepped forward, and down he went. It was the punch. Once again. Yeah. <laughs> he hit his tip on the hip. No. They, I'm telling you. He hit his, he ran into his guts. He got hit to the point that it kinked his neck. He got hit hard enough that it kinked his neck. And then he hit the guts and he fell straight forward. He got punched right behind the ear. He, then he ran into his, he ran, then he goes, I don't even feel the, didn't even do the hip. The hips don't lie though. You know what I mean? I get it. The hips don't lie. It, it's, it is. But did you see the way that thing, it, it didn't look like much, but he just, it was like literally this, boom. And it hit him right here, and it made his head bump when he went in. And then he just goes forward, and he just stops. And then he falls forward and just gets booted. You know what I mean? Okay, this fight. Wait, what canceled? Oh, it's over. They're out. Fight canceled due to due to COVID medical issue. Oh man, due to COVID. Well, that, so then that leads up to look at Ebo. Ebo is moving. He's got eleven first round finishes. Ebo's got eleven first round finishes. Ooh, Ebo. Yeah, that's crazy. So now we're 13 fights, not 14. Well, you didn't expect that. It's like it just happened. You know what I mean? Well, that, and you made weight. No, she, no, everything was good. She, they, we watched the weigh-ins. We seen it. We seen it. You know what I mean? We watched the weigh-ins. So, yeah. All right. You, like, do you play that one? Uh, I'm just giving you yeah, then we can play that. I'm in. But you want me to play some over here? It should be. No. I mean, we probably have. We probably have that eight minutes. I have. The, yeah, uh, I'm doing the it. Ends. I'm doing here. it. There you go. So even on total strikes at the moment. Oh, 
get him out of there. Oh. Oh. Shoot right hand for Silva. Heavy shot Big landed. Whoa. What a great right hand for Blindado. Floors the Hawaiian who's protesting. But it was slick work by Silva who made Tavares' face a lightning rod for that right hand. Yeah, we'll have to take a look here again. I mean, he was definitely hurt. Could you imagine if she does something with this Laura hold that she has here? No, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. That's going to do it. The Beast again. Wow. Big showing in Las Vegas. Manon Fioro. The winning streak is at seven. I mean, that was just incredible. What a display of violence. I mean, I knew it coming in. I was very impressed with what I saw. I mean, look at this. Just swarms forward, letting the hands go. A lot of power. Puts it down there. Round finishes in 34 wins. I mean, it's 5 foot 10. Clearly on the side. Wow! Oh, wow! Welcome to the UFC. Nursultan Ruzaboyev with a pile of lights and a first round knockout. for Nur Sultan Ruzaboyev. A veteran. But you know what? Maybe this is great for her to come in without any fanfare and for yeah. people to see. Oh, she's back to it. Oh, man, she's got the leg over. Please tap. There's the tap. And a flash field and her cold blooded bets tonight. Wow, well, look at that. She wants to show it off. Dust her shoulders off. Dust her shoulders off. Totally stoic. Nothing better than getting booed on the way in and cheered on the way out. Seven consecutive wins wow. for the 23-year-old Eric Blanchfield, who is hoisted in the air, air by a very respectful Molly McCann. That is a talented young lady. Morning, everybody. We're going to start these weigh-ins with one half of the main event. First to the scale this morning, Aaron Blanchfield. 125. Official weight, 125 pounds for Aaron Blanchfield. Now first to the scale, one half of the main event, Manon Fjord. Official weight, 125 and a quarter pounds for Manon Fjord. Next to the scale, Vicente Luque. 170. Official weight, 170 pounds for Vicente Luque. Next to the scale, New Mansa, Joaquin Buckley. Official weight, 170 pounds for Joaquin Buckley. Next to the scale, the former champ, Chris Weidman. Official weight, 186 pounds. Weidman looking a little sucked up there, but a little, little, little, little, little drain, little drain. Scale, Bruno Silva. 186. Official weight, 186 pounds for Bruno Silva. Bruno don't look sucked up at all. Next to the scale, Nursultan Ruziboev. Official weight, 185 pounds. No, oh, I'm going to do this one then. We got Anton walking his way out right now. I'll jump back in and we'll get this. Get underway. Who's the opponent? Cedriquis, let's go. Official weight, 185 pounds for Cedriquis Dumas. 
He don't look sucked up. He looks ready to go. You know what I mean? He looks ready to go. Like, whatever. So we'll come back and we can get more of those in a minute. But we got Ebo. We got Ebo and Anton. About to get down. So, yeah, now I'm ready. I'm here. We got this now. We got this, huh? Luke every time. Scott, Scott. Okay. Okay. How's everybody? Everybody doing all right? Yeah, no, that's not good at all. I, I went, no. Hut finished seven of eight wins, five knockouts, two submissions, five first round finishes. He defeated Dos Santos, A. Dos Santos, by unanimous decision on Dana West's Contender Series season six, week one. All right, Anton. All right. All right. What? I relax. You got Aslan. Aslan. As Ebo. I like it, Ebo. Ebo. I just like saying his name, Ebo. You know what I mean? You know what it reminds me of? I don't know if y'all are old enough. Who wants some? Who wants some of Ebo? You know, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? What? Jens with no hat. What's up with that? I don't know. I forgot. Like, should I get a hat? I feel weird like I should have one. Man? man? That's it. Of course, Nate Landwehr. We're always going to, We're always rooting for Nate Landwehr. That's a sucker punch. Sucker punch? But, you know what I mean? Here he comes. Look, he's walking out right now. Hold his flag. He needs to have that. Who wants some? Who wants some of Ebo? Ebo! You know what it is, love fist. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. I love it. You know, he's one of two Turkish fighters in UFC history. I got my control over Ebo, right? When he had quiet, when he's gone, I'll be talking again. <laughs> uh, basically, it's like it's both of ours. We should keep it in my house. Ebo asks, Oslan, four-fight win streak. Ooh, UFC day, but... Finished all 12 wins by knockout. Awarded UFC contract on Dana White Contender Series Season 7, Week 2. What? What? He says, I'm going to knock this guy out. Look at him. He's got a 100% finish rate. A 100% finish rate. Who is this person? Where is Jens? What you mean? What you mean? Did that? He did, didn't he? Huh. Luke K. We'll find out. We'll find out. Aslan! <laughs> Don't you dare. Ebo, four fight win streak. They're doing it twice. I'm going to read it twice. UFC day, but finished all 12 wins by knockout. Award of UFC contract, Dana White, contender series, season seven. Yeah. Yeah. Jens is not naked today. He just ain't wearing a hat. What's wrong with you? Who wants some? Who wants some of Ebo? You don't want this. How's everybody doing? Are everybody doing all right? Facebook, bypass. Bypass Facebook. And we got to come over. You got to come over and hang out. You got to come over and hang out. I want somebody to pop in here and be like, yo, I'm from the Fight Pass Facebook. And I dropped in. I'm dropping into the YouTube chat. Be like, what's up? You know what I mean? <laughs> what? I don't get it. 8K. Look at him. He's the 105 underdog. <laughs> 8K, you don't count, man. That's messed up. That hurts. That hurts. Would you have to bring in your own person from the chat to do it? Like, man. <laughs> That's messed up. Like, dang, dude. Jens, by reading, I'm only two chats, two chats, two chats, and then Discord with Snoo. But you can hear Snoo talk though. Where's the giant coffee, Jens? Wait a minute.
I got coffee there and my water here. What? What? Ooh, let's go. All right. Another assignment for Copeland. All right, here we go, here we go. Yeah, the jujitsu yar. You're working on it as long as you stay active. It's the only thing that worries me about the YouTube Facebook. I mean, the YouTube Fight Pass, Fight Pass Facebook. See, I say too many things at a time. The YouTube chat, you have to be active or I will struggle. I, everything I do is based off of chatting with you. So it has to happen. So get your fingers ready and start typing. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, I will struggle. I can do eight hours as long as there are people typing in chat. Otherwise, I can't do half an hour. If I got to figure out what I'm going to do just by myself, nope, it ain't happening. Huh? How did, the, how did their first fight go? How did their first fight go? All right, we got space. We got space. Space, space. Pop that jab. Don't give him, don't give me more reasons. I talked, I know, but type away. See, now you can talk all you want, but you got to type now. Type away. See what I'm saying? Hey, let's go. There's a check that kick. All right, calf kick. Oh, he tried to go for one, two, and he will try to come back with a big right hand, and everything just kind of missed with that jab of, of, Aunt, of uh, Anton. I think the jab got through everything, but the counter shot of Evo, luckily they all just kind of missed. Oh, you see how he loads up that right hand? He held his foot and loaded up that right hand. Boom, it's my left, but you know, that's how it works. Evo wants to hurt you with one shot. I like it. That jab though of Anton. Evo steps in with the jab. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Who has? Wait, what? Walking down, walking down. Look at Ebo stayed in front, walking back a little bit. Try to look at moving forward. Where's the faint? Where's the faint, Ebo? Faint. Give him, give him one. There you go. Good jab, Ebo. Get your head off the line when you do that. So you can't jab back. I got you, metal mama. I got you. The prime out and more active than my prime hours. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, Anton tried to come back with the right. There was the right hand, another right hand. Ebo, you better figure out how to stop that. He tried to do a jump knee. He got denied, but he pushed him up against the fence. Anton went in for a jump knee, but he didn't get to do it. He got, what, did he get, how did he deflect that? You know what I mean? I don't know how he deflected it, but. Oh, then he threw a kick, fell over, got back up. All right, Ebo, what are you doing? I, Anton's kind of winning this right now. Anton's built, his confidence is, is building and building and building. You know what I mean? What trade did you work at when you were? Oh, when I was riding racehorses? Oh, what track? Oh, man. Good Lord. I had to. We, so in the off season, we were down in Tillamook. So we'd go down. We'd go from Long Acres in Washington, the Long Acres racetrack. It was in Renton. And then we'd go down to Portland Meadows and we'd rotate back and forth. So I spent half my years, half my time in Oregon. And then I spent the other half in Washington. And then we were down in Tillamook, Oregon, where my mom's from, we would break babies. And that's when I, I would have to start galloping horses. And that's when I started galloping a lot of them at the, at the fairgrounds and stuff, at the, uh, at the Tillamook fairgrounds. So every year, I'd, I'd have to get on the, the, the, the youngsters and start riding them. That's a hell of a question. Reeve, Colf, that is, I love it. All right, Ebo still doing that walk, still doing that walk. Y'all didn't know I was supposed to be a jockey. All the way, look at that. Anton tried to go forward. Ebo was throwing shots all the way back. Anton tried to charge him forward. Ooh, oh, with the right hand. As on eating shots, Ebo going forward. I like this. There we go. Look at Ebo's got to make sure he doesn't throw too heavy. You know what I mean? Good job. Yeah. 
Anton subbed Ebo with rear naked choke in August of 2020. That's what it is. Okay. Well, I can see that again. Ebo looks like he's awake because Ebo is only swinging like just super, super heavy. He's going to get tired. Go oh, Hardy. Look at They try to throw that lead hook. He's got to set that right hand up. Here comes Anton walking him down. Oh, what kind of cartwheel and kick did he try to throw blocked into it? So Ebo, he usually, he doesn't even go into the, how many times? So he doesn't like second round, look how tired he's already starting to get. This is going to be that takedown to your rear naked again. I think it's been a very exciting fight, and to be the very first round was great. Little Eagle streams again. Granny, Granny, stop it. Look at that. Just going forward. Boom, boom, boom. But look at it. Ebo was able to land. He was able to throw two ball backing up, two big shots, too. So look at that. He threw another big right hand right there. That is one thing Anton is doing a good job of. Making sure he keeps those hands up when he's not punching, right? Pop, pop, hands are up, hands are up. So, yeah. Last second, buggy choke cage warriors today. Was that, oh, is that earlier? Oh, yeah, cage warriors was earlier, huh? I was wondering why they were on the same, same day, so they did it earlier. All right. Purple, how you doing? See, that's if y'all have if y'all have the, the fight pass, man. We had live events going on again today. Debo, or they they're saying Debo. Debo, Debo. Oh, oh! That right hand got through, but then Anton came back. They're right, they're fumbled. That right hand, that left hand landed again for Ebo. Anton took it, but he was able to get oh, right hand for his right hand for Ebo. Oh, Anton backs up. He's going to try to shoot. No, can't do. Don't let him. They started throwing it in the booth. They got it into the booth. As, uh, look at, yeah, but yeah, the eye on Aslan. Look at that left eye of Aslan swelling. Quick, that lead hook from, look at, we got a cup. We got a cup and he's pissed. We got a cuppy and he's pissed. These wild exchanges are going to wear out. It's, hey, Ebo, Ebo ain't going to like these exchanges. Look at Anton right here, though. Yeah, okay, he did. He got it with the top of his foot. He cupped it, and then he punched him in his ear hole with the with the right hand. He was going for a knee. It just happened to have a, he had a floater. He left. He caught it with the floater. You know what I'm saying? And he's got look at that. Look at the swelling on that left eye of Ebo. Ebo. Ebo. We know you need a break, Ebo. That was a lot of swinging. That was a lot of punches. Yeah, don't blow your nose. That eye don't look... Yeah, don't blow your nose. He's so tired. Told you, he doesn't like this. He's so tired. You're getting an error code from what? Huh? It wasn't that bad though. He was the the the, the blunt of that was his knee. I mean, it wasn't like he threw a shin straight up the middle of your in your crotch and his toe kicked you in the taint. You know what I mean? This was, he was kneeing you in the chest and his dangler hit your cup. You know what I'm saying? My man is tired. He don't leave the first round and it shows. No, he's ready. I think, yes. Well, we got an anguish barrier. Stop with him. All right, look, I look, hey, here's what I like about Copeland. He's like, I would advise you to use your time. Use your time. I would like it. Use your time. You know what I mean? I like it. Use your time. 
Here he goes. Turkali's going to go back. He got his breather. Ooh, nice big kick. That I, all that, you know, all that time that I just swelled up more and more and more on Ebo. Oh, look at Ebo swinging. Ebo swinging. But we had that double jab. That double jab by Anton I liked. That lead hook by Anton when he circles. That was the right hand. Ebo bombing. Oh, Ebo got him with another one. Oh, Ebo got him. Anton's going to go for the double. He denied him. Stood him back up. Let's go. Make it in. Make it in. Oh. Nice jab, Anton. Nice jab, Anton. Look at Ebo just swings. Oh, oh, oh, oh, Anton, Anton went for a head kick, went right over the top of Ebo. Ebo ducked it. He slipped, fell down, got back up. But, oh, Aslan hurt him big time. Hurt him again with that right hand. Oh, Aslan, Ebo has cracked him a couple of times. Ebo has cracked him, but now he's got, Anton's got him pushed up against the fence. We're going to hold on for a minute. We're going to hold on to that. Hey, we're going to hold him for a second. Let's get a hold of this guy. Oh, there we go. Ebo. Ebo. Go forward. Here we go. Back to the center. Back to the center. Come on. <laughs> there, wait. Look, nobody's throwing. There was a jab for Anton. Ebo moved out the way. Look at that. Then he just leaves. Boom, boom. I love it. He throws those two big, just big overhands. Double jab. There we go. Oh, look. He tried to go. Look at it. Oh, Anton tried to go with the one, two, tried to get a knee in there. Ebo's digging. Ebo's digging. But he's, and he's doing a good job of digging and getting him up off his legs. When he try, Anton keeps trying to shoot that double leg. Scoop, scoop. Stand up. Fight past Facebook. Fight past Facebook. How you doing? Oh, there we go, Ebo. There's that jab, Ebo. Ooh, Ebo trying to load up that right hand. Oh, he went for a right hand, and Anton tried to time it, go in for a double leg, got denied. They get back on their feet. They're just scrapping. Stop going. Just stop shooting for the takedown. Quit it. Quit it. Deep breath, Ebo. Pop the jab. Deep breath, Ebo. There's a big kick. Oh, look at that leg. Does that leg look like it stumbles a little bit if you're watching? Ebo's knocked them all out in the first round, and it's showing because the second round is tie-tie. Tie-tie. Oh, good right hand. Good right hand, Ebo. Oh, Anton tries to throw right. Here comes Anton. Nope. No, I thought he was, was going to walk him down. I thought he was going to walk him down. Jab. Come on, Ebo. Ebo. Nothing, nothing. Look, we just got to sit there. We're going to wait. There's, wait. We're both throwing jabs. Get that jab. Ebo threw a right hand. Oh, oh, oh. A couple of shots by Anton. Ebo loaded up a big right hand and just misses. Anton backed him up with those shots. And then Ebo loaded up with the right hand and woof, swing and a miss. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ooh, oh, oh, oh, he just missed with that one, too. Just missed with that right hand. Stuck him with the jab, though. Ebo, Ebo with the right hand. Ebo! There he goes again. Oh, Anton goes in for a double leg. It stood up. Denied. Denied. Ebo's bouncing. Ebo's bouncing. Oh, Pleasure Man. Yeah, oh, wait. Anton is the Pleasure Man, huh? Why ain't... Man, I'm not saying that again. That's you say that, Jiu-Jitsu Journey. Anton. Anton just took two kicks in the leg. Anton just went upstairs with another head kick. Missed. Then he tried to spin a back fist. Missed again. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Ebo hit him with the right. My man, Anton stepped in, went for a head kick. It missed. And then he spun back the other way with the backhand. It missed. <laughs> it was, <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Look at that right hand. It misses right there. Oh, look at that, Ebo. Anton is missing. Ebo landed two left hands in that thing, though. Oh, look at Ebo getting the punches in there. That phone booth him, but Ebo, Ebo cracked him with so many lefts. Oh, with the right hand, Ebo. All right. Dude, I'm telling you. Look at that. Got him with that left. Ebo in that left hand. Ooh, Anton cracks him with the right right there. That was good.
Dude, this fight is sick. This card has been insane since the first fight of the night. Tell me this, this card hasn't been nuts. And we lost the fight. This has been insane. Fight nights are the greatest. Fight nights are the greatest. I don't give a shit. All right, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Ebo's into the third round for like the second time ever. Anton is like, this sucks. This sucks. Oh, there we go. Anton, he tried to pop that. Look, Anton getting that right jab, trying to come up to one, two. But Ebo still got a heavy right for you, even though he's off balance. Oh, <laughs> oh, that just happened. Anton threw a kick. Ebo caught it. Anton started smacking him with his hand on the same side <laughs> until he let go of the leg. Oh, that was awesome. My man, Ebo caught the foot and then ate three right hands by Anton while he was holding the foot. That was, oh, that was sick. That was sick. All right. Here we go, here we go. Cool. All right. Anton with the one, two. Anton with the jab. Anton loading up that, let pop that jab and move. Oh, I could absolutely see fight of the night. This thing goes the distance. That's a fight of the night for damn sure. I don't know how you're going to be. Oh, he's almost like a slapper with that right hand landed by Anton. Oh, but look at Ebo is still landing. Even if it goes, no, this is still fight of the night. No matter what, I take it back. Doesn't matter what happens. Good right hand, Ebo. Come on, Ebo. Who wants up? Who wants up? Ebo with the right hand. Ebo dropped him. Oh, and the referee stopped it. Why did you stop it? Why did you stop it? But he dropped him on his ass and he was sitting up and the ref stopped it. I don't know why he stopped it, but. Who wants some? Who wants some Ebo? He landed the right hand and dropped him. Look at Boom. Just cracks him with the right. Right on the temple. Down he goes. Stagger, stagger, stagger. He's sitting. Ebo, he all, no, he already started scooting towards him. Hold up. When he hit the ground, he lands on his butt. Right here, and he starts scooting towards him. He instantly started scooting towards him, and the ref was already stopping it. I tell you, again, here's the one thing that it, it happens is, see, you have to look at it like this, and this is every time. It's a good stop because it's the way that you fall. Remember how many times we've talked about this? Look at it was already in Copeland's. Copeland already had it in his mind. The way that you fall. The referee already knows. You know what I mean? That referee was already on his way. It doesn't matter how he landed. It's the way that he fell. And he was like, ah, ah, ah nope. I've, you went from standing to straight flopping. Yeah, I know. We're going to go ahead and call it. You know what I mean? The way that he fell. That's what, but that's, that's, I mean, when it's moving that quick, right? When you're the referee, you got to make a fast decision. And that's, and again, I, t I say it all the time. The way that you, the way that you, um, the way that you fall. A lot of the times, I mean, it's, you got to think about it. I've got to make a split decision. You fall back like this and both hands are back. I'm already going in going, no. You know what I'm saying? Either way, what a fight. What a fight. Performance of the night. Knockout of the night. Well, that was a fight right there. That was a fight. Man, that was something. I can't believe, look at this. We had Petrovsky. This fight right here, man, with Lofren and Pacheco, Petrovsky and Malkun. Malkun was beastly. But then we didn't have this fight, and then this fight. Good man. Seriously? Right off the bat. I love this. Love this. Man. Gee, gee. And he did it in deep waters. My man does it in deep waters. Who wants some? Who wants some of Ebo? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, I love it. One minute, 32 seconds. Just as that eye is completely closed.
Ebo. Ebo. I love it. That was all right. All right. We have you I, I go back and get while they're doing the well, you I go back and get some interviews. What do I have over here? Yeah, I got the way. We still got way it's for y'all. In between. I don't know if they're gonna do how much of a break it is. I'll start and stop, so I'll give you the way it's until then. Look it, I'm not here to win fights. I'm here to knock people out. I love him. I love him. You know what I mean? Yo, Uber Cabo, what? What's good, Jans? We hyped? Yeah. How can you? Are, you, it, are the chats? Are we not? Are we not hyped up? Are we not hyped up? What? That was awesome. Yeah, hold up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Gary Copeland has called a stop to this contest at 39 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by GKO, Jacob Mamba Malkoon. I'm here with the winner, Jacob Malkoon. Jacob, congratulations. That was shaping up to be a tremendous fight. The jab was looking phenomenal. But the ending, what happened in your opinion? It seemed like his head collided with your hip. I think so, to be honest. I don't know what I hit him with. Maybe it was my hip. I got some um, bony hips. Yeah. And his head hit her, but whatever. I got the finish. Bashed him, and on to the next one. Obviously, the crowd are happy, but it was a legitimate finish. I mean, he hit the hip. When you saw the opportunity, you jumped at him. That body kick, that was lethal. Yeah, I just saw a wounded gazelle on the floor, so I was like, you know what? Let me just kick him. But to be honest, I came back here. Everyone's booing me, but. To be honest, I love the, I love having a crowd. I've been fighting on the apex all the time. So even these boos, I love it. Please, I want to hear it more. Please, up. Boo me. Talk to me about the game plan coming into this one. Obviously, you're both tremendous grapplers. What was the strategy? Uh, to be honest, I, I felt I was going to have a bit of advantage in the stand-up. Um, but in the grappling, to be honest, I felt he was a bit weak here. To be honest, I felt like if I wanted to grapple him a bit more, I could have got him. But he's a strong opponent, you know, he's 5-1 in the UFC, but I'm on a different level, I think. And um, I want to keep improving, and I think I'm top 10 level. I just got to get comfortable in this cage. Well, congratulations. Stunning stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Jacob Mamba Malkoon. Oh, yeah, I like it. Sorry, let me get that. I, I'm bad at this. Next to the scale, Bill Algio. Forty-six. Official weight, 146 pounds for Bill Algio. Next to the scale, Kyle Nelson. 145. Official weight, 145 pounds for Kyle Nelson. Next to the scale, Chidi and Jokuani. Official weight, 170 pounds for Chidi and Jokuani. Next to the scale, Reese McKee. 170 and a quarter. Official weight, 170 and a quarter for Reese McKee. Next to the scale, Nate the Train Landwehr. Nate, the train, let's go, Nate. 145 and a quarter. Official weight, 145 and a quarter. Oh, we're going to leave him right there. We're going to leave him right there. We got people walking out. We got people walking out. We'll get back to this. Hey. Bazookia and Connor Matthews. Look at that. Julio Arce and Burns after. All right, all right. Good. Huh? Huh? All right, there we go. Now, now. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing all right? Let's go. Ah. I like it. I like it. What a fight. What a fight. So I don't know. We have to figure out. that. That's got to go up there. Does that not go up there as, as fight of the night? That was a fun fight. I thought it was one. I can't believe who doesn't like that. I can't believe there's somebody out there. 
that doesn't like that last fight. We shall see. We shall see. You know what I mean? So far, that thing was awesome. That's crazy. That fight was bad. You know? Air Force combat controller? Yo, that's crazy. How much you reckon what the average welter cuts? I read 15 easily. 15, some could double that. Just depends. The week of, you know what I mean? The week of, 10, 15. The last go, 10 pounds. What up? What's up, Paul Ray? Ben, how's the family and everything? Dark liquid. We've been good. The family's been good. Just, uh, you know, yeah. Doing what we do, hanging out. And, I mean, yeah. I've been dadding, you know, doing those dad things. Wrestling, a lot of wrestling. And then the, the occasional concerts for my daughter. No complaining. Working on um, now that it's warming up, it's time to get outside and start jogging a little bit. Get get get those runs in if we can. Wrestling, a lot of wrestling. Oh, look at that jujitsu journey, Max or Gaethje. Well, I have to go with the blessed just because it's Max Holloway. I love that kid. That's that's that's a little evil. So it has to go. It has to be Max. You know. But Gaethje is Gaethje. I'm glad to hear it, Pulver. And, and your kids, um, eh, Roger, man, he, he's, the wrestling scene, hope all the best. Yeah, it's been fun, man. Hey, I wish all the best for you too, Liquid, always. And thank you very much. It's been, it's, it's definitely, a, it's, it's, it's, a, it's a journey. It is a journey, this wrestling stuff. It's a process. I'm liking it. I'm really enjoying the idea of becoming a coach. I think it's, a, it's like training wheels right now. You know what I mean? Doing, being the volunteer coach, my son and his team, for when it's time to start becoming a pro with the fighters. Back-to-back -back wins, UFC day, but he finished he finished six and seven wins, five submission, awarded UFC contract, Dana White Contender Series, season seven, week 10. He had seven takedowns in his Dana White Contender Series win, Connor Matthews, that is. And so it, it's helping me. Yo, Valkyrie, how you do? How you do? I hope you're well. But this way, it gets me the, um, so that way, when it, start, when it comes time to start training fighters, I'm building my, I'm building my, uh, what do you call it? I'm building my, um, Bay Jen. Huh? Yeah, I just shave it. I'm never, I'm just keeping it shaved for a while. But I'm building my, my stable of fighters. They're all going to be wrestlers. So, and then, like I said, we're going to be called Big Game MMA. Big Game MMA. We got Big Game Wrestling right now. The biggest in the, and then, yeah. So, a lot. There's going to be a lot of them. Random, but I want to see Aldo versus Cruz. Hey, I just heard something about is Uriah's going to grapple in his A1 combat against um, Jeff Kern or something. Wait till you see. Well, wait till you see this. My version of this version of amateur. Oh yeah, it's going to be every weekend. I'm going to start dual matches. Won seven of last nine fights. Former Ring of Combat featherweight. Champion. Four wins by knockout for Dennis Bazookia. Gents, I lost it. What is your take on BMF matchup? I like it. As a fan, I love it. But does a loss here knock either of these number one contenders down a peg in a division? Is this fight to be looked at as a secular side thing? I really want both to fight for the belt next in a division. What is your take? I've always looked at it this way. It, it's kind of like if you're stepping aside from, from the, um, like it's not your turn to fight for the belt. It's not your, you're not the number one fighter getting ready to fight for the title, but you've been fighting and you've been at the top for a long ass time. And maybe you've had two or three shots at the title. So like that, then it's, where do you put someone like that? That that's had the belt and that's been fighting for the belt. But then, you know what I mean? On these fight nights and stuff like that, where do you put them? Well, you give them a BMF belt, let them fight for the fight for the damn thing. I like it. Yes, SB, huh? It's time you hitting the coaching trail. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. You know, three years, but that's what I think about the BMF. So I don't know. Hey, Paul, another question. Will you be watching the Nate Diaz versus Masvidal boxing match? If so, who do you got winning? Well, I'm always going to be watching Nate Diaz, and I'm always going to be rooting for Nate Diaz. I like it to Masvidal. Nothing against him, but it's Nate Diaz. I'm in. 
If they'd let me fight on the undercard, I'm in. I'd like to get in shape. I have AK Snoop talk to him. I want to be on the undercard. Let me box. It's been a while. Thank you, Fern Dinger. I still want to box. Huh? I'd love to have you as a coach. We don't have many good ones. Well, we'll get it figured out then. I just worry because now with Volk out for, huh? With Volk out, I got, man, that moved too fast. Just because now with Volk out for a second, Max, I feel, has a, um, well, yeah, that's it. But he's probably getting paid a lot with this thing. And then, but he was already into it. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Because you know, here's the thing. Volk is absolutely getting the, if Volk has got to get the rematch. So that's kind of why everybody's off doing their thing and fighting with his PMF belt. Whether or not Max gets it, it's like maybe he's waiting. I don't know. Like, are they deciding that he's got to fight right off the bat? Or are they going to give it to Volk and let him heal? I don't know. Bay Gent, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I post everything on at Jens Pulver Instagram. <laughs> Call somebody out. I don't call anybody out. I get called out all the time. Who do I want to fight? Father Time is who I'm fighting, but I'll fight anybody else in the process. But Father Time, man, happens all the time. Oh, we got kicks all over the place. Have I been doing cold plunge? Yes, cold plunge. I've got the... Um, having a cold one? It's a company called Having a Cold One. That's my plunge. Yeah, it's... Oh, yeah. I got to figure out the sauna. That's next. I need a sauna. I mean, like, did we just have somebody in chat the other day say he was going to, he was going to dish me a beating. I never got the paperwork. You're going to get the paperwork, huh? Paperwork. Oh, you're trying to land that double jab right hand. Bazooka. All right, Matthews, Matthews. Ooh, got him up against the fence. Pop that jab, pump that jab, pop, pop. Where's that left? Straight left, straight left. Faber is wrestling. Faber, I just read that, I think, with against Curran or something. They're doing a grappling match or something, Jack. Faber, box Faber. No, what? I don't want to box Faber. Fights, fights. Let's go. Let's go. Look at these two. Feeling out process. Feeling out process. I'm getting, oh, he tried to step in. Mizuki tried to land in with that lead hook. Jab your way in. Kick up the middle, but then you ate a leg kick on the way back. Mizuki with these kicks. All right. I like this. Very even. Very even right now. Mizuki with that left, though. Mizuki with that left. Box. I wonder why I didn't switch. I don't. Are we going to get Yanez back anytime? For what? Work your way in. Good calf kick. Good calf kick, Matthews. Zukia. Walking forward. Uh -huh. Oh, let's get jab. Cheap. Look at that. Righty versus lefty. Try to come with that lead hook. Get that lead hook, Zuka. Oh, Connors. Look at that. Both of them just missing. These guys are even right now. They're even. Step and then step and then. Oh, right, left. Come on. Oi, right leg. Good right leg. There you go. Pop that belly. Pop that belly. Keep it in a prop. Keep it in a pop after the main event. What?
Let's go. Up the middle. There, oh, there it was. Matthew tried to step with one, two, but that lead hook of Bazookia got through. And then I think caught with the right hand, backed him up a little bit. Oh, that lead hook. Man, it's that left hook of, of Bazookia. That thing is a killer. Oh, we, we got cup taps. Cup taps. Cup taps. All right, we'll get it figured out. Got everybody's getting kicked in the sack. We got taps. You know what I mean? Grinding stacks. I'm doing beautiful. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, grinding stacks. Anybody wanted to fight that you didn't? Nah, I just fought like shit at the end of my career. So I'd like to just have fun and get that. Just, I'd like to just box again. I just want to box. I like boxing. I want a reason. I want a reason to keep training the way that I'm training. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Connor. Connor's walking him down right now, though. A little bit. Then Bazooka just cracks him with that left hand, man. That jab, man. Bazooka is left hand. Look at that. Double jab. Boom. Jab to the chest. Bazooka in that left hand. Oh, that, so you try to come with that three, two. Just missing it. Connor lands the left hand. But I backed him up, but I like that. There you go. Get in there with that lead hook. Set it up. Bang, bang, lead hook. Ooh. Come. They're both just missing with power shots. Yo, what up? It's good. How you doing? Oh, there's that jab. Oh, that right hand. Let's go, Zuki. Come on, Connor. Look at Connor got to move out the way. Zuki. Zuki, that left hand. Look at that big one, too. Zuki, he landed that lead kick coming with the one, two. Connor, you better move. He's off his back. He's got to worry about the fence. Circled around. That's not Connor. He hasn't returned yet. Do you not see Pot in his name? It literally says Connor Matthews. Can we not call him Connor because there's only one Connor in life? Huh? What you talking about? Connor Matthews. Connor. Connor. Let's go, Dennis. Let's go, Connor. We can't even call this kid Connor. Guess what? You have to change your name. Why? Because everybody mistakes you as McGregor. I get yelled at for saying Connor because everybody thinks that's not McGregor. I wasn't expecting, wasn't thinking it was. Damn it, we can't even have the name Connor no more. That's it. That's it. We just keep taking, we're going to just keep taking, taking, taking, taking, taking. Everything. Can't even have Connor no more. Bad gateway. I knew it. There goes my bazooka. He said, refresh it. Give it a whirl. No. Oh, well. All right. Every time. Every time. Look at that. Now, Connor. Now, Ma now Matthews. Now, Matthews is starting to make his. his there you go, trying to move forward a little bit. Bazooki with the right hand. Bazooki with that one, two. Let's go. Matthew's being the aggressor, though, this time. Connor's got him up against the fence. Close and open. What? Close it. And open back up. Ads are gone. I don't know. What's rip? What happened? The stream? There you go, jab. Oh, there we go. Oh, Bazooka got those little short hands, though. He just would say we staggered him again. Look at that. Catch him on the side. Oh, shoot. I didn't. Even... Yeah. Ah. Ah. There you go, try to throw the right hand to the left hand. Do you get ads on fight pass between rounds? Sorry, King James, I'm working my way into it. All right, now, sorry, I got sidetracked. I didn't. I thought the stream was down or something. It was throwing me off. 
Anyways, these two are just back and forth. And right now, Connor sitting out here like this, backing up a little bit, throwing it. They're literally just jab hands. They're kicking each other in the legs. Now, there you go. Mizuki went up high, trying to throw a kick. Connor came back with the left. Mizuki came back with the left hook. And now they're both standing there. Look, they just try popping that jab. They're not really doing much. Boom. It was a straight right. Straight right for Connor. Now, Connor, they're standing right in front of each other. There we go. He lands two jabs. That left hand of that left hand is all day. Look at that left hand again of Bazookia. He's not missing with it. Hitting that jab. He's not throwing hard, but he's not missing. But that left hook of his is, is ridiculous. And now Connor's got to try to figure out getting inside. There's a right hand. He runs into it. He goes in and he has to back up. Goes for the kick. Zuki's just kind of pacing him down. Connor's, it looks like Connor's slowing down. He lumbered in that right hand. It didn't land. He's right here popping. A lot of, look, he's just throwing knees up in the air. He's potting at the hand. He's not doing anything. He just kind of walk. He's just shadow sparring out in front of him. He walks in, makes his way in to try to throw a right hand and backed up. But I would too because Bazooka's trying to, Bazooka's going to crack him. Look, there's that left hand again. Every time, Bazooka is cracking him with that left hand. He can't miss it. Look, just hit him again with it. Connor tried to go back to the left of his own. Bazooka cannot miss with this left hand. It's crazy. Now, Connor's going to try to get that. He's got to get that jab going. Yes, he's very reluctant because he keeps running into that left hand. You know what I mean? It, every time he gets in close, look, he's trying to throw that long one, too. He's just out of range when he throws it. And every, look at it. It's every time. Watch, if you're watching this fight, Zuki, look at He just jab, jab, that left hook. Look at it. Look at it. Lands it again right there as he's circling out. And he's just, he's caught, look at, and then he, he did two with the left to a big overhand right and cracked Connor, came back, and what did he just hit him with? He just clocked him with the left hook in the head again. And now he's going to try to, now Connor's going to wrestle with him, take his back. He stood around and waited, then he got popped, jab, jab, boom, with the overhand right, came back, boom, hit him with that lead hook. Now Connor tried to jump up on his back, denied. He's got the body lock, has it pushed up against the fence. Hey, there was a guy in the last fight, he bit him, so don't do that. Lift, lift, lift, nice takedown. All right, Connor. Nice takedown. Now we're going to try to get back up to the fence and walk our way up. We got a, we got a leg in. Connor's got a leg in. Mizuki got melted down a little bit. We got far wrist. We had a far wrist up, and he got reversal. But now he switched back around. Good scramble. He's got a single. Now Connor has a single. Let's go of it. Push him up against the fence. Good scramble. Good scramble. Oh, good right hand on the break. Then caught it through a lazy kick. Zuki caught it. Left, right. Matthews landed right hand there, though. Boom. Look at that one right there. Uppercut, uppercut. Body for Zuki. Oy. There we go. There you go, Matthews. I mean, I like that stance better. I like when you stand right-handed. Oh, there we go. Lead hook for Connor. Jab. Boom. Caught him with the number cut when he went in for the shot. Is that better? Am I telling you what happened now? What the... Shift through, shift through. All right, that's a good round. I like that round. I hate not having my, my, man, it just, give me it back. Uh, uh, yeah, that's messed up, could. Oh. Uh, I have to, man, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm really debating on this conversation. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have it. Pretty sure I shouldn't have it. April 13th. April 13th, UFC 300. UFC 300. All right, here we go, here we go. Yo, slam. Oh, that lead hook again. What did the lead hook do? Dropped him. He's up. He's in the fetal position. He's eating hammer fist. He's going to stop it. Bazooka dropped Matthews with the shot, put him down, folded him up, and he just sat there in the fetal. 
What do you think it was that hit him? What do you think it was that hit him? Twice in the contender series from Zukia. Look at this. Here it comes. That right hand. What do you think it was? What do you think it was? Two, three. Let me, dare I say it again. Left hook to the temple. Look at two. Here it comes. Boom. Rips him with the left hand. How many times are you getting hit with that left hand? He got tore up. Tore up by that left hand. The right. Boom. Right over the shoulder. That left hand is no, man. This kid's left hand is damn ridiculous. Ridiculous. Bazooki cracked him with the left hand. That was, man, hit him with that, come with that two, and then boom, right over the shoulder. Pop. Told you, man, that kid, he'd been landing that left hand the entire time. The entire time. GG. GG. That kid is something. Just ripping him up with that left. That was, man, man. That was crazy. Another KO. Now, let me see. What do we have? Oh, yeah. I got more weigh-ins. We can watch. I don't know how much we have left. We'll do the weigh-ins while we're waiting. And we lost the fight, so it's all kind of crazy. He was landing all night. Yeah, that left. I told you, Mighty Warrior. That's what I kept saying, Warrior. He just was landing that left the whole time. I left it miss. It was all day, and he was patient. You know what I mean? He was just patient. Went bang, bang, bang. It was perfect. Per oh, we got an Ebo. We'll get, all right, we got an Ebo interview real quick. Let's get that Ebo interview. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Gary Copeland's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 32 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO Ebo, the last I'm here with the winner, Ebo Aslan. Ebo, congratulations. For those people that don't know, this was a rematch. He was the man that had the only blemish on your otherwise perfect record. How satisfying was it to come in here and get revenge? Man, this guy ran four years away. Now he can't run anymore. I catch him in the UFC on my debut, and I knocked him out, man. I am not here to win the fight. I am here to knock people out. And that is what you've done. The crowd love that. That's what you've done every single time you fight. You knock everybody out. How proud are you, though, to make your UFC debut and be the only Turkish fighter on the roster? Man, of course I am so happy, but... I represent Turkey, man. This is, I am so honored. You know, I am so glad to re represent Turkish flag in the UFC, man. I am just the only guy from Turkish in the UFC, man. Well, we look forward to seeing a lot more of you. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ebo, the last Ottoman, Aslan. Who wants some, Ebo? I like it, Ebo. For Nate Landwehr. Next to the scale, Jamal Embers. Julio Arce coming up next. 145, Jamal. Official weighed 145 pounds for Jamal Embers. Next to the scale, Virna. All right, Jiu-Jitsu journey. Be real, be good, be real good. One fifteen. Official weight, one hundred fifteen pounds for Virna Janjidova. Next to the scale, Lupi Godinez. One fifteen. Official weight, 115 pounds for Lupi Godinez. Next to the scale, Julio Arce. Same thing. Same thing. Official weight, 147 pounds for Julio Arce. Next to the scale, Herbert Burns. Has there ever been a fight where the fighters had the same nickname? I, uh, 
I don't know if they actually fought each other, but I think they might have been on the same card. Official weight, 145 pounds for Would, Herbert I think, Kern. maybe. Next to the scale, Dennis Bazookia. Left hand Bazookia. Left hand Bazookia. Look at him. Official weight, 145 and a quarter for Dennis Bazookia. Same card had Ty Bam Bam and Brian Bam Bam. <laughs> All right, well, you know. Official weight, 145 pounds for Connor Matthews. Next to the scale. Weirding you out watching UFC at normal time? Ebo, who wants some? He should have yelled. Who wants some of Ebo? The painted on sponsors. <laughs> Yo, come on. That's awesome. Two oh five. Official weight two hundred five pounds for Anton Turkali. Next to the scale, Victoria Dudakova. One twenty five. Official weight, 125 pounds for Victoria Dudakova. Next to the scale, Melissa. So Gattro. something must have happened because that fight didn't go on. So did Joe and Dan Lozano ever fight together? I don't know. Official weight, 125 pounds for Melissa Gatto. Yo, Jim, what? Yeah, Jens, I always watch, but normally it's after midnight when it begins. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Petrosky. Official weight, 186 pounds for Andre Petrosky. Next to the scale, Jacob Malcoon. Chance, what first got me into MMA? Man, I was Official I was wrestling and... Pounds for Jacob Malcoon. I'm going to save this because they're walking the way up. I was wrestling and when I came back from junior college, I went back to Boise State University to start... To start my, you know, to go back into Division D1 wrestling. And MMA started coming about. And I started watching, um, it was um, Townsend Saunders. Townsend was a big time wrestler. Yo, Sam, how you doing? Much love, my friend. Um, Townsend Saunders was a wrestler. I started watching these wrestlers fighting this MMA. I'm like, you know, because I was getting, with, I got in a lot of fights when I was, I was I had that reputation as I guess a fighter when I was in high school and college. So then all these wrestlers, you know, they're like, hey, come check this out. You should try this stuff. And we would be in gyms. And it would just we would fight in gyms. And we would they would just put somebody in there and you'd fight. They would just be throw down. And we would and Evidently, because they had a couple little, they had a rope up and a ref, it was legal. Finished seven of last seven wins. Younger brother of UFC welterweight Gilbert Burns, award UFC contract, they don't like series season three, week seven, Herbert Burns. So we, I used to just fight. And then I started, I was like, all right, well then I, so then I would set up fights in a ring and I would just bring people in and I would fight and videotape. My friend would lob that thing up on his shoulder and start watching it. But I started fighting because it's like, wait, I can do this. And I always wanted, I always wanted to be a world champion. I always, I figured it would be boxing or something, but I always wanted to, I always wanted to be a fighter. But when I, when I started watching this MMA, I'm like, dude, I was made for this. I was made for this. I got to do this. And I just did. I promised my mother I would finish college. So the second I graduated college, I was already in my first UFC and boom, I was gone. Packed up everything, moved to California. That backfired, left California. Went back to Idaho. Was stuck. Now I have nothing. All my stuff was left in Bob Shamrock's garage, made rest in peace. My All my memories, my college career, everything, it's all gone somewhere. 
Finished three of last four wins. Highest takedown defense in UFC history with 95%. Third highest strike defense in UFC featherweight history, 67.2%. Julio Arce. So, and then I end up, um, next thing you know, I'm living on the couch in the house that used to be mine. I was like, you know what? I got to figure out what I'm going to do. I got to do something. And um, I, I, my friend called, Bob called Monty Cox, said, hey, you know, I'd already did my first UFC fight. They said, you know what? They would love to have you. I'm like, all right. I could get into the story. It'd be a long, crazy story, but I was going to take a bus at first. And then I sat there and some sh- happened. I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. Then I, my mom said, if you come up to Washington, you could take a, you could take a train. Oh dude, I'll take a train. So I went up to Washington and got on the train and took a train out to Iowa two and a half days, showed up, dropped my bag, said, I'm ready to be a world champion. So I guess the reason why I wanted to be an MMA fighter was because I grew up, I was pretty I was beaten as a kid. I, I, I got beat a lot by my father, you know? And um, so I'd always had a, a little man syndrome. And then I, I was pretty good at wrestling, but I always felt like if I could throw punches, it'd be a lot more fun. And then I was just, I was literally made, I was just, I, I was not lying. I was, I was born to do it. I was, I was made to do it, you know? So that's why I did it. That's why I became an MMA fighter. Yo, what up, James? How you doing? And then I got the same name as my father. And like I said, there's a lot of uh, the abuse stuff and all that that could it changed everything and made me want to change my name. And there's a whole story. It's a whole story behind it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pretty much. But that was it. No, nah, but I'm from Seattle. I moved out to Iowa and I just stay here. I'll never leave. I love it here. I'll never leave. You know what I mean? But uh Carson J is gonna win that trophy. Hey, maybe, maybe someday. You know, like you always have to carry, like, here's the one thing, the most painful thing I ever carry is this fight's about to start. It, like the timing will suck. So I'll maybe I'll wait on it. I'll wait on it. I'll wait on it. Huh? Would you ever do a podcast or something talking about your life? What do you think I'm doing right now on this stream? I'm answering questions. Talking to all of you. That's what I do every time I'm on here. This is my podcast. This is my podcast. It just goes out to Twitch and Fight Pass Facebook and of course the Fight Pass YouTube. You know what I mean? All right, let's go. Arce, Herbert, how are you going to get inside this, Herbert? Get inside. Arce is bouncing around a little bit. Don't let him pop into the cage. The book was already out. I already wrote one of those, too. Double jab, double jab, left hand. And the whole thing I started was my documentary. So that was the whole reason why I did all of it. The whole reason I even did all of it. It's crazy. Anyways, now you're going to pop in. There we go. Oh, he denied on that takedown, Burns. He died. But I don't like Arce. He's got his back on the fence. Man, you got to get off the fence. Get off the fence. Circle out. Herbert obviously wants you there, but Caspi, how you doing, Caspi? You got to go on Joe Rogan's podcast and give this channel some... Yeah. Okay. You figure out how to get him to put me on there, and I'm in. I'm in. Joe! Yo. I yelled it. Chief, he don't want to talk to me. Ooh, inside leg kick burns, inside leg kick. I got all of you. You know what I mean? Got all of you. That's love enough. Chins and account are almost word for word commentary. I know I got to quit. Work your way in there. Like, that's the one thing there. Now, Arce, see, I like that. So you got Ray versus Leslie. Arce lands in one, two. And this is, Burns is the one moving forward, but he's got to get in the, get inside there, pump that jab, circle, circle, circle. What's up, UFC? She's come back to Canada in July. There you go. What? Boom, double jab. There it is. I like that, Arce. Double jab, left hand as you circle outside that lead foot. Let's go. You know what I mean? Yo, Jaffa Rock, how you do I do? He has mentioned, I know, but all right, then let's get let's get on then. I'm in. Let's go. Joe. You know what I mean? How do I do it? You let me know and I'm in. I'm hundred percent in. I would love to rap with him. 
I've got so many conspiracy questions. <laughs> Double jab left. There's so many things to talk about. <laughs> All right, I'll quit. Oh, there we go. That's how you throw it right hand. Close the distance. Get the body lock. Push him up against the fence and take a knee to the sack. And that is how you lose the body lock. That is how you lose the body lock you worked so hard to get into. When you come up, you throw a knee to his midsection. Well, son of a... Body lock. He went, he, he took it, he shot for, you know, he went for a takedown, shot to the knee, dropped down, popped back up, and then fires the knee on his way up. That was all right. R.C. is ready to go. Let's get back there and let's fight. You know I mean, is this on ESPN Plus? It's always on ESPN Plus, is it not? You and Joe play Quake on stream. Ooh. I got to play. Well, we got to start doing the video game stream. I just had the game with AK Snoop. Or I can, if I had enough courage, I could, I would game solo, but I'm scared to game solo. Like, I love gaming so much that I'm scared to game by myself. But I could sit here and play Fortnite all day. Then I get, look it. See? Herbert likes to knee, Herbert likes to knee the sack right now. Look, he's trying to, here we go again. He knees him right in the cup. You know what I mean? Look it. But he fired it right. How do you miss that? Like, I don't understand. How do you need somebody in the sack like that? You know what I mean? Like, like, you closing your eyes or something? What are you doing? Like, he fired his knee right up the middle. Right up the middle. He, yes, you got to take that. It's blatant as be damned. Learn how to control your weapons. Control your weapons. You know what I'm saying? Oh, then I would, I would, dude, he wouldn't ruin my conversation. I'll be here and everything. Like, look what I can, I can handle everything. I'm in. Now, like, no, oh, dude, I love this ref. You kid me? Copeland takes control, boy. He, he don't kid around. I'm telling you. He's like, Psh, man, Lord of the Rings. Oy, with that right leg missing. All right, now, Arce, you need to win this round so you get that 10-8. You know what I mean? Oh, you try to catch foot back and forth. All right, let's go. Let's go, Julio. Control your weapons. That's like all the time, right? Let's find that right at. He is the number one podcast for a savage. Head in the pocket. There you go. Head in the pocket. Not in the pocket, but he's got to push up against the fence. Birds. What are we looking for? R say good job of spinning off. Add a kid. Let's go. Knee him again, Deuce. I would. Just knee him a third time. Go. There we go. Give him that straight left to the belly hole, R say. Walk it down. Walk it down. There we go. At least you started to close it off. Burns, you're closing it. You got to push up against the fence. You got to corner it, I mean. He is like 5'8". No, he's not. Copeland? I don't think he's 5'8". Not even... No. What's up? You better get your strategy ready for me and it. You know what? Those little things are too fast. I already know what I'm going for. I know what I'm doing. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, I'm in. I'm going to be fish-hooking fish hooking and eye gouging because they won't do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm fish hooking and eye gouging. That's it. If it's like, if this is on, if this is on the streets, like, is, is this for survival? I don't, I probably wouldn't fish because I don't want to get bit, but I'm going to, I got to figure out, I got to squeak it in there. No, you know what I'm saying? I got to squeak it in there one way or another. You have to get it. <laughs> Uh, no, they're talking about fighting a, a chimpanzee. Like, that little sunbuck could move. I ain't trying to... They got power, man. They got agility. That's an ass whooping. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I can avoid it. I'm not trying to fight anything out there. To be honest, I'm good.
out there, out there, like the one time when I had that bear come up over that hill when I was in Idaho. Yeah, it was horrifying. I, I dropped everything. Yeah, I went running. I was terrible. Rattlesnakes. Like you be out there, you don't even know that that coot, that that damn mountain lion's following you. And, yeah, man. Playing out in woods. That's crazy enough. Not alone with the ticks. And you got those little ticks. Like, all right. I'm done. All right, anyways, let's go. Oh, he tried to get too aggressive. Arce caught him with the counter right hand. Right, Gilbert tried to walk in. Gilbert tried to do a jump knee. Got him. See, Arce's fighting with his back on the fence. He's got to stop doing that. But he forced his way in. And there we go. Push him up against the fence. Would you attack it back, Wawa with cheese? Of course you would. Oh, with cheese? Of course you would. 100%. 100%. No, luckily, it wasn't. It was a, I'll get it. I'll tell it in a minute. We got the fight going on. It was a cub. And the scary part was I was like the mother. And that's when I freaked out. The, I was walking over this ridge. All right, well, they're fighting. I feel rude doing it while they're in the middle of the fight. All right. But these two, they're just kind of throwing one punch at a time. I'll yell when something happens. And I happened to go walking over this ledge, and it was coming down from the water. And it was doing something, and it let out a yell. And I'm like, oh, no, I was up fly fishing way back in the mountains in Idaho. And um, I, was, I was fly fishing. And I was like, oh, no. And it, it came back, and I, and I took off running. And it started yelling. I'm like, where's its mom? And I just, I bailed. I ran. Just, I just, yeah, I took off running. And that thing, like, luckily it got scared and ran back the other direction. And then it sat up on this tree, up on its, ooh, big shots. Arce, Arce, tee it up. Left hand drops, birds. Oh. Hey, you all ever, th do you think, what do you all think about this ref? What do you think about this ref? Yo, Edison George, how you doing? How you doing? Steel cups are loud. Yeah, steel cups are loud. Stoppages. Right? Look at this. I love it. Look right here. That leg, he went with the kick. Look, the jab, feigned back, the jab, one, two, and he started covering up. Started stuffing his left hands in there. He's trying to cover up, cover up here. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, boom. Then he started getting through, and boom. Boom, and down he goes. See, right there. See, even though they're trying to move around, you see what I mean? What I like about him is he errs on the, on the side of caution, where others might let him take one or two punches. You see what I'm saying? So you don't like him, but do you see what I mean? But do you see that fine line? There's a reason why I brought it up. Like, and that was exactly what I was hoping people would, people would say is he's he's stopping it in my opinion he's stopping a little on the on the safer side see what i mean where there could be like you could let it two one or two more go until they're you know <laughs> but at the same token i don't think it's bad i don't think it's bad at all i've never that's why i won't even mess around with gators i'm scared to, of that yeah i don't even want to find out about a gator you know what i'm saying I don't even like, I won't even put my hand in dirty water. I've lived by the Mississippi for 23 years. I've been in the Mississippi on accident once. I fell in off the side of a dock and came running out of there and went straight to the shower and started washing. I don't do dirty water. In Idaho, Seattle, you can see all the way to the bottom. You can see every pebble. That river, those rivers are so clean. But I do not, I don't do dirty water. No. <laughs> Heck no. I've been in this, I've been by this, I love this Mississippi, but I damn sure ain't never swimming in that thing. No, but that's what I'm saying. So chat, that's what I'm saying though, right? Is, but you see, I mean, I like that he's, I think he does, I think he stops it just fine. But I'm just curious if people think if he's, he definitely errs on the side of, on the safer side. But again, it goes back to what I said before, the way that they fall. You don't go from standing up to getting hit when you fall straight over. See, I love that. To him, that's enough. But there are some refs, and it, I don't think they're wrong either, is 
all right, give him one or two more. Let him see if he can fight his way back up. You know what I mean? I really like him. I like him. I think it's a great stoppage. But I'm just saying, some people could say that it might be a little too early. It, see, it's, it, it's, it's. But you're always just one or two punches, right? Remember, because you always hear me saying that. You were just one, one or two punches away from saying that's the worst stoppage ever. And so I kind of like that he's on the he's on the safer side. You know what I mean? I like it. I like it. Arce. And that was one thing, man, is Herbert had a hard time figuring out how to close that distance. And the way he just walked in, boom, that right. And then, see, he didn't like that right. Once he got hit with that right in the left eye, he just kind of curled up. That was it. And they just took a lot of left hands, a lot of left. And that's the other thing. Look at how many shots he's taking when he's on his feet. So when this one hits him and knocks him over, look at you already know there's no reason not to stop it. And that's what I like about this referee was he realized the damage he was taking standing. He's like, yeah, okay. When he fell, that was his, that was the, you know what I mean? That was, yep, we're, all, we're done. I like it. I like it. I like him. I think he's doing, I think he's doing great. Oh, I got to see this. Oh, I got to see this. This is what we thought we might get from the start. Wow. This is what we thought we might get from the start. These two, they were just throwing. I love this. This is what we thought we might get from the start. Wow. Well, that was it, right, Goshen? That's exactly it. And that was the other thing. Burns. Turned and literally turtled towards the side. And then he opened up and then he ate some clean shots and then fell down. There's no reason to keep it going. Look at that. This is what we thought we might get from the start. These two. Wow. They just bring it. Love. Love. Repost. All right, I'm going to finish this real quick. How many more we got? Next to the scale, Angel Pacheco. 135. Official weight, 135 pounds for Angel Pacheco. Next to the scale, Keelan Lochran. 135. They had a good fight. Official weight, 135 pounds for Keelan Lochran. Now is it. All right. All right. What do we got? Oh, Lupe Godinez. Oh, look what's making his way up, though. Look what's making his way. Nate Landry, we got Nate. All right, chat. Now we can talk for a minute. We have a moment, right? I think. We have a down minute, unless you want another video. Let me see, I'm keeping on this. What did I, no, I got, we got, did I do the Jacob one? I did Jacob, right? Oh, look at you. Oh, he just, what the, what the, oh no. Oh, there it was. There it was. Oh, and then when you fall like this, oh. see what I mean? He jumped in and saved him. Now, could that be the same thing? Is that, was that early? But see, it goes back to what I said about with Copeland is with Copeland is hey, what I like about it is he goes by again, the way that you fall. And I think that was the biggest thing is the way that you fall. Like look how hard he hits the canvas. Boom. Like he just drilled it and see how the refs already make, he's already made up his mind. 
He's all look at he is all ready from the minute he's stacked. Look at him. Look how far away he is. And he has to come, he comes running. Look at he is already running. As soon as he hit, nah, that is it. I've already made up my mind. I am not letting you do it. I like it. I like he errs on the side of caution. Not bad. Not bad. I like that. We gotta we gotta repost that one. Here's that left hand. I don't know. We have to look it up and see if we get word, but I'm not sure what happened with Dudakova and Gato. I'm not sure what happened with that fight. But look at that left. Ooh, just over the shoulder. Boom. Boom. I love that left. Look at the two. Two, three. Two, three. I love this. Boom. The great. I like it. I like it. Repost. Repost. All right. Loopy, loopy. I like this. I like it. The loopy Godinas. I like it. The loopy Godinas. I like her style. I like number 10. So longest active win streak in the UFC strawweight division, right? That's six. Highest takedown accuracy in UFC strawweight history was 60.5%. Huh? Dang. She got the fifth highest strike accuracy in UFC strawweight history, 52.2%. Boy. Then that's the other thing, right? You can't fetal up either and expect the fight to continue on. When you get hit, you hit the floor and you fetal up like that, done. You know, done. Why didn't somebody tell me I had this on so dang it? All right. Well, you can hear me, right? So that works. John Didoba. I can't. I cannot. I can forever the eye gouger. I can't. The eye gouger. Fight past Facebook. Fight past Facebook. How you doing? How you doing, Facebook? I wish I could see you all of you. If you're chatting or you're saying anything over there, you got to come on over. If you are defending yourself at like 100% success rate, that is intelligent defense. Yeah. Huh? I guess so. If you're sitting there in the fetal position and protecting yourself, that is, yeah, that's intelligent. Maybe. Possibly. Possibly. All right. All right, one love. You know what I'm talking about, right? She, do, like, who was that she fought when she just carved? <laughs> she carved. Ah, oh, craziness. Who has a huge advantage? Verna John Jidova, back-to-back wins, former Invicta FC Strawway champion, fifth fastest submission in UFC Strawway history, one minute, 44 seconds, versus Felice Herrig, 8, 15, 20. TJ, TJ, why rock with that gifted love and appreciation? All right, all right, it's happening. It's happening. Steiner, yo, let's go champ. These watch songs make the viewing experience significantly better. Much love and appreciation. TY with the 15 months. All subs go to support the stream. Bro, gents, every podcast I listen to at, to Joe at work always brings brings you and Pat up. I'm telling you, y'all need to do one. <laughs> what what'd we do this time? It just depends what we did. I don't know, but I'm in. Just I'm in. Let's wrap. I just got to, Mr. Rogan. I'm in. Let's go. I'm not saying no. Who do we talk to? Tell AK Sue to reach out. Reach out. 
Where did that come from, Bored Blues? Borel, Borel Blues. I thought I said Bored from it. Borel, where did that come from? Oh, she's ready. She's ready. Rosa. Here we go. Oh. At Instagram. Oh, I'm gonna go live and just let it just put it right here so it just looks at me. Foul. Foul. Bug protein. Yeah, okay. Wait, who did? Yo, Michael, how you doing? How you doing? All right, let's go. How are we going to get inside this? Look at John Genova. Level. Look, I like that. She bouncing up there trying to work that jab. Oh, one, two. Oh, fair enough. This is number five against number 10. Loopy being the number 10 rider. This is a, this is a big one. Look, we got, all right, look at this. Look at She tried to step that one, two. She's giving you that jab. Not main yet. Not, no, we on a, we're working our way up. We still got Nate Landwehr. We still got a Nate Landwehr fight. I'll tell you what, though. I don't know if it's just me, but... Ooh, right hand. Fair enough. These fights have been fun. I don't know. Maybe it's the chat that's been fun, but it seems like I'm enjoying these fights. Oh, she's going to try to grab a single leg on Loopy. She's going to go on for it. I got to push up against the fence. You got to run the pipe. No, can't do Loopy. Pick up that arm. Loopy, lift it up. Boral, Boral Blues with three months. Let's go. T.Y. Much love and appreciation. All subs go support the stream. There we go. Right back up to her feet. Get that leg outside the way. Verna's got her pushed up against the fence. We got the body lock. Body lock. Come on, Loopy, you got to get in there, frame that face, throw some knees, frame that face, throw some knees. By the way, I love these fights too, right, Could these, Yeah, they fire, man. I like these fights. These fights have been awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it's been a really good card. So I see one, love. Thank you all for being here with me. I appreciate you. Oh, she pulled her down into a leg. She's going to try to spin around for her. Is Loopy going to be able to try to scramble away around a bit? Get that leg back. Get that leg back. Lift, lift, lift, lift. Get your leg back. Sprawl back, sprawl back, Lupe. Sprawl back. There we go. Now we're going to be out on that front headlock. Nice. Nice. Hardy down under. 12. Look at you. Look at you. Yo. Much love and appreciation. JP the Funky with the gift. Much love and appreciate. Thank you all very much. All Southern will support the stream. All right. We're back on our feet. We're back on our feet. Jab. Oh, she tried to throw the teep, and Verna landed that one, too. Oh, two double jab miss. Verna moved out the way. Mine's like 30, 30 seconds behind me. What do you want me to do? I can pause it. Oh, let's go, Loopy. I'm going to get inside that. Get inside those punches. Jab, like Verna doing a good job keeping that jab. Look at backing out of the way. Look at she triple jabbed. Verna moved back, slid out the way. Oh, Loopy. We got a body lock. Look at that. Vernon with that jab. Oh, one, two. Nice one, two, Verna. Damn. Lupe! Circle, at least. Circle! She's trying to land that lead up. Oh, she got me. She would just circle. Look at Verna just popping up with that jab. Pow. Look at that. One, two. I love this. 
Ooh, cheap. Cheap. High kick. There we go. Jab, jab, right. Loopy, come back with the one, two. All right. Oh, look at Verna's got the damn single. Loopy, you're supposed to be shooting the singles. All right, Verna's got the single. About to push up against the fence. Overhook is working up against the fence. Trying to sprawl that hip back. Get that hip back. Try to get your leg back if you can. DZ510, love and appreciate it. 33 months, DZ. TY, TY, DZ. There we go. She's got to get that leg back on the floor. Verna's going to be like, not today. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves a half guard. Step in between the legs. And then we're going to try to hop over onto the back. She's got that overhook. The only thing that's kind of saving Loopy right now is that overhook. But now she's got the hook. And now you're stuck reaching behind. What kind of scrambling? Oh, it spun back around. And Verna's... Oh, all right, I ain't going to lie, man. She spun with her. Now she put in both legs and got the double leg right. She's going to try to flatten her out. All right, Verna's kind of, that was kind of sick, man. I ain't playing. Dang, I ain't playing. She spun around and tried to go the other way, and Verna followed her. That was beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> this is not supposed to be happening to Loopy. This is not supposed to be happening to Loopy. She's not supposed to be getting out wrestled. Yeah, you know I mean, Verna, Verna's just that one, two, popping in, grabbing that single. Then she just out scrambled and rolled with her. That was nice. Loopy looking tired already, too. Loopy looking tired. Loopy, like I need more takedowns from you, but it's, I don't think it's going to happen. Verna might have, Verna just might have that style that's going to drive, that's going to, that's going to mess, you know what I mean? Where are all the fights at? Like, I mean, in Atlantic City? Jim Whelan Boardwalk Hall? The Jim Whelan Boardwalk Hall? Allen versus Curtis 2, Saturday, April 6th. So we have that fight before the 13th. All right, we go. Oh, that's next Saturday. All right, there we go, Loopy, with the jab in the rear leg. There you go. Step inside that jab. Oh, let's go. Loopy, you got to go with punches two and three. Two, three, and four. Get in, get in. I think that's everybody throwing their camera up on the stage. Everybody's got them lobbed up. This is my spot. This is my camera. You know what I mean? There we go. Loopy, you got to get a little more aggressive. I like that one. Backed her up quite a bit and kicked her leg for going too far away, you know? Will you be able to stream the fights for the card airing on ABC? I won't be able to show them. And I know what you're thinking it's just ABC, but that's exactly why, because it's ABC. I mean, we have to see, I don't, you know what I mean? Last time, the other time I know we did one and we couldn't do it. You know what I mean? Oh, good right hand. Is that, ne is that next one is, is ABC? I mean, we could ask, but I already know what the answer is going to be. <laughs> Oh, I didn't have you unmuted. Damn it. The answer is no. Oh, there we go. She goes in on the single. She's going to try to sit down on Loopy. Square up. There's Loopy. You got to make her pay. Don't let her scramble you through. She's trying to get, in, just get that leg. She's going to try to roll you over. She's going to look for the roll. Loopy. Loopy. Loopy, don't start striking it. You got to fight that hand. She got her stuck. But now Verna's going to try to, she's going to try to spin through that leg. Look, at she's still trying to lift. She, look, she's got the body. She's trying to get in on that leg and bump it over. Going to try to lift it over. Get heavy. Get heavy. Look, we're going to come around the other direction. There you go, Loopy. Out scramble, out scramble. Oh no, what are we doing? Are we going for a knee bar? Loopy. She's got the she's got the feet crossed in the proper direction. You're not getting that foot. You ain't getting that foot. She can't even throw anything. Look at Verna's got her so off balance. She can't do anything. She's, she's trying to hold on to that foot. She's got the figure four. She's down, she's sitting down towards the legs. She's got to try to undo the legs there and get that foot off if she wants to. But there, Verna, she messed around. Now Verna, look at she's gonna come out on top. Verna's up. She wanted you to play the game. She was after it. Oh, look at the baby right there. But I don't know. I don't like this. Verna's like, we'll play this. I'm going to sit up on you. She's still going to start cranking, though. It's like, just give me that ankle. I'm going to crank on it anyway. What? Hey, champ, you going to 300? To my knowledge, no. I'm not going to 300. No, there's not a capsize because she figured for her own leg. 
and that's why she's got to, she's got to work on now she is starting to work on that one ankle but she's got to be able to peel that one leg away so that she she can get that knee bar calf slice she, yeah she her legs are not in the proper position for the calf slice Virna figured forward her own legs coming over but now we got to figure out cuz she does have this she does have this heel she's able to get this heel hook and crank down on the other foot has them crossed over it's like a simple, it's a leg lace. Just pull it over, leg lace. Just lift on the foot, crank it through, get get two. You know what I mean? Calf slice in a minute, huh? Tell you, she got a pull on that butt. Yeah, they're knotted up right now. They stuck. They stuck. Vern is trying to sit there and grab some punches real quick, but. Oh, this is, she doesn't have really that much of a heel hook as much as she has. I mean, she does, but she just has both the feet crossed right now. And she's able to just create some pressure. But she's still able to sit up there. And there could be a calf slicer in this, if you can get this thing over and sit on. She wants the knee bar. She's got to undo the, the grip. And that's what she's trying to do is once she undoes, undoes it, she can go after that bottom foot. Notice how she's protecting it. She keeps giving her the top foot. And she could come back in Achilles, right? That Achilles locking out, but she doesn't have the pressure with the leg. She, she has her leg locked on that bottom foot. And if you can see, she's got to peel the feet off so she can get the bottom heel. If that may, if you understand what I'm saying. And right now, who's winning? That's what I'm saying. This is so odd with the way that they're stuck in this position. One's trying to go for a submission, one's on punches. They've untangled. They've untangled. We're untangled a little bit. Who's going to pop? Oh, look at this. They're grabbing each other in the head. She threw an elbow. This is like a dead even. They're sideways. <laughs> John you know, trying to throw punches. Loopy's going to end up on top. And she spins around fun. What a scramble. And they're on their feet. Unreal. Shut up. That was awesome. Oh, that was crazy. If you, if you all don't see this, I hope, I hope y'all get to see this. That was insane. They were knotted up, literally sideways, all tangled up, grabbing each other by the head, punching, throwing elbows. That was perfect. I love this. Good knee, good right hand for Loopy at the end. All right, so do you give that round to Loopy? Do we go one round a piece right now? You know? I, man, who won that round? That's like, who do you give that? Who do you give that round to? You know what I mean? She figured for her legs so she couldn't, for that knee bar, tuck that foot on her knee so Loopy could never get that knee and straighten it out and straighten that leg out. Sat there and followed it forever. And somehow the way that they, they went one direction and came back the other way, she held on to that like a, like a leg lace. You know, in freestyle, you'll lace that leg and you start rolling. And she held on to that thing for a minute, but yeah, that was crazy. I would go one one just to make it fun. You got Loopy winning twenty eight. You got Loopy with two rounds. Look at see, then Wow Wow Cheese got Verna with two rounds. I know Verna got. I think Verna got round one for damn sure. Round two, that's gonna be tough. All right, but we'll find out. Here we go. Here we go. Threw that kick up there. Verna's on her feet. Look, they in shape, though. There we go, Loopy. Double jab, right hand your way to close this distance. Oh, you try to go for the uppercut, and Verna dropped down for a single. Got you up against the fence. You got that overhook. What are you going to do, though? Verna dropped down for that single. You got to use that fence. Don't get taken down. There we go. Get that foot on the ground. Get that foot on the ground. Get back. Get back. There you go. Nice job. Throw the knee. There we go. Another knee for Loopy. Underhook, push up against the fence. Verna jumps right into guard. Jumps up, locks guard. They're standing, though. Don't you dare slam her to the floor yet. Don't you dare circle away and get her. Oh, there you go. She let go. Then she lands a one-two. Loopy with the one-two. Verna with the jab. Nice. Verna coming forward. Get that jab, Verna. All right. We brought Loopy. Oops. Look at it. Keep that hands up. One, two, one. There you go. I like the punches. She's just on the strikes. 
Look at that. She's up by 30. She's up by 30 strikes, man. Good luck. There we go. One, two. She just landed that one, two. Loopy just kind of frozen back there. Trying to land. There we go. One, two for Loopy as well. But Verna's just being active. Bouncing, bouncing, popping that shot. Leg kick. Look at that. Landing that jab. She's just being a busy one. She's selling it right now. Salesmanship. Push it forward. Boom, boom. Look at that. Two lefts and a right goes in for a single, but stuffed. We got it stuffed by Loopy. Loopy gets the underhook, throws the knee, pushes up against the fence. Loopy, you're going to need more than this. Loopy! You're going to need more than this. Come on. Got to push up against the fence. Where's the right hand? Put it to work. Berna's throwing knees instead. I like this. There's the right hand, Loopy! See, on the break, Loopy throws on the break. That's beautiful break. Pow! But then Verna throws the right hand. There's the jab. And Verna tried to throw a right hand. Got denied of going in for the single leg. Ver then Loopy went to the fence and spun off. There we go. She threw it. Look at that. Tried to throw a right to the belly and rip an uppercut. Let's go, Loopy. The, the jab a piece. Oh, Verna trying to go with that one, two, one, two again. But one, two back for Loopy. Come on, Loopy. Loopy caught her. Oh, Loopy lands the left. Come on, Loopy. Oh, that knee almost worked right there. She about dropped down. I like it. Boy, oh, right hand for Loopy. Verna dropped down for a single and got denied, but right hand for Loopy, left for Loopy. It looked like she fell the way she fell into that day. It looked like she dropped from the punch. Oh, there she goes in, lunging in for the double leg. Up against the fence. Loopy got to try to spin off. You got to spin off, Loopy. Verna's going to get that body be like, we getting this takedown. Guess you ain't getting up, you. We shall see. Oh, she's got, look, she's got reached behind her back, has her arm, is ripping left hand. Loopy's got to, you got to get flattened out. Here it goes. Oh, Verna's going to try to take the back. Verna's got the back. Loopy's up. Standing up. Verna's on her back. Looking for the rear naked. Pulling on the chin. Verna did great. She's looking for that rear naked. Oh, we got catch up. We got all kinds of things happening. Loopy getting beat up. Verna's on her back, throwing left hand, looking for the rear naked. Left hand's rear naked. Loopy standing there carrying all that weight. Oh, look, she's got it locked up with the head, with the head twisted. She's trying to fight it. Boy, Verna don't play when she gets locked up. There it is. Loopy fought her way out of it. Verna's locking that rear naked back up. Look, with the head turned sideways, she just cranks it. Look, she just turns it into a neck crank. So there's all, I mean, she's just getting, Verna is running away. Don't fall forward. Ah, oh, and she kind of shook her off for a moment. Verna's adjusting. If you flatten her out, that's going to be, that's it. That's it. Look at that. She's still got that choke. She's still got that choke. Look at it. Loopy just stands up. I love that. Just stands up like, where is this? Give me this. Oh, look at trying to throw her off. Can't get her off. Cannot get her off. I love it. Look at her. Let's go, Verna. Just ripping some shots, holding on to it. What a man. I'm telling you, what a boss. Nice job. I didn't expect, I did not expect Loopy to get slowed down like that. That's impressive. That's impressive. I'll never forgive her for the scratching, but still, that's impressive. Do you see what's next? The last, and then the main card. This Nurselton, I can't, I'm looking forward to seeing this. He's a monster. Shout out to the 49 casuals who voted Loopy. I love... <laughs> I would have I would have voted for Loopy for sure. I would have voted for the Loopy. <laughs> UFC X two day fan experience back June twenty eighth and 29th. See, that's where I'd like to be. Hopefully we'll be there. Like we gotta run amok, get live, get hanging out, seeing everybody. Verna did incredible right there. You know what I mean? Oh, we need it, right? We need that one. Chris Weidman, let's go. Yeah, we'll have to see what happens. Um, oh, 
Uh, I told you about Loopy, a real one. Yeah, she got wrecked, though. Shanji Doba got that number. Or did she do it? Three sub attempts, one reversal. Let's see. Twenty nine, twenty nine, twenty nine, twenty seven. I mean, you got to be Verna. You got to be Verna. Got to be Verna, right? Verna defends her number five shot, and the number 10 went in there to take a shot. Number 10 to win in there to take a shot. Loopy. Loopy. <laughs> Coach, how do you got to get a backpack up? Oh, like, fight the legs? You have to fight the legs. It sucks. Preferably, do not get in it. But yeah, the legs. The legs are a nightmare, but you have to. It sucks. It just sucks. Oh, we're doing this right now. We're doing this right now. They're moving right along, aren't they? Why, wow, this thing's supposed to start at what? Not, oh, 9 Central. That's Oh, I see why we're doing that. Okay. Nate the Train, though. Never boring. Never boring with Nate the Train. Let's go! What's that? You just never... You know what? Normally, I, I, normally I, I didn't like her style until today. It actually made a lot of sense. I don't know why. Normally, I'm not a fan of her style. But... She looked a lot smoother today with her transition, the way that she was able to roll with that. And her jab and her one-two looked a lot better. I think she did a lot better. Oh, yeah, Nate the Train's no, no joke. Look at him. Let's go. Nate the Train, let's go. Wait, where's my other one? Right there. Joaquin Buckley. We got, we got Buckley and Nate the Train today. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this, sucker punch. All right, all right. I got oh. Making his way, already walking his way out. He's already, man, they're moving right along. I don't know. If you're, how's everybody doing? Everybody doing all right? Y'all good? All right. Jamal making his way out first. All right, Emmers. I just got to... Where did it happen? Where did it happen? I love it. I love it. A bit, man. Billions. Billions. Watch me get kicked. Emmers. Man, this whole card so far has been awesome. Jamal Emmers, um, last fight, defeated what? He beat Bazookia. First round TKO. He beat it, he beat Bazookia. What? Eight wins by knockout, tree by submission, fifth best bottom position percentage in UFC Featherweight history with 1.22%. He, he knocked, he beat Bazookia in one round. This Bazookia? Because that was sick with that left hand. Dang. Wait, did who miss weight? No. Oh, don't. No, no. I don't think so. I don't think anybody missed weight. Like, we would have watched it a minute ago. We watched the weigh-ins. Everybody made it, right? We had one fight that pulled out today that we, we were supposed to be 14, but that was it. 49 seconds what? What's 49 seconds? What are you talking about? It helps out of the guillotine jokes. Even if it doesn't, if it helps you, it, then go with it. You know what I mean? Then go with it. Here it comes the train. Here comes the train. Here comes the train. Oh, he don't play. Look at him. He's fired up. Clarksville, Tennessee. This one. See, I, oh, how quickly Jamal worked Bazookia. Did, did it say? I didn't even, it said fast. I didn't know. I, did I say the time? I thought I did. I don't remember. You got me lost, man, Kenshin. I was lost a second. I was like, huh? 
But I like him. He cracks me up. The interview with him, man, I miss interviewing these fighters. We got to do it again. Nate the Train won three of his last four fights. Six high significant strike rate in UFC featherweight history. 6.14 per minute. Fifth highest takedown defense in UFC featherweight history. 86.4%. Oh, he liked this. I mean, I'm watching it, but like 10 seconds behind. I don't know why. What do I need to do? Oh, he finished Bazooka in 49 seconds. Oh, yeah. No, that's crazy. Yeah, the fact he finished in round one. We just watched Bazooka with that left hand. Bazooka just looked so damn good. Kenshin, he looked so good. You know what I mean? I got to roll out. James, top, what, topple? I roll out, James. You're the man. Much love. Appreciate you. See you on Rogan soon enough. Then you better start, you better start hounding him. Otherwise, you know what I mean? I ain't asking. That's just weird. Appreciate you, though. Y'all can yell at Butler. Yell at Brian Butler if you want to. Right now, we've got Emmers as the negative 180 favorite. 34 years old. Nate Landwehr is 35. We got 5'9", 5'10", 45, 72, and 74-inch. So Emmers got a two-inch reach advantage. All right, I'm in. I'm in. Introducing first. Fighting out of the... I'm going to... Oh. Oh, here we go. You got to spam Jamie. Jamie! Right. Let's go. Come on, Nate. Let's go, brother. Three and one as UFC underdog. He's three and one. You do him a favor. Look at that. You do him a favor when you make him an underdog. Like it. Like it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Chat, it's happening. It's happening. Here we go. Here we go. The chain going to walk right out there. Oh, let that right hand hunt. Let that right hand hunt. Amber's with the jab, but I got it. Wait. Oh, you scared me. Oh, but look at that. Amber's with that lead hook. That lead hook by Amber. Oh, that lead hook landed again. Down goes Train. Train is staggered. He's up against the fence. Let him off. He's back up. That lead hand. Oh, that lead hand of Amber's. Oh, that there's that jab that one too. He's starting to he's piecing, man. He is oh he is swinging. All right, now he's got him corner up. Nate, Nate's trying to get his hands up. Boom, boom. Oh, Evers went for a left to the body, missed, got a little out of balance, trying to land that one too. Oh, Nate's gonna walk. In. He's got to figure out with his right hand. Evers is lobbing that right hand in there. There it comes. It's gonna be rugged. Nate's trying to keep them hands up, walk his way in. Boom. Emmers. There we go. Now Nate's coming back. Pop that jab. Pop that jab. He's trying to walk in. There it is. Emmers is landing that, that lead hook that he's throwing. That lead bob and that hook in there. And I'm telling you, Chad. Two. There you go. One, two for Nate. There we go. These two are scrapping. Here we go. Now he's starting to get a little more comfortable. Right one love. He's starting to get a lot. He's starying to get warmed up. Oh, but then Evers comes in and goes body, body, head, head right there. Come. He gets caught early, but Emmer's now see what, oh, Emmer's trying to step in with that elbow. There is a yeah, he's got he's bleeding Sancho on the right eye. You talking about yeah, Nate, he's caught on that on his right eye. There we go. See, that's it. Emmer's trying to get that hand through. He's got to pop that jab through. Nate's got, Nate's got to figure out how to touch him. He's doing a good job of, right? At least he's keeping his hands up. He's getting his defense going, but he's got to figure out. He's got to start touching him. Oh, see what I mean? See how Emmer just ripped that body shot with that right? Kevin on that deep kick. Come on, Nate. Nate, get those hands up. Get in. Get in. You got to get your hands on him, Nate. 
Trying to figure out how to get inside. Emers doing Emers is doing a great job of moving right now. Emers is winning. I would oh Murph. Emers has got to be winning. He had him. Well, he's got the knockdown, so I'd definitely give it to him. But Nate's starting to warm up and get his groove back a little bit. Nate's in front of him, kind of he's kind of cut him off. Emers is plumb right there. Gonna try to throw the knee through an elbow right there from that plum. Nate is still pushing forward. Should be making his way. Ooh, Sabatini. That's what it was. Emmer's a lot faster, a lot more accurate. Nate's walking him down, though. Can you tell me who wins? Oh, for sure I'll let you know who wins. I got you. I got you. There we go. Nate with the right hand. Look. Okay, so Emmer's must have caught, caught Chain with the hook, too, because he's cut. He's cut up here pretty bad. I think Emmer's landed a couple of elbows. Now he's trying to come in with that lead. See, because he keeps trying to do it too. Land that elbow. Now Nate's trying to rush in there and get the scrap going. Got a hand on the head. Uppercut. Right hand. Uppercut. Right hand. Trying to get in there. Control that head. Throw the knee. Caught him up against the fence. Embers. Hold that head and scrapping. Get in there. Let's go. Plum. Tying it up. Both of them. Nate trying to throw those uppercuts. There it is. Nate just made this dirty. Embers lands that. He got that left in there with that one, two, three. Look at Embers wants to take a breath. And Nate's like, nah, come here. Get him back in that deep water. Don't let him out. Nate, don't let him breathe. Look, he wants to breathe so bad. Get in there. Don't let him take a breath, Nate. You got to make this ugly. Go forward. Oh, Emmer tried to throw that right hand. See that space. Don't let him get that long right hand. Get inside. Damn, Emmer's just got a whip for a right hand. Good Lord. Get in there, Nate. Get in. Get in. Let's go. Let's go. Just walking him down. Walking him down. Emmer's just got against the fence. He'll run into the fence. One step back, he's in the fence. There you go. Don't let him hit that body. Look at that. Right to the body, right to the head for Emerson. He moves out of the way. Cut him off, Nate. Come on. There you go. Good counter right. I mean, good counter left jab. Pow. Snapped it in there. I like it. Emerson goes with two to the body, though. I like that, though. Emerson's going with that body shots. Come on, Nate. Stand in his face. Land that right hand. Come on. Make him work. He doesn't want to go this hard. It's the only way you're going to beat him. You got to get him tired. There you go, Nate. Trying to stay in his face. Trying to cut him off. There we go, uppercut. Uppercut, got him hurt. Nate got him hurt. He's got him out. Nate knocked him out with the uppercut. Stop it. <laughs> oh. How does he do it every time? How does he do it every time? Outgunned. Outgunned. He just... Pressure, pressure, pressure, pressure. Just rip that uppercut. Look at it. You can tell he's just tired. Nate's in his way, and he just rips an uppercut. 45, boom. Upstairs, up again, over the... Yeah. And that was it. Embers was getting tired, man. He kept pressuring him, kept pressuring him, kept pressuring him. Look at it. Stay in his face. Rip that 45. Uh, step back over the top. Rip back underneath. That 45, man. Boom. I love it. Love it. I'll tell you what it does. You know what it is. It, I don't know about the fight, but that's definitely the knockout of the night. Definitely the KO of the night. What a comeback. What a comeback. Man. That is awesome. That is, man. Nate, the train, Nate, the train. Man, you just tell that guy he is something. We're sitting on the street, man. Nate, the tra good Lord, that kid is a savage. Love you, Nate, man. Great fight. Great fight, the chat says. Man, that's just crazy. That's just crazy. Come on. That's <laughs> that is so, look, he just eats it up. Look at him. He's cut on both sides of his head. He just ripped that 45. Just Boom! You know what I mean? Love it. Love it. Man, that was crazy. What happened? Oh, but, but yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, I got to watch him get his name. This is crazy. Did we not even get out of the first round? He's going to go crazy on the mic. I know. We'll, we'll have to get his interview one way or another. That was awesome. That was awesome.
See how fast the ref jumped in? I don't want to miss this interview. Get a big way. Julio Arce by knockout in round two. I love it. He said, you're asking all the wrong questions. Ask me where I'm from. <laughs> Ask me where I'm from. He said, whoop my ass and see what happens. Let's go with that. He won't even do it. I love it. This guy is nuts. I love him. Love him. You know what I mean? Darth Adobo with 21. Much love and appreciation. Dude, he's just too much. He's too much. He says he's in there feeling like a young Jean-Claude Van Damme. Reds to go. Look at him. He's just screaming. Love it. He's got to get those stitches, though. Moon Pig. Moon Pig with the five gifts and much love and appreciation. Did you know all subs go to support the stream? All subs go to support the stream team. Ooh, the stream team. Nate is, Nate is off. He's off. Did he do the bicep again? I love it. I love it. That cut, though, he's got to let that thing heal. That cut, though, that thing's crazy. You see Buckley at the pool party a couple of hours ago? He was crazy. What? Wilded out before the fight? Get out, was he? He went, what? All right, so now we got videos. Let me see. The top of the hour in seven whatever minutes. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Keith Peterson has called a stop to this contest at 22 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO Dennis the Great Bunukia. I'm here with the winner, Dennis Bazookia. Dennis, congratulations. That was a fun fight. Of course, you get the finish in round three. But how good does it feel to finally get your first win in the UFC and via knockout? Look, first and foremost, all glory to God. Uh, tomorrow's Easter, so uh, God bless everyone. God bless him. Happy Easter. And second, this is the Dennis Bazookia, the UFC sign. Violent, aggressive. And come in for finishes every time. Sometimes violence is the answer, and I'm the answer for that. Well, congratulations. You look sensational. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Dennis the Great Bazookia. The Great Bazookia. Where am I? All of these uh, big deviants is all. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Gary Copeland has called a stop to this contest at two minutes of round number two. Declaring the winner. By TKO Julio Arce. See, he's mad. I'm he here fired with the winner, up. Julio Arce. Julio, congratulations. A stunning stoppage in the second round. Talk me through it. How good does this feel? You know, it, there was a lot going on to this fight. The fact that I just came back from an ACL surgery not long ago, get back in the cage, make this walk, it just shows you that, look, you get your mind to what you want, you can freaking do it, and I'll tell you what, worked on this with the coach, we were looking to finish this fight, cause especially because I have my back up against the wall. Look, I missed weight, it's not professional, so I apologize to the team. Oh, he missed, oh, he missed weight? I didn't know that. What? Well, look, I missed weight, it's not professional, so I apologize to the team. I'll get that taken care of, but guess what? 
Now you guys know who the R's is. Back at 45, baby. Well, the boxing was really crisp. Well, I don't I know. Back at 45, he didn't make the weight. World 55. Class what was going to be the strategy coming in? Honestly, the whole camp, it was really work his body, be patient. He shoots in a lot of takedowns, and we were just trying to neutralize his jiu-jitsu, which was the whole point. I defended it, I was patient, and then I looked for my knockout. Look at this screen here. Let's take a look at this finish and talk us through it. It was a thing of beauty. Look, once I knew he was hurt in the first couple of shots, first round's a feeler, then once I knew I caught him hurt, I was gonna swarm all over, but the ref jumped in. Tell you what, Tiger Shulman's baby, all day, every day. We keep it simple, we keep it clean. And guess what? We're here, baby, we're here. You are here indeed, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Julio Arce. Tiger Shulman, Tiger Shulman. You missed weight. Now, I didn't realize you missed weight, but you can't, you gotta let it go. You can't do that. You can't do that one. Um, wait, what? Should have... Video number two. Which one do you want to do? Are you in here? Just me. Just me. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. They're singing a little bit. Coach Jens. Never, ever missed weight. Never, no. Ever, ever, ever, ever, ever, ever, never, ever, never, ever, ever, ever. Huh? I thought you couldn't fight if you don't show up to weigh in. No, if you weigh in, they can take 20% of your purse and you can still fight if you agree it. If you agree to it, you can fight. Huh? Jubank tripping. Nate is the WWE would get. Uh... Oh, I don't know about that. I didn't even listen to it. Um, all right, yeah, but other than that, man, what a fight. You got Chidi, Chidi, Bang, Bang, and McKee. Uh, it's exciting. Man, these fights have been insane so far, have they not? All right, so, so far. L Kellen and, and, La and Pacheco was a good foe. It was a fun fight. Malcolm looked pretty nasty, but this fight was... Ah, that was nuts. That was a nut fight. I liked it. The fight was fun. A lot of fun. If you get a chance to check it out. Then, of course, this left hand. This kid is, man. I like it's my KO. Man, I don't know about my KO. This is a good fight because John Jerome looked good. But then this is the KO right now. Right? This got to be the KO. Yo, Jens, what was your favorite part about being a coach on Tough? You know what? I, I won't lie. My favorite part was the practices. I liked it. What? Did you leave Nate to train a voicemail? I forgot I was celebrating like a while. Back. I, I, I left my manager who's standing next to him or who will be standing next to him the voicemail. Yes. That I did. Yes. But no, I think it's my favorite part. I just like the practices. I, enjoy, I like practice. Nah, the winning part was cool, but I liked the practice, man. I liked practice. It was fun. Drilling and training, just getting to know everybody, and just, you know, two times a week, I mean, two times a day, practicing. It was fun. And now that I watch these other Ultimate Fighters, I probably should have went to the house more. <laughs> I just wanted nothing to do with that house. I wanted nothing to do with it. I was like, mm -mm, I ain't going nowhere near it. Too many cameras, I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But... And then, like I said, my favorite thing was just figuring out the things. Like, I think I had the most fun when it came to um, just figuring out what we're going to do every day. Because the way that everything happens with people having to fight and just trying to dive in and keep people healthy, keep people rested, keep people ready to go, you know, back and forth and get all that going. I think that was, I mean, I just enjoyed the entire process for the most part. I had some things happening on the personal side that was it's like, I, it's like I, tell my, I, I tell people all the time, you might want to be dedicated and you might do everything in your power to stay focused and dedicated, but that doesn't mean life is going gonna, is gonna to vibe with you. You know what I mean? That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean it's, you, tr you can get as synchronized as you can into the positive era and just keep moving forward, but that doesn't mean life isn't going to somehow slide in. That's always been some of the tougher things to do, man, whatever you're doing in life. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, but that's kind of, you know what I mean? That's where we're at. But, you know what I mean? Fight past YouTube. It was fun coaching, though. It was fun coaching. Did you leave, Nate? Yeah, no, I did. Yeah, never mind. That was it. I talked to Nate thing. Like I said, all right. So now. What? Thank you, Joe Blaine. So we are on the same page. We're going with Blanchfield. Blanchfield, my known number three, but so what happens during the oh, what are the coaches? We get our own um a, we get our own uh, condos, like living apartments and and our own vehicles. So we get we get to go home and you get to, we get to, you get to be quote unquote normal. But now here's I'll tell you the funniest part about that. When it first started, I was like, no way. I refused to believe that my place wasn't bugged. Is there something I should be watching right now? It's 300? Okay, so I'll get to number two in a second. But I, like, but I kept looking around for little red lights. I'm like, there's no way. They gave me this apartment. I go, there's no way it's not bugged. I kept thinking there. I just assumed. Everywhere I went, I just assumed I was mic'd, and, and they were filming me the entire time. Even when I got home, I couldn't stop forever. I kept assuming I was mic'd. And like literally everywhere, everything I do to this day, it has changed me. It has changed me. I just assume everything I say and do is mic'd and everybody can watch it. And it's kept me out of trouble for the most part. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kept me out of trouble for the most part. Hey, but while they're getting ready to do this video, I got a video for you. We're going to watch UFC 300 video. I'll see you on a second. Oh, oh man, that one wobbled to Shara. Now another head kick. Big uppercut from Jamal Hill! I would define greatness as like your ability to adapt to adversity. Look at the beating Jamal Hill is putting on Glover to share. I came in on five weeks notice and dominated. So much blood. It's legit everywhere. I set a record for most strikes landed, most strikes attempted. It was a dream come true. And what I had envisioned was a reign, a reign of dominance. And then tragedy strikes. We do have some breaking news late last night. It was announced Jamal Hill, the light heavyweight champion. He has torn his Achilles. He is going to need surgery. He is going to be out indefinitely. So as soon as this fight begins, Jamal Hill will vacate the UFC light heavyweight title. And we will crown a new champion. And will it be Yuri Prohaska in the red or Alex Pereira in the yellow? Trying to become the ninth fighter in UFC history to realize the title in a second division. Oh, oh man. my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh! Now let's turn him back. Oh, big That's elbow. Right. That is going to do it, Alex Pereira. Welcome to the history Whoa. books. And new UFC light heavyweight champion. Alex Pereira is amazing. There are no words to describe the things that he's accomplished in that short period of time. This guy is now champion in two weight divisions. He's beaten four champions. Oh! oh! Massive left for Pereira! Down goes the champion! It's crazy to think what this man has done. When I came, many people criticized me, said, Oh, he's not going to come, he's not going to come. And I'm here, I'm the champion. Eu estou pronto para lutar no UFC 300 e vencer o Jamal Hill de qualquer maneira. Let's go, champ. Come on. Stroll on the way down. Drive it up. Uh, you ain't done shit here. You ain't done shit in this weight class. You won a couple favorable matchups. They literally gave you the best matchups that they could possibly give you. He's just a steward on the throne. Now, there's nowhere to hide. The real king is back in. And there will be blood. Oh! That'll do it! Jamal Hill! Sweet dreams! He's fast, he's slick. He's absolutely fearless. That'll do it! No judges needed! And he's clearly powerful. Todo mundo fala né, no, da qualidade do Jamal. A primeira coisa que falam é do boxe dele, né, das mãos, mãos pesadas. Eu não estou falando que, que, que seria uma luta fácil, mas eu tenho muita experiência e eu vou usar isso contra ele. 
UFC 300 main event, popcorn ready. The man's going to sleep. Let the doctor wake him up. I think I'll say something, but we'll see the day. I'm the champion. Living on a prayer. Are we living on a prayer? Rare. Living on a prayer. You know I heard it. You know you heard it. You know what I'm saying? You know what it happened? Oh, this is okay, can't I see it now? Oh, he was at the pool hours before his fight. Oh, look at that. What is he doing? Oh, he's having a good time, though. Like, they're making a video. They're making a video. I guess you gotta be, you gotta be ready to go. You know what I mean? You gotta be ready to go. If you're ready, you're ready. Doesn't mean what the environment, you know what I mean? <laughs> Plagsfield. Plagsfield with that trip. Let's go. Maybe one day we'll see the Suarez. Tatiana Suarez, though. Oi. Did y'all hear that little, you heard that? I know that one. It's the Bon Jovi. That's what I'm saying. You can hear it. We're here living on a prayer. Here. Yeah, no. You take it to my hand. We'll make it, I swear. I just seen it, Crash. I just, I just seen it. I, yeah, I just watched it. He was going ham out there. I just, yeah. See, if you mess me at Jens Pover, I, I told you on the Instagram. Look at this, though, but man, no, man, no. Am I getting small or is it just me? No, me? Yeah, no, I'm, huh? I'm 190 pounds. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm 190 pounds. I put on 50 pounds, no, 45 pounds of muscle. I'm enjoying myself. And now I'm going to start running, and once it warms up, I'm going to start running so that I can start getting it, getting it, you know what I mean? I got to get, get the weight down. We got a Vicente Luque, UFC Fight Pass, YouTube, UFC Fight Pass, YouTube, Pure Muscle, um, you know, I have, I have, I have some, I have some sides, I got some sides, like little sides that I'm still losing. At one point I was a, I was a biscuit ass. No, I had, I had plenty. I had plenty of, of, of pudge, but that's what I mean. So I dropped, I got down to 145 pounds and got pretty in decent shape. And then I gained 45 pounds of muscle. I don't have beach muscles yet. That's going to be the running. When I get to 175 pounds, huh? which peptides are the best for recovery? I will let you look that up. And you will have to let me know. A long way. We've come a long way, right? Yeah, champ. That's uh, exactly what it sounds like. But we're going to find out. Look at this. Vicente, Luke, Joaquin, Buckley, Buckley, Weidman, and Bruno Silva, though. But this Nurselton. That's the one, Nurselton. I can't say a name, but who wins between you and your prime? Or Knox? Oh, the Roadhouse? Oh, yeah, nah, man. Ro Knox is too tough. You see Knox? Too, too tough. Too big. I can't mess around no Knox. I just badass. Dana says never. <laughs> what? Sean? Sean Fansler, Fioro by KO in second round? All right, UFC Fight Pass YouTube, let's go. We're on the main card. Do what I need you to do, though. Fight Pass YouTube. Fight Pass YouTube. You have to be active. How many people we have in here? I don't even, actually, I don't even want to know. I don't want to know how many people we have. Just active. Be active. Active. I'm not going to make it without you. You'll be living on a prayer, all right. I think I actually commentated one of his fight. Wait. 
I don't know. All right. Skeletor McKee, Reese McKee. Let's go, huh? CM Punk. I'll never not vote. Man, I will always root for CM Punk. That's my watch along partner. I love CM Punk. Why did I cut the mullet? Because I was only supposed to wear it for the guy's dang. Um, I only wore it for the Hall of Fame. Then it was time to get rid of it. No, I told the story earlier, but I'll tell it again because I don't mind telling it. I started wrestling with my son, right? Wrestling season. And um, what do you think about smelling salts? I've never. Like, I don't know. What, what would you do? Like, like for a pick me up? I've never even like for a pick me up kind of thing. Smelling salts. Or I know, like, you know, usually if you get knocked out, it's on the wake up, but I've never, I don't know anything about them. You know what I do when I want to get hyped up? When I get, when I have to, when I want to get hyped up to go to the gym, <laughs> I drink my coffee and I go in. <laughs> and I lift and I'm hyped up. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Um, but no, so what happened was I tied it up and I got tired of my hair getting everywhere. It was getting grabbed and pulled. So my wife man bunned it. And I took one look at that. And I, I again, if you have a man bun, again, you, uh, to all of you, you do what you do. This is me we're talking. I'm talking about me. I took one look at that man bun and went, grabbed my clippers and started shaving. Boop, boop. Ain't no way. I'm rolling around with no man bun. Hair was done. Time to I cut it all off. Done. Done. Because I started wrestling. You know what I mean? I, it was time to wrestle. Hair got to come off. Riz McKay, Skeletor, won three of last four fights, finished all 13 wins, 10 knockouts, three submissions, former Cage Warriors welterweight champion, which, by the way, there was a Cage Warriors today on Fight Pass. And if you have Fight Pass for just under $10 a month, you could have watched it. We had three fights live yesterday. Just saying. Did I make the right choice? Yeah, I did. I did. I made the right choice. You know, there's a part of me. No, I don't miss. I don't miss that mullet at all. In fact, I don't even remember. I don't remember what it was like to have the mullet. I see pictures of it. And I'm like, what the what? What in Jen's pulver was going on with that thing? You know what I mean? That was my that was my COVID mullet. Because COVID and everything broke out in whatever year that was. And nobody was cutting hair. Everybody was running around like they didn't know what to do. We couldn't touch nobody. Oh my God, nobody could cut hair. So I just let my hair grow. And it just kept growing. And it kept growing and growing and growing. So finally, after like eight months ago, cut this thing into a mullet. And I just kept it. <laughs> uh, and then I played with it way too much. I found myself playing with my, I'm like, that is just too, that's too much. It's too much. All right, TD. 14 wins by knockout UFC welterweight day, but oh, this is welterweight debut. Third fastest finish in UFC middleweight history with 16 seconds. Dang, did that against Barry All. You know he's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt? Yep. TD, TD, bang, bang. And then I got to look at it when I watched it, the, um, when I watched the, uh, the Hall of Fame, I was like, man, look at that thing just out there just flipping around. That's just too much. I can't believe I did it. I can't believe I did it. Yeah, you know I man. Now nah, I just, I like this better. This is just easier because I can wake up and wrestle every day. <laughs> I'm trying to convince my son he's got to cut his hair shorter. He won't do it. You know how these kids are nowadays? They like to have these poofy bangs and whatever the heck they got going on. I'm like, what is this? What, what, what is this? Whatever. All right. Just let it go, I guess. Thirty-five years old, six tree. Dang! All right, look at McKee is twenty-eight. All right, they're both one seventy. With he got a two-inch reach advantage. Every two months, you clip. I'm about to get. I'm about to. Uh, we're about to go with the blonde again. I miss my Eminem. I'm about to get Slim Shady. I like that, and then I like the because uh, I really like the uh, the roots. I like it when it gets all with the roots underneath it. That's that's my yeah. It gets all wiry and fried. I like that. Like I got I got I got a 
Yeah, but I have to walk through this. I know. I'm going to have to deal with the Slim Shady BS with you all for the first half until it grows out a little bit, but such is life. It's the end game. The what? It's the Guy Fieri. Is that, oh, the root, the roots, the Guy Fieri? Yeah, okay. yeah, you gotta have, you gotta have bleached top and then, yeah, and then dark roots. Yes, okay, see, bleached top and, and then dark TGI roots. you do TGI Friday's commercials. <laughs> <laughs> oh, TGI Friday commercials, all right, let's do it. All right, but yeah, I love it, I love it. So I'm just gonna have to deal with the Slim Shady for a little bit, I know, I know. For the first month, like last time, but at the end, yeah, the guy Fieri say, yeah, Mike, that's what he was just saying. We're, we'll call it the Fieri. I'm trying to get to there, or just let it grow, and I can just—I feel weird just tipping it. You got to You got to bleach it and then let it grow, right? No nonsense. No nonsense. Just don't frost. Oh, I don't want to frost it. I'm not. I'm going to let it grow out. Right? You all have the power. Whatever you say, I'll do. Ish. All right, we go. Reese, get out to the center first. It looks a little stiff. Looks a little stiff. Get in there, Chidi. Throw that jab. Checking the leg. Those are, those are tentative on the kicks. Tentative on the kicks. Put a jab in his face. One time, Chidi. See, there's too much this right here. One is a little more relaxed. I thought he was going to try to do that jab, circle, double jab, right hand. Huh? Oh. What do you mean? The clock. What? Um, it's on. It's perfect. There we go. Oh, he tried to get up that one, too, and, and Cheaty's still trying to throw leg kicks. Hey, you know you have to start throwing hands, Cheaty. He just got popped with the right hand, and he threw a leg kick. He's trying to invest in that calf kick. I get it, but, man, how I many you can't be taking shots to the face, though. Another leg calf kick. All right, dang. Now it's getting to the point where I'm like, Reese, you, gotta, you might have to check one or two of these. Check, baby, check, baby, check, baby. Oh, here we go. Busy hands. Oh, there we go. One, two, three. Come back. There you go. That right sounded hard. And then he did with the three, but he kind of blocked it. But it looked like it got blocked and rocked a little bit. And then he come back and threw it. There it is. That right hand. You let that right. Get that right hand. And there it is again. Come on. He like he floats it right over that glove. Double jab, right hand. Let's go. Cheaty, you kind of just stand there, man. He's really putting investment in, into that calf kick. He hasn't really thrown his hands. There he, like, see how he, he kind of pawed with that jab. See, and he's trying to throw a cap kick, and McKee's cracking him with right hands. Look at that. Then he comes over the top of the right hand. Cheaty, what are you doing? Then he just eats that jab to the face and blocks the right hand, but he's just sitting there. Look at it. Then there's his cap kick. There's that cap kick again. All right. He's investing in it. I mean, I'll, I'll, be, eating, I'll be eating my shirt. If he if he can take it down, you know what I mean? Chops it down in a round. Now we got a body lock by McKee. Push him up against the fence. If he can chop him down, then hey, more per It works, I know, but that's what I'm saying. But he's eating a lot of punches to the face in the process. I don't like... It. Yes, there's an investment. And yes, I, it's a long-term investment or a short-term. depends which nerve, which point you can rock that nerve. But he's been kicking look at the knee. Just above the knee there, there's quite a bruising as well. But you can't, you don't want to keep getting pushed, you know what I mean? He's got to, got to get those hands in a little bit. But now he got to push up against the fence, body lock. McKee just got impressed with that head in the pocket, pushed him up there, cheating with the knee, cheating with the knee. Throw that left upstairs, over under, let's go. Knee. All right, well, we're just, we're, we're, we're jockeying for position, over under position. We got a knee. We got a boo from the crowd. Boo! Now we got that bylock back up with the fence. Mm. 
There you go. Just have a good fence. Ref's like, I'm not breaking this, so. He's using his head and keeping it like one love. He's doing a great job keeping the head in the pocket and just inside on, on the right on the underhook side, 100. percent That's why he's here. Look at seeing his trying to fight his way to get his head back in there again. Cheaty's doing a good job of controlling that position. Now let him now frame the face. See if he can do that. Now Cheaty's winning this war. Keep that frame on that head and start pushing off. There's the elbow right there. Start striking with those elbows. Now he's he dropped his head down. Punish him. Tombstone. Tombstone! You know what I mean? Push him up against the fence. And there you got to try to do it. There we go. There's just too much of this, though. I'm literally live right now on UFC Fight Pass YouTube. Live, watching the fights. Live. Tim Sylvia. I figured since it was Tim Sylvia, we'd do that. You know what I mean? He texts, what are you doing? Well, how do you tell somebody you're not supporting without telling them you're not supporting? There you go with the kick. Another kick and a jab. There we go. <laughs> cracked screen. Oh, my phone? Yeah, no, the screen isn't cracked. The screen protector is destroyed. Destroyed. Oh, it's ruined. I know. What day is today? Saturday? Prelim, yes, love this. Prelims set the bar like a boss, didn't they? Prelims were everything. Prelims, those are tough to beat, I'm telling you. Uh, wait, huh? Did you just ask what day it was while we're watching live fights? What day do live fights happen? <laughs> yeah, I knew what. Yes. That, well, that's why I was like, why is he like, no, I was being a smarty pants. So I was saying, what day is it? Well, what do you think? I mean, when they're asking, what are you doing? I'm like, well, what day is it? It's, I was just talking to myself. Yeah, you know I mean, if, if they were listening, I'm complaining out loud, but yes, that too. What happened now? What'd y'all do? Is it snowing? What? I don't, I don't think you understand. Anyways, here we go. Do we stream on Monday? Can you get a Nate interview again? We can work on some, we can work on some things. You got to, you got AK Stu. You can hear him. That's what we got to do. We got to ask and see what AK Stu can do. And then of course, UFC mod two. I'll do whatever they tell me to do. Turn it on. But I've got Talk wrestling. As long too. as it ain't before no five thirty six o'clock, I'm in. I ain't missing wrestling. There we go. Jab, cross hook. Tuesday, we have, we start the next, I think, season 19 of The Ultimate Fighter. Tough Tuesday. Tough Tuesday. One love. I talk to myself all the time. Right there. Now he's got to push up against the head. Got to push him up there right there. All right, Chidi, got to push him up against the fence. Can we get a knee? Can we get a knee? They're both grappling for this shot right here. Over under. Look at that underhook. Body go body lock, Chidi. They've got a lot of booze, though. We got a lot of booze. A lot of things are happening all at once. I can't. My brain. Who are the coaches for season 19? I don't know, Toddy. I have to. I don't know. I was going to surprise when we, when we pop in. Be like, oh, look at we got coaching. Go. Yeah. Body lock over under. Over under. Let's go, McKee. Just push him up there. Let's go. You got to go extra. There you go, underneath. I blame the ref. The ref could break this up at least six times. Grasso Shevchenko, the new season coming out, but talking to yourself is fine. Answering yourself is weird, but okay. It's when you catch yourself going, huh? That's absolutely nothing. Yeah, that I do all the time. I do that. To, I do that to freak people out. Huh? I, I'll do this. I always say, huh? What? And then you look up. I do that all day. Look at these two. They're sitting there jogging in place in front of each other. I'm done. I'm not even, I'm going to talk to chat. 
This is they're just sitting there switch dancing each other back and forth. There was a right hand left hook to the head down. Oh wait, it's Frankie Edgar and BJ Penn. No, are you serious? All right, now he's gonna sit there and all right, now he's gonna shoot him for the leg. Failed. But yeah, I'll be like, huh? And then people are like, are you okay with what? Like, who are you talking to? Don't worry about it. You don't see them? Like, They're right there. Get them freaking out. Got it. It's always got to do it. It's always got to mess with people. Out in front. We're out in front with the clinch again. Push him up against the fence. Try to drop down for a double. Can we get a double? Oh, look at that guy. Put the elbow. Get the elbow. Push him up against the fence. The crowd is already booing again. TD is slowly breaking him down. I don't know. Because McKee is slowly switching around as his, as him pushed up against the fence. Head in the pocket right there. And now we're going to try to figure out UConn defeated Duke. Dang. But look at he's pushing on him. He's trying to push on him and land that one elbow because he's trying so hard to push his head and keep his head in and keep him pressed up against the fence. But other than that, I can't, you know what I mean? Look at that. Throws the knee to the belly hole. Now he's just looking, he's just got to figure out, he's just pressing up against the fence. This is going to be a fence fight. I can't believe this is going to be a fence fight. Fence fight, this whole thing is going to be a fence fight. After watching, after the entire undercard was in, man. These two are, they, they're literally stuck in an over-under the entire time, throwing knees to each other's thighs. That's it. And the ref just refuse, refuses, refuses. To break this up. Refuses. Man. Two in the books. And we can't get this third one over fast enough. After that's got to be tough, man. After the way this card started. Yep, I said it. And I'll say it again. The first part of this. The first half of this card was sick. Now this thing just flipped on and literally just. Man, you just ruined everything. You, just, you killed the whole mood. Killed the whole mood. Score, tied. I could care less. I don't even know what the score is. See, Trax is like, it's 4.30 a.m. and I got to deal with this fight. <laughs> but I'll give it. It is McKee with the ability to pressure him up against the fence. He's getting... He just needs to get that clinch. Chidi's doing a good job, but I do like that Chidi's not really trying to overdo it. You know what I mean? But he is... I mean, look at it. 75 to 28. Walked right back out to the center. There's that calf kick. I mean, that thigh. McKee is... Oh, he threw up that quick, quick kick. The question... He just missed on that head kick. McKee's coming forward, and Jaquani threw that. Boom. He's going to try for a takedown real quick. No, but that let him push you up against the fence. Okay, he left. He stopped it. Nice. All right, here we go. Here we go. McKee's walking forward. Jab cross lead leg. Oh, let's go to the rear leg. Step in there, McKee. There's the jab. There's the clinch. Knee. Knee to the body. There we go. He's got to push up against the fence. We've got it over under. Tell more about those significant strikes. That makes a little more sense. Huh? The prelims. Yeah, Trey. The, the prelims. Oh, there was a knee up the middle. Nice knee. Cheedy. Nice knee. 
Double jab, right hand. She moved out of the way. Try to come out with that left butt. I like that double jab. Ooh, let's go. Good jab. Oh, he came back with that right hand. I like that jab. And he had the jab off McKee. Cheating him with that right hand. There you go. One, two. Ooh, let's go. Cheaty, pick it up. One, two. Oh, cracked him with the two. All right, Cheaty, good two right there. I like it. They're going to go on the double leg right when McKee thought he was going to get aggressive. He stepped in and get the takedown. All right, now he's going to walk his way over to the fence. And uh, and uh, he's got him up against the fence. But this time, nope, McKee switched it around. Here he goes. He's going to try to grab a single. Oh, we break, we break, go back to the center, go back to the center, here we go. What, what do you guys, there you go, you asked that, to, you asked that to them. And a boom, boom, there you go, catch the head, throw the elbow, cheating. There you go, boom, up elbow, walking down, another elbow off that wrist, I like that. Look at that, like, the way that McKee is fighting, he's fighting tired, he just reaches and grabbing, and he's kind of holding on, and pressuring him up against the fence, he's kind of melting on, yeah. you know what I mean, he's not really snapping punch, he's not really going after it, it's like he's just tired, beat up. Now he's got him pushed up against the fence. He's holding him. And the crowd goes back to the booing. He's got the head in the pocket. He's just not letting him up. Like, I'm not letting you off the fence. I'm just going to keep you right here and listen. let's listen to the crowd boo together. You know what I mean? Oh, see, now why does he do that? So now he does it. See, that don't make no sense. You could have did that in round one. You could have did that in a whole lot of round two. But why? Why did you decide to do it right there on a 20-second count? Should have been doing that from jump from the beginning. Now McKee's got him pushed up, got to take it back. He's got him standing up. McKee's going to try to hop onto the back here if he can. Hold that, hold that. This is even worse, because now they're not doing anything. He's got one leg. He just jumped up on him. He's just standing there. cheetah has got to try to fight the hands if he can get away. Huh? There's a good knee. This has got to be the most fight. I can promise you it's not. But what was that heavyweight fight the other day that was just made me want to cry? Chat, we were watching it together. It was a fight. I, that heavyweight fight, I wanted, I wanted to cry. I was in tears. Oh, we got a knee. Oh, there we go. We got a knee to the head. There you go. Oh, with the right hand. There we go. Check him back. I like plumb the head, throw a knee. Oh, McKee trying to jump in. No, this ain't that bad. It's not that bad. It, it's. I just, like I said, the only reason what I'm saying about this fight is, again, I feel like if they're just sitting there pushed up against the fence, I feel like the referee should just start counting and literally go, they just count, count to 15 and break them. I don't know why they don't break them enough. I think they should break them off the fence. There you go. Cheney tried to throw a three spin. McKee tried to throw an uppercut. I just break them off the fence more. I don't know why you don't. If they're sitting there and, and like literally they're not doing anything, they're stuck in an overrunner position, just holding on to each other, just break them. Break them and put them back to the center. Like, why not? I know, let them fight it out, let them fight it off, fight off the fence. But nah, man, how about I'm just gonna go ahead and do it? That would just be me. That's why I'm not a, I shouldn't be a ref. Because that's exactly what I would do. <laughs> that's exactly what I would do. I would start counting. One, two, three. They'd be looking at me going, well, I go, as soon as they get to 15, you we're, we're going back to the center. You know what I mean? That's what I would do. But this, it's because, well, and again, Chidi was trying to fight, but McKee was doing a good job of pressuring, pushing, pushing to the fight. Like, he's like, oh, I'm not going to throw punches. I'm just going to run at you and push you up against the fence. I mean, he only threw 38 punches total. Algio and Nelson are next. Then this one. This one. Then this one. Then this one. 
than this one. After 15 minutes, first trip as a welterweight. Wait, wait. Jens doesn't want to be the ref, though. I don't want to be a ref. Never. Never want to be a ref. 72 to 29 striking advantage. He stopped throwing. He threw 21 punches in the first round. And then he threw four and four in rounds two and three. I told you, he was just trying to push him up against the fence the whole time. No, you would. I would stop the fight early. And you, what you would, you'd hear a lot. You would hear a lot of talking. I would literally be commentating the fight as I'm standing in there refing it. Can't make this fight about you. Yeah, yes, I can. I pretty much, that's exactly what I'm going to do, is make it all about me. <laughs> Mic me up and let's do it. Ref. Ref. I'm there. Could you imagine? I'd be like, yo, pretend I'm talking to chat, talking to the whole crowd. Y'all want to see this fight break? You want to break it up, take it back to the center? Yeah? Let's go. Back to the center, you two. <laughs> What, y'all think he should take a couple more punches? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down? Yeah, let's do it. Hit him a couple more times. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, I don't have, you know. Let's see, let's see. I'm still waiting. He shouldn't get, he won't get robbed, but no. I didn't see this, this whole fight, no one. Nobody lost a point, did they? No, he didn't. That's the thing. Is Reese didn't try to take anybody down. He pushed him straight up against the fence, and that was it. He didn't throw punches. He didn't do anything but pushed him against the fence. Against the fence. But I don't know why they're taking such a long time. Twenty nine, twenty eight, McKee. Thirty, twenty seven, Cheaty. Thirty, twenty seven. So you have two thirty, twenty sevens to Cheaty, Cheaty, Bang, Bang. But then you have a twenty nine, twenty eight, the other direction. How do you do that? How do you do that? You see, I'm saying that's so wild to me that two 30-27s and if someone else goes 29-28 gives, gives two rounds to the other fighter. It's wild. That's wild, you know, but all right, it works. In two weeks, we're going to see this. In two weeks, we got, oh, is it the Kayla Harrison? Kayla Harrison. Is she going to make the... Uh... I've won every single judo tournament there is to win, most twice. Is that what she's doing? Is that 35? Is this, all right, we got this. We'll find out. Is she doing this at 35? If I had this video. You can play video seven if you want. All right. Oh, I got to be here for a second. See y'all in a second. <laughs> super young I started doing like dance my mom put me in when I was like three and when I was around like six or so I kind of remember getting bored of it and I, and I didn't want to do it anymore and 
my little brother actually started training, um, and I remember going to go watch him. And uh, they kind of were more like karate style, so they had like black belts and everything. And I remember there was a girl there that had a black belt, and I was like, I went to my dad, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know girls could do this. And he was like, yeah, of course they can. So she gave me my first like introductory class, and I was like hooked from then. From when I was eight years old, I started competing, and I would do local like grappling competitions and kickboxing competitions. And when I was like 14, 15 years old, I started taking kickboxing fights and Muay Thai fights. Um, and then once I was 18, uh, I started doing MMA. I feel like I went pro pretty young. I went pro at 18 years old. You know, I had a, a couple of good wins, a loss that I had come back from, and then strung together a couple good wins after that. I feel like I learned a lot from my uh, experience with Invicta and CFFC. I had great opponents um, that pushed me and I was able to really grow as a fighter. She is a stone cold baby face gangster. This woman knows what she's about. She's been in the game a long time, had a lot of success. I've always had pretty like high expectations for myself and I feel like I was always a pretty realistic person so I knew if I did the right things and trained the right way and did everything I needed to do that I could achieve these goals. So it's definitely awesome to look back like right after fights and, and kind of soak it in but I'm always trying to get even better and get more. Okay, good, good. What's up? All right. I know I'm muted, but I know that I'm muted, but I'm unmuted now, chat. I'm back. I'm back. But, well, yeah, I'm live on the stream. These guys, they don't get it. Yeah. But, okay, just tell him I said hello. I hope he's doing well. And just pop on the stream if you want. And I can, whatever, let me know. Okay. All right, buddy. All right, bye. Kid just got out of the hospital. Okay. So evidently this kid, he just got out of the hospital. He just had surgery and he was completely under. And when he woke up, he goes, I'm Janice Pulver. And they're like, what? He goes, I'm, I'm Janice Pulver. I'm little evil. Like what? And they're like, he, he's like, oh, I love Janice Pulver. I'm like, what? Get out of here. So then I was like, I got it. Well, and so I was trying to, I thought I had enough time. I'm like, well, can I leave him a message? Say, hi, how you doing? You all right? You good? Are you good, young man? <laughs> but then it's like, they're all getting lost. They didn't understand. I'm like, no, nah, I'm live, man. So, sorry, timing. You know how I am. Oh. I thought that was cool. I just want to make sure he was all right, though. Yeah. Yeah. But now we're just waiting. We got a little downtime plus, so we get to talk anyway, so. You know I me, mean? I see someone like that, man, the youngsters. I don't know what it was. You know what I'm saying? But it was funny. Yeah, he wakes up. That's cool. He, tra he, he trains that big game. He's wrestling stuff, too. Muted again? You, you, you hurt me. Don't play with me like that. I'm not muted now. Test, what? Boof, boof. No. Ooh, Algeo. What? Yeah, I do. That's crazy, right? I don't know. Yo, chap, huh? You're looking fresh. I appreciate it. And clean. I like it, man. Um, I saw your boy is kicking ass in wrestling, too. He is, uh, he, uh, yeah, he, uh, you know, he's, yeah, this has been, this has been fun. He's never wrestled freestyle, but he, this is, that was his first tournament. But he likes it. He's starting to like the whole idea, you know, and this is his third year of wrestling. So this has been, yeah, it's been I wish he would let me wrestle with him a little more. But he's scared. Ha, huh, Carson? You're scared? Your dad? Too big. <laughs> yeah, no, it does, TJ. 100% it does. It, may, it helps out a lot. 
He lived an entire lifetime as Jans during a 10 minute. I'm telling you, Wilson, you know that's exactly it. Bypass. Bypass YouTube. Uh. Huh? My son, 15. 15? Here we go, Bill Algeo. But it is, it is wild. It's it's it's a lot of fun to, to do the uh to watch him wrestle and stuff. This this has been it's been a lot of fun. I do not have tattoos. That's a good thing. Don't get them. I mean, you don't get them, you don't want them. I'm always flexing though. That's I do this all day. If this is like my pose. This is not my, let me just uh, flex. This is me just, I flex. Huh? How tall am I? Five, seven and a half. And don't take away my half. I am a half. I'm five, seven and a half. Maybe, maybe. If I could, it'd be cool. You ever have any sponsors? I never did. I don't think I ever had the sponsor painting. No. Nah. What? In centimeters? Psh, too big for that. Huh? <laughs> there he goes. All right. Nelson's making his way out. Kyle Nelson making his way to the octagon. Kyle. Kai. Uh, five, seven and a half. I don't know. How many centimeters is that? Psh, man. You have to get a Google. You can Google that out there. Oh, his nickname is The Monster? He's The Monster? What? Should have little evil tattooed on you, Jens? Maybe. Maybe one day. Look at that. Look at that. Tosuda, let me flex. There you go. Flex. Flex it. I don't know. Yeah, somewhere I should have little evil somewhere on there. I need to put it over here because that's little evil somewhere. I don't know. I'd like to do, I'd like to just sit down for a couple of hours, like for a day and just start getting tatted. Every, just go to town, do start tattooing. Oh, we'll see. But, baby, one day, one day. Tattoo my hands. <laughs> All right. Tattoo my hands. All right, Kyle Nelson, though, back-to-back -back wins. Five wins by knockout, four by submission, seven first-round finishes for Kyle Nelson. For Kyle Nelson. Amen. Huh? If you get tattoos, no more ice baths until they heal? Oh, for sure. Ooh, face tat. I thought about that, uh, Vader, but yeah, I don't know if that it's I don't know if my wife's down with that one. I don't know if she's I don't know if she's cool with that business. I thought about it though. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Bill's making his way out to the cage. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. But at, I'm not trying to be handsome. Trying to be, I'm trying to, I don't mind being ugly. I got my two different colored eyes. I, I, I like, I look like a mutt. Oh, what? You ever ask AI chat any questions? I don't. Maybe ask if it could do some art. Yeah, no, never have. Didn't think about that. Maybe. Uh huh. But if I have to ask the AI to come up with it, with it then it's not mine. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Bill Algeo, back-to-back -back wins, former CFFC featherweight champion. But I, I know you get him describing naked and design. I get it. Ninth high significant strike rate in UFC featherweight history, 5.57 per minute. You know what I don't have that I probably should have had that a lot of the wrestlers always had? That USA Wrestling logo. I don't know why I never got that. I probably should have. That's I do regret that. You know, the other thing I don't have that I should probably get
<laughs> oh no, man! You're a beautiful human. I know. Oh, I know. I am. I just don't have. I'm not the prettiest thing in the world, but that's all right. I don't mind. I don't. I don't mind. I am who I am. I don't need to be. I am not a handsome feller. I am just. A, I'm a unique feller. I grow on people like a fungus. You grow on me like a fungus. You know what I mean? But that's why I got this. We got, oh, we got us. You know what I mean? Oh, it's all in the year of that. Yeah. Oh, wait. You see that thing? Wait, I didn't see that shirt, but I like those glasses, huh? This is true. I didn't like Jens at one point. See? What? Wait a minute. What? How is that possible? Stream gens. Stream gens is awesome. What do you mean? All right, here we go, here we go. We're going to say time, time. Here we go. Y'all don't kiss your Jen's poster every night before bed. <laughs> if you do, don't, don't tell me that, man. I got a picture of Winston you could all have, and we'll do that. We'll do that. All right, Al Gio, let's get those feet up there. Where was the old calf kick? Right hand for Kyle. Oh, big kick again. Al Gio is kicking all over the place. Oi, there we go. Body kick for Nelson. No, but Al Gio is just flipping them feet up there. There he goes again for the liver. Look at that. Nelson come back with the left, right. Hit him with the right hand. Hit him with the left again. Oh, you better watch out. He is lobbing shots. Okay, Al Gio trying to throw a kick. Then trying to throw an elbow inside. We plumb the head. Nelson, throw those knees. My nose is itching so bad. Ah, sorry. I was going to sneeze at the same time all this fighting was happening. Man, that was a lot. Y'all don't understand everything that just happened. You know, how, like you're in the middle of a sneeze, but you won't sneeze, so you're trying to sneeze. But then, like, the best part of the fight just happens, and you got to try to commentate through it. Oh, that was terrible. All right, now he's got to press up against the fence, and we can relax. And... Okay. <sighs> I'm ready. I got caught off guard. Now, keep him pressed up against that fence. Now we're in. I don't know why all of a sudden it's like I, something is bugging me. Like something, I don't know. Like, and they're booing. This crowd is booing. Why? Because they're back to that clinch. Now we got a break. We got to push back towards the center and see what happens. There's a calf kick for, Del, for uh, Al Gio. Teep. There we go. Algio with another kick. Nelson with the calf kick on the other side. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, losing the sneeze is terrible. Up kick. All right, Nelson. Algio, flip that foot up there. Flipping that foot up there. One, two, one, one for Algio. Oh, big kick though by Nelson. Body kick too. Aljo just, I don't know what that was, but it was a spinning kick of some sort. I don't know if he tried, like he tried to do a spinning back heel to the calf kick. Now, so then he just throws, throws a big liver kick and a calf kick here. Aljo tries to come with the one, two, spin one off. All right. He caught the kick and was able to fire a left hand on Aljo. I like that, Nelson. Now he's covering up. Each one on the knee as he was backing up. Good kick, Aljo. Hey, Nelson trying to land that leg kick. Moving back, moving back. Algio, crack him. He's bouncing on his feet. We're bouncing, we're bouncing. High kick. Oh, then I, I like that. Algio throws a left leg kick, drops down. Nelson tries to throw a left hand over the top, misses. There's a big calf kick for Algio. Nelson fires one back. Dang these two. 
Dang these two. Oh, right hand for Nelson. Got down Jill staggered. Got him stumbling. Now Jill, Nelson's trying to throw some shots. Nelson's trying to hold up him. Big knee. Big knee. Oh! Look, he's still trying. Nelson's swinging. Al Jill's still not all there. Nelson's swinging. Al Jill's on his back. He's roping open. Don't you dare, ref. Don't you dare. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yo, oh, big right hand for Nelson. Al Jill rolls backwards. He's moving back. He's moving back. Boom. Right hand lands. Left hand lands and staggers him. And the ref stops it. He didn't even fall. Now, see, I don't believe he should have stopped that one because if you are hurt, you'll fall. I don't think you need to save him at that point. You'll fall. I think he was waiting too long. I think he's too early. I think he's way too early on that one. And that was the issue. He made it. He was standing in the way. He was making that about him. He jumped in. Don't get me wrong. He was taking shots, but Aljo was standing up for a reason. He's trying to get his bearings back. And if you truly are done, you'll fall. I don't care what anybody says, but you'll fall. I yelled so much right there. My watch thought I was working out as gangster. Anyway, and he was like, why didn't you stop it earlier then? You know what I mean? He's sitting there battling. He's losing balance. He's falling back. He's landing shots. He's eating a couple of them, but he, he'll fall. See, that right hand, but he rolled back with it. He's backing up. He's telling him, come on. He's trying to get his bearings, and he's bouncing. He's trying to, but he eats the right hand. He's backing up again. Then he's staggered, but he's staying on his feet, and the ref stops it. And he's literally looking at the ref going, come on, man. I'm trying to get my, like, sometimes it takes, look, I'm trying to get my bearings back. I don't, I think he's too, I think he's going, he's, he's too into himself. Everybody's booing. They're pissed. I think he should, I, I said, that's just me as a ref. I think he's too involved in that fight. Way too involved. Way too involved in that fight. I don't like standing TKOs. You'll fall if you can't. I don't understand. You'll fall. Like, maybe I'm looking at it wrong, but you'll fall. You know? But a great job for Nelson. You just stole that from him because, you know what I mean? A couple more punches and he would have he would have fell. But if they have enough to step and keep moving back and they're trying to save themselves, they're trying to get their bearings and they're moving back, you know what I mean? And then, now, when he falls, you don't need to let him take two shots to the face. You don't need to let him take any more punches. But if he's standing, I mean, he'll, if he's standing up, he obviously has enough about him. But yes, he's stunned. Yes, he's off balance. Yes, he's in trouble. That's why he's standing up trying to back up and he's trying to do what he can. Yeah, the leg might get stanky for a minute. That's what happens. But I'll tell you what, when it, guess what? If, if you're done, you fall. You know what I mean? There'll be no stank. You know, the stank goes away and down you go. It's done. But, you know what I'm saying? That's, but you can tell he was right there in front of him, making sure he's right there on the camera, all quick footing. And he's all down in his little wrestling stance, quick footing, foot firing, staying right there, staying right there, right, I mean, right on top and going, man. You're going to get the big boo. You done messed it up way too early. I don't believe about, look at Aljo's fight. Nah, you know what I mean? I, I've never understood that one. Now, get me wrong. If you're pushed up against the fence and you're just getting blasted like that, Hey, but he was backing up and moving and trying to get out of it. Of course, you're going to get hit with one or two, but that is what it is. It is what it is. But remember, because I, I was bringing it up earlier, and I kept bringing it up and bringing it up. Is he stopping it too soon? Is he erring on the side of caution too much? Or is he just, you know what I mean? It's a fine line. It's a fine line. That's why I never want to be a ref. <laughs> That's why I never want to be a ref. Dude, I'm not lying, man. I went so rough. My watch, I, it thought I was working out. That's awesome. Wait. What would you say? Look, he let, there was a big shot right there. Look, that one got him. He's stanky like that. He's trying to recover. He knows better. Look, he's trying to keep his balance. He's throwing back even.
Boom, there's the right hand. I just, he was doing what he can to hold on and, and just get his bearings. I, yeah. No, we got Kyle Nelson calling out Nate Landwehr. I wouldn't call him out. Do it. Do it. That's a big win. No, nice job, Kyle. Nice job, Kyle. I'm not getting that. Ah, that would be sick, though. Would you rather be a ref or a judge? Uh, one love. I would rather be over here criticizing everything in my chair and, you know what I mean? And acting like uh, it's just so easy. You know what I mean? It's just so easy. But I would rather be a, um, oh, I'd rather be a ref. I would never want to be a judge. I would never want to be a judge. I would easily be a ref. Because I have no problem explaining exactly why I did anything. I told you, I would have a mic and I'd be loud the entire time. Hey, I'm going to stop this. You're getting pretty wobbly, but I'm going to wait till you fall. Oh, down you go. Now it's over. See ya. Yeah, man. That's how I would do. That's how I would do it. What is this? What is this? Mixed martial arts, sport of the future. Look at Dana back in the day. I've seen his video. UFC, is that, that is a 300 commercial? Huh? You can be a ref and power. Oh, no, no. That was him running out to fight me right there, BJ. Um, you can ref in the power slap. I mean, yeah, let's go. What? I don't want to ref, though. How do you, okay, how do you ref a power slap? I get like, Call a foul or something? Like, how do you rep? What do the refs do? They just kind of... Yo, he's out. I guess... I, I, I, I'm going to have to watch him. I'll have to watch a couple. No, man. Big slam by Matt. Backflips, backflips. I love it. I love it. UFC history. This commercial is awesome. Hey, Robbie. Oh, don't do that, cowboy. When one era reflects the other. Ooh, look at this. This commercial is crazy. I like that, GSP. You think I'm crazy? Huh? Chance, will Connor win versus Chandler? I don't, well, it just depends what Connor's doing. You know, like, what's he, what's he, if he, there's a, there's a, there's a, there is a fighter, there is a Connor McGregor that can beat him. If he trains, if that makes sense. If he trains it, you know what I mean? If he trains it, UFC 200, UFC 300, it's pretty sick. I like this. And it's just getting started. Dude, that's a sick commercial right there. I don't know how you got to see that, but you need to see that. That thing is sick. I like that. Yo, Mike Davis, you know that? You want to talk about it? There's a badass. There's a badass right there. My man, Mike Davis, with that big ass, with that, what, with the guest Levy? Levy was his name, right? Sick win, my brother. How you doing, Mike Davis? How you doing? Look at this. Alex Pajeda, Jamal Hill, Zhang Wili, Yan Jaonan, Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway, Charles Oliveira, Armand Saroukian, Bo Nickel, Cody. Yeah, see, I know the whole thing. It was a sick fight, Davis. It was a sick fight, my bro. What color will the mat be, gents? I know, right? It's got to be gold. It's got to be gold. You have to do gold, right? Max Holloway for the BMF belt. BMF. Oof, BMF. Oof, BMF. Oof, oof. Yuri Prohaska, Alexander Rakic, Cater, Sterling, Holm, Harrison, 
Yusuf Lopez, Turner, Moicano, Andraj, Rodriguez, Miller, Green, Figueredo, and Garbrandt. That's crazy. Opening the fights now. Oy. All right. All right. This, the fights have been, they, they've been wild, man. They've been, they haven't been too bad. The, the undercard has been sick, Mike. Sick. Cedricus. We got Cedricus. Now this guy, right here, Nurzel. Now look at this. Cedricus is 6'2". But this kid, look at him. He's 6'5". Six, 6'5". Five. Six, five. Does Max get KO'd for the first time? The what? No, stop it. Oh, hey, by the way, while we're waiting, I got a video for you. A Manon video. See you back here in a second. Everything is geared up for this to be Firo's coming out party. It's all here. She's got the opponent named. She's on this heck of a win streak. She just needs to deliver. Tout ce que ça m'a fait, j'étais franchement j'étais super super concentré pendant ma marche. Je, toujours concentré. Je, je sais je sais pourquoi je suis là. Je sais ce que je viens faire. Donc juste concentré à à me répéter les, les mouvements, les, les, ce que je vais faire dans le combat, ce qui va se passer. Et, et voilà, et avoir déjà la victoire en fait. She needs to be able to perform under the bright lights. Now the reality is, this is a step up for Manon. The Rose has been in there for the best in the world. Voilà, pour moi, c'était peut-être le combat avant la ceinture ou très proche de la ceinture. Donc euh, j'étais vraiment déterminée sur ce combat. Euh, moi, j'avais pas de doute, mais euh, c'est vrai que c'était une, une grosse pression. Mais voilà, j'étais. Je savais que j'étais entraîné, je savais que j'allais gagner ce combat, j'avais aucun doute. Je pense que j'ai battu une légende, j'ai battu une fille qui, qui a déjà été championne de l'UFC. C'est une star, on sait, aux états unis et même ici en France. Mais pour moi, c'était un, un très, très grand combat. J'étais super contente de, de combattre contre Rolls, qui était une grande championne. Et pour moi et surtout pour la suite, ça, ça m'aide pour, pour la confiance parce que je sais que j'ai gagné ce combat et je pense que c'est bien pour la suite de ma carrière. Oh. All right. A little bit of downtime for Nurselton. Nurselton and Cedricus. UFC Fight Pass YouTube. Now I get a chance to talk to you. But first, you got to see this Nate the Chain. Look at that 45. He just ripped that 45. Boom, it came over the top and then back underneath. Boom, I love it. That is sick. That is sick. Boom. Boom, that one, if that was a little cleaner. Oh. Done. Done. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. Ain't no. Repost. Nurselton Cedricus. Ripped that 45. Boom, come back over the top. How's everyone? Everyone doing all right? We good? Are we good still? Are we making it? 
Look at Nur Sultan Ruzi Boev. Cedricus Dumas, but this Nurselton. Did I cold punch today? No. No, I did not. Hey, what was I doing today? Oh, yeah, no, I was, I had to go, no, I had to go, I was, I was gone. I had to go do some stuff. I had, I had to go sign a whole bunch of stuff. Autographs. I was signing autographs. A lot of cards. Is it you want do you do this, right? We got got it. Let's go. The Reaper, Davis. The Reaper. Let's go. But Nersolton's so big. That's why I'm excited. Because this kid is 6'5, Davis. Rusiboev is 6'5. One foot at way, one foot out the door. Tiger Bomb works really well. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah, don't let it get in your eyes, man. One foot, don't. Yeah, Tiger Bomb is the gift. It's a gift that it'll keep on giving, too. Like, right when you think it cooled down, you move around a little bit, and it heats right back up. It becomes the worst damn thing you ever did. Tiger Bomb don't play. <laughs> and make sure you wash your hands after using it. I've made that boo-boo before, and that was horrifying. Horrifying. I sat down and went, what the heck is going down? Wait, what? what's that? Ow. Ow. Ouch! You know what I mean? Do you, do, do you remember practicing your autograph? Never practiced that thing. Back-to-back -back wins. Four wins by knockout, two by submission. Order UFC contract, Dana White Contender Series, season six, week six. Can I write cursive? Yeah, of course. Huh? Wouldn't you? I'm not used to seeing you without the mullet. Yeah, I know, Kennedy, but I'm also not used to having a, I'm not used to having a hat off either. You know what I mean? You forget about it, wipe your forehead, or yes, wipe your forehead, and then Boom. Or you wipe your eye. And then pop next, you know, you're falling over the floor. Just, hey, I, I, I. do you know why they would do what? Why they do, would do what? Bo Nickel on the main card? Because it's Bo Nickel. Do you have any idea how big Bo Nickel is? They had him fight twice on the same Dana White Contender Series. Doesn't matter what you could think. All those other fighters should be on the main. It's Bo Nickel Day. Bo Nickel Day. Well, ahead of Aljo. Yes, ahead of, ahead of all of them. Bo Nickel. You got to get some risers up on there too. He's young. He's a star. <laughs> Just saying. Right? All right, Nur Sultan's making his way out. Nur Sultan, Nur Sultan, 6'5", Nur Sultan. You forget about that. Yeah, I'm still on that. That's crazy talk. I gotta go to the bathroom. Then you realize when you sit back down, no! No! You know what I mean? What up, Nathan? How you doing? How you doing? UFC Fight Pass. Hey, UFC Fight Pass Facebook. Facebook, remember, I don't see the chat, but I need to see you. So you got to walk over to the UFC, the, the Fight Pass YouTube. Just come say hello. Drop in here and you can hang out. If not, you're just sitting there watching it. Hi. How you doing? Facebook, love you. Appreciate you. Nine fight win streak. Finished 31 of 33 wins, 11 knockouts, 20 submissions. 20 first round finishes. Let that ride. He's on a 9 5 win streak. 31 of 33 wins. 11 knockouts, 20 submissions. Nurse 6 5. What? It's your birthday? Is it really, Nathan? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Nathan. Happy birthday to you. 6 5, 76 inch reach. Can you believe this? Cedricus is 6 2 and has a 3 inch reach advantage. 
pop upstairs, upstairs. I'll be throwing over and just, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Six feet two inches. Normally, Cedricus would be the taller one, but no. Plus one. He's only a plus one seventy underdog, though. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, come on now. Where's this? It'll be easier when it comes to um, the pay per views. Pay per views. Yes. Five nights, you just stuck with me. Some people like it. Some people can't stand it. I don't know. But it's me. And I sit here for seven hours and I just wrapped everybody. Because I can. Nelson, what? Nelson. Nelson. This Nelson with the win right there. Nelson with the knockout. It was a questionable knockout. The ref kind of robbed him, stopped the knockout a little, just a skosh too early, but it was still a good fight. He was he was knocking him out. All right, Lodi, what up, Sam? Uh, Sam Lodi, I'm from France. Manon's going to win? Maybe. Maybe. We'll find out in a little bit, but this, right, this fight's about to happen right here. Look at this size of Sultan as he stands in the center there. Cedricus, pop that, get that jab out there. Look at the patience. Patience. Waiting, waiting, waiting. <laughs> Look at 11. What? Wait. Huh? Fight nights, you're stuck with me. Yes, you are on the fight nights. I mean, that's how it works. Let's go. They're stuck. They're too much of this feeling out process. They wait. Oh, and then the Sultan just rips the right hand. <laughs> oh, I see Jenkins had to stop that. He had to start over. We had to, we had to get out of the way. Now he tried to come back with the, with the right left, but did you see how fat? Look at him. Boy, there he goes. Papa he's trying to throw that jab to the belly hole right upstairs. Look at that time. He probably he started comes in with the lead hook. So different attacks. Rusey Boyev has got different attacks already. There you go. That time he rips him with an uppercut. Man, you got to loosen up a little bit, Cedricus. There you go. Be careful. Don't come in like that. He's leaning in. He's throwing a jab and leaning in. He's going to get hit with that uppercut. You're going to get racked. That Be careful. Then don't cover like that with your elbows open. That uppercut's coming. See, like there, he's got, I'm telling you, he's got to pop that thing. Throw that, throw that jab towards that, those hands. Let him do that again and rip that right hand right up the middle. There it is. See, he just about did it right there with that uppercut and the hook. Come on, Cedric. You got to relax, relax. Pop that jab. Boom. Circle a little bit. Walking him down. Look at, see, he's doing it every time. He's going to, he's going to nail, he's going to dial it in. Once he slows it down a little bit, he just throws that jab and gets Cedricus to do this one more time, and he just got to rip up the middle and hit that uppercut. Yeah, he does. He got it. He's got it. Look at there. He tried to see Cedricus tried to come in with that jab. He's got to be careful with that lead hook. But boom! What did you? Is it stanky? Man, you got to get a fan or something. There you go. Now faint come with that lead hook, but Cedricus covers up. But see what I mean? He's doing a good job of covering up. But now we need offense. Offense, Cedricus. Oh, don't let him just rip that right hand like that. Even though you block it, it sounded like it hurt. Stop it. Stop it. Circle. Just a little bit. Circle. Circle, Cedricus. Circle. Circle. Walking straight at him. There you see. There's that uppercut again. There you go. I like that. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. We got an eye poke. And then he tried to take his head off. Referee's not calling it. Referee's not calling the eye poke. Cedricus won. And, referee, and he looked at the referee again. Referee said, no. Down he goes. He's going to cover up. And they're going to stop it. They're not going to call the eye poke. He wanted an eye poke, but you don't get to. You don't get to. You don't. 
He's, he is claiming an eye poke. He literally looked right at the ref, and the ref went. And then he, he turned around, and he said, eye poke again. And the ref said. And then he got cut. That cut was from a punch. Oh, wait a minute. So was it a... Okay, wait a minute. Maybe it wasn't a... Maybe it wasn't a, a, a poke, but it was a, he pumped him in the eye and it cut him. So watch. So let's see. I, I've got to figure out what happened. Oh. It wasn't the side that was cut. He scraped, he scraped the eye a little bit. See, look, he's going the wrong side. The, the finger scraped across the face, but it was the other eye. Wait, I'm confused. Oh, he kind of, it, oh, wait, that, oh, there it is. Is he's falling backwards, maybe? As he was backing out, maybe? Well, they're not even, they're not even, they're not even questioning it. They're not even asking. You can't ask, that's the thing, you cannot, remember, you don't get to call your own fouls. You don't get to call your own, you don't get to call anything. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't get to call it. Get mad at the referee, man. You can't, you got to protect yourself at all times. Damn it, Cedricus. Anytime. He's like, we'll run it back. Oh, we'll run it back. Let's run it back. Chance, in your opinion, who's the baddest man in the UFC? Like, what do you mean? Baddest as in best? Baddest as in ass? Baddest as in you bad? Like, you're just, you're just a, a rebel? You know what I mean? Which one? I don't know. The baddest? I mean, I don't know. Who's the baddest? Bones Jones. Baddest man on two feet. Bones Jones. How you like that one? How you like that one? Does that sing awesomeness? I still can't. Oh, that is Victor Hibero. That is Victor Shaolin Hibero. That is who that is. That is Hibero. Victor Shaolin Hibero. Fought in Japan. Did he, did he fight WC? We're going to run it back. We're going to run it back, he says. You know, look that up. Look that up. V, v, Vitor, Victor Shaolin Hibiero. Thirty-two stoppages, two stoppages in a row in the UFC. Finished thirty-two of thirty-four wins, twelve knockouts. He was, was he a W Shaolin? Maybe something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a referee in this. He was the ref in that fight. He refed it. He's a jujitsu. Yeah, he's good. Jujitsu wise, he's sick. Japan, he was good too. In Shudo, back in the day, that was another one. Didn't realize, never, I thought I was waiting to have to fight him. Um, good luck, translator. I need that hat. Bisping, let me keep it. We'll see how good he is. No shot the translator gets all this. He makes it up. And he just said a lot of thank yous. Thank you to the president of our country. 
He barely, he barely, look at him. I love it. Um, now, see, look, we got to try to see the hands. I mean, it, it, it scraped like this. It was, it, it definitely scraped. I get it. Like, I mean, it was a swat. Now, it, but when it came back, it never touched him. So it was the first one that swatted. No, it was a pinky. No, it was a pinky. You, we could see the pinky. There it was. It was a pinky. It was a pinky. That was that was the pinky. Finally, they finally found a good camera view. It was it was. I'm gonna get you guys get tired of me saying it. It was a pinky. It was a pinky. That last one showed it perfectly, one love. Then it, yeah, the last one had it. The last one showed it perfectly. No more. He can, this boy can talk. I just don't know what he's saying, but he can talk. He likes it. Look at him. He's fired up. Bisman, get your mic back. Look, Chad's like, nah. This is great. So, so the translator to the translator, look, he wants to talk more. He wants to talk more. Now he's clearing people out of the way. I, wait, is there a boo? I don't know if there's a boo or what's going on here. Bisping took his hat. My man. Bisping just took that hat and ran. My boss. There you go. <laughs> Bisping just took that and just rolled. Yo. Uh. Uh, uh, that uppercut though. There was that uppercut. So shots. Look, he run, what I say was going to happen. Al, I or not, what did I say was going to happen? It was a matter of time. He keeps doing this when he kept covering up with his elbows open. He got ripped with an uppercut. Like he got ripped with an uppercut. Boom! It was going to happen. Ripped and busted that nose. It just it tore up and broke the whole thing and man busted him up. But like I said, man, you just gotta you gotta just freak out more and run away. My eye, my eye, and just run. Brandon Allen and Chris Curtis next weekend. Oh you know I man. Ooh, Hofstra. There's some wrestling. Chris Weidman. Look at this. Look what we got. Look what we got. Chris Weidman, Bruno Silva. Weidman, Silva. Can it be protested after the fact to the commission? Yeah, you can take it to the commission. If you can find it, prove it. Yeah, commission it. Go to town. All right, did the ref did the ref stop this too soon? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, connections. See what I mean? Look at where the ref is. Oh. Look how the ref's standing. This is what I, I was like. He's already ready. He's already making up in his mind. My man is ready. Look, he's ready to stop this. And now we're gonna oh, And then look, he stopped it as he's backing up. Look at him. What up, ref? You, hey, Mike, what? You need that ref in your fights? Right? <laughs> when you're clocking somebody, unless it happens to be on the other side of it. But that was like we were talking about earlier. Like, he's so close to, like, he's doing the right thing, right? But he, he definitely, he errs on the side of caution. He goes, he's on the, the, the almost too cautious. You know how other refs are. They're on the other side. We're like, yeah, he can take this beat and he can get, well, he can get five more. So, we're, you know, it's hard to be that right in between. You know what I mean, Davis? But that one, he did it twice. He stopped him really. The first one, I can see why he stopped that one because of the way that he fell. But this guy, I figured, like, in my opinion, you could maybe say differently. I would figure you'll fall. Like, yeah, you're moving backwards. You're awkward. You're trying to keep your balance. But if you still got the, if you still got the ability to keep your wits and stay on your feet, 
then you're all right. You're hurt, but you're all right. Once you fall, you can stop it. Oh, yeah, it's too hard to be a ref. I wouldn't be. A, that's what everybody asks. I would never be a ref. But I just, in my opinion, if it was me, I would have let you, as long as you can stay on your feet, even though unless unless you come to a stop and you just start taking the shots, then I'll stop it. But if you're moving backwards and trying to gather yourself as he's charging you and he's trying and he's hitting you and knocking you off balance, then I'm, you know, I'm going to let you keep going as long as you're able to stay, move backwards and stay, you know what I mean? And stay on your feet. Many you get up against that fence and stop <laughs> and fall. Then that's then I'm then I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. But you can tell, like you can tell. Look at him. You can tell. He is like, put the camera on me. I am like he is already. He's like he's right up in there. What's that? He protected him. He was on again. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm saying. He, and, and that's okay. This is, he is, this referee, what I love about this referee is he is that example of, yo, how you doing, Raven? He is that example of stopping it just a, mm, too early. How it's like, and how it pisses people off. And then you have the other great examples of those that stop it just a bit too late. The perfect stoppage, I don't think there is one. I, I mean, there is... When people are like, yeah, no, and I was like, oh, I'll tell you which one. Hold on. I got one. Here's the perfect stoppage. I think this one was warranted. And we got Davis, so we can ask him. But I think, oh, hold on. Man. Let me do this. I think he did all right on this one. Oh, oh, he's got oh, oh, oh, this is what we thought we might get from the start. Wow. Oh, oh, wait, that was, okay, hold on. I'll get it. Give me a second. It's here somewhere. All right, here it is. Now, you see how he was scrapping, and you see how he was staggered back, and see how hard, do you see how hard he fell? Now, that, I could see why they, I could see them, I could see why he stopped that one, because of the way that he fell. Oh. Oh. But I also didn't see him right in there, right off the bat. My man has to come running across the damn cage. See what I'm saying? He was butt scooting, but see, I can see why you would stop that one. The fighters' corner didn't argue the stoppage. No, for sure, that either one of them. I, I don't think they're going to. But that I'm just saying, you see the difference. That that was like in my eyes, that was a that was a. I think that was a perfect stop. You fell and you fell kind of hard. You fell hard. That was. A, I think that was a great stop. This is my example of a great stop. So go back with the Algio. Just let him fall. What? Aljo was going to get a TKO either way. Get TKO'd. Well, yeah, but that's not, that's here nor there. That's not, that's absolutely not my point at all. I'm just in the belief that then you'll fall down and you're TKO'd. That was it. Whether or not he was going to continue to take the beating or he was going to come back or he was going to be able to do this or that, that's not what I was ever saying. All I'm saying is that was an early stoppage, and I'm not saying it was a bad stoppage. I'm just saying that was one of those ones that you could let go just a little longer, in my opinion. That's it. I'm not about, oh, well, he was going to lose anyway, so uh, whatever. I'm not, I mean, I guess, okay, but point is, you know what I mean? That's kind of what I was, that's what I was talking about. Weidman's talking now. The rest will tell you uh, backstage that if you get to the point where you can't defend yourself, he's going to stop it. So if you can defend yourself, you better show him that you can't. Exactly. Now, but I'm with you, Kelly. But see, being able to move back, and even though he was getting, even though he was still off balance, he was still moving 
away. He was still trying to retreat. And when you stopped, he's looking at you going, all right. But yeah, I mean, he, he was sloppy, but he was still moving. When you fall, boom. All right, now I'm good. I'm that, that, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. <laughs> yeah, man. But it goes back to the conversation that we always have, which is you're always just one or two punches from that fight either being stopped too soon or that fight being stopped too late. You know what I mean? It's tough being a ref. Tough being a referee. All you got to think about is, is Congo versus Barry. And even though he was staggering, they still let him move because he was still able to get back to his feet. And he was still being able to get back to his feet. And he was still being able to scramble. And he was still being able to try to move, even though it looked horrible. And he staggered all over the place. <laughs> uh, hot Jens, if Weidman loses, do you think this is the last fight in the UFC? I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. How many losses is this? No, I'm going to get teary-eyed already. Stop it. My reason is, will the pleasure man get cut? If so, why not give him more time? I get what you're saying. I get it, but I, again, it's just the way that he fell. Like, when you fall like that, and the referee watched, see, okay, I don't know if you, like, a lot of you probably, I don't know if you're around for it, so my opinion is, when it comes to the referee, when you get Hit with the shot. And hold on one second. Bruno Silva's on a 14 first round finishes. He has 14 first round finishes. Finished 20 of 23 wins, all knockouts. Second most knockouts in UFC since 2021 with four. My point is when you get punched, right? And you go back and you start falling, that referee's like, and he sees that. And the way that you land, he has to make a split second. Oh, no, I'm done. But he was already making his run. He's not going to stop. You've seen a ref once or twice literally like hop out of the way like they didn't mean to stop it. But that's why. So, again, it's I, to me, it's, it's always the way that you fall. The, the way that, and I'm not saying you're selling, but the way that you fall, the way that you react to that shot, that referee sees that. It's like, oh, he's limp. I, I'm going. And the fall back the way he did with that big, loud thud, he's like, I'm not even going to find out. You know what I'm saying? That's that fine line, that split second. If you kind of stagger, like Aljo, you stagger and you're staying up and you're trying to survive and you're staggering and you're trying to move and you're still staggering around and you're off balance. Is he going to get his wits about him? Is he going to get his wits about him? Maybe, no. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Am I just talking? I feel like I'm just talking. <laughs> Now, Jamal Hill versus Johnny Walker, follow-up shot, yeah. But did you see the way it almost looked like a joke? I thought Johnny was clowning the way he sprung back like that and fell. I thought he was kidding. Because you know how Johnny Walker plays around? I thought he was joking. Like he was, like he was, being, like he was being funny when he popped up and the way he fell. <laughs> I didn't think he seriously fell. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I, man, F, yeah. You remember that? I thought he was joking because he always clowns around and looks around. And I mean, he, he blew out his own shoulder doing the trying to do the the, the damn centipede. It did. It looked like a terrible movie scene. That's my point. I <laughs> it looked like it did, man. The, oh, we got the Wonder Boy. Oh, we got. Oh, this is happening. And then he, then it's like his body quit working, but the way it shot straight, and then it's, is that Marab back there filming? Yes, he's standing up filming. All right. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yes, you remember the fight with Burgos? That was scary with that delayed one, Kenneth. The way that he, the Burgos delay was freaky. He stood back, and then his body, just, he just, and then he went halfway across the ring, the cage, and fell down. That was nuts. Like his brain just quit on him. So, yeah, we done. Look at the watch, really, man. He's cracking me up. Chris Weidman, former UFC middleweight champion.
fifth most performance awards in UFC middleweight history with seven. Takedowns in UFC middle, most takedowns in middleweight history with 42. Most takedowns in UFC middleweight history with 42. So he's not trying to put any expectation on this fight. If I feel good, I'm here. If I get run over, I'm done. You know? Yeah, that was Wonder Boy Mega in that, yeah. All right, 39 years. He's 39 years old, 6'2, 186, 70 in his reach. Look at that, Bruno, though, 34, 6 foot, 80. He's six foot one eighty six, seventy four inch reach for the Bruno. Negative two hundred favorite for the Bruno. Middleweight division. You know what used to be funny? Man, I remember being a fighter. FSU, Nate, how do I do? I hope you're well. Being a fighter, like going to these, like going to these other shows when you're not fighting, like yeah, that was your job. Show up to the shows, fly to the UFCs. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Now I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, maybe. Mm, nah, I'm gonna sit right here. I enjoy this. I like my seat. I love streaming. Did you fight Weidman? Why do I gotta fight him? He's 186 pounds. He's in the cage right now. 186 pounds. Edward J., what last fight? He says he's not saying anything. He's not putting any on there. He's just, you know what I mean? Would I get, yeah, I still would. I just, I got family, man. My wife, my wife is, she's in the, she works in the hospital. So. Been all right, man. How did my fellow, your, wait, who's your fellow Canuck? Would that be the, would that be, what's his name? Kyle Nelson? Kyle Nelson, right? From Canada. Nelson's from Canada, right? All right, here we go. Where he started his career. He's holding the center. He's keeping that arm out there. He's going for a high kick. It didn't snap. I'm, I'm already happy. I'm already happy. All right, here we go. Yep, I said it too. They're bouncing. They're bouncing. They're bouncing. Reaching. Reaching. He's been throwing as hard as he possibly can. He just threw a teep up the middle. Whoop, oh, oh, whoop. Sylvie, you better circle. There you go. Here it comes. Look, he's got that USA Wrestling tattoo on his shoulder. All right. I, too many. Oh, I regret not getting that nice kick right there, though. Good kick. Another kick. Weidman with another kick on right hand. Silva's hurt. He puts his back against the fence, trying to throw him back. But look at He's getting with these kicks. Weidman. You're going to get that right hand there. Do it. You won't do it. There you go. Get heavy on that head. Throw some knees. There you go. Front headlock. Standing front headlock. Going to try to snap him down. Not yet. Throw some knees. There he's up. There you go. Keep ripping knees. There you go. It's crazy because all my man's got to do is drop a knee, but he won't. There we go. Let's get that cradle. Let's take that cradle. His head's going to pop out. Grab that double leg. Pull it off the fence. Get it that bit. Get that double. Nope. Silva's going to pull him up. We're going to get in that over-under position. Now he's going to get double unders. Oh, no. There we go. Over-under still. Does he? He does, right? Oh, he's got he's got a bar in the leg. He's got a bar in the leg. I didn't even think about that. Oh, there we go. Try to take him out. Oh, we're gonna take his back. Why? He's got his back with the leg in. Those punches looked so on the back of the head, but I know they weren't. But it looked, it looked salesmanship. All right, got to press. Silva's still up. Silva's getting back up into his, getting back into it. Does he, I'm asking, does he not have, does he got a rod in his leg? I don't know. 
So he's just doing a good job of being heavy, like just holding on to that body, not letting him, not letting him stand up. He's got the back. He's controlling the hips right now, and then Silva's kind of got his hips up, pushed against the fence. Wide was just being heavy on that middle body and just kind of wearing on him. If anything, right now Silva's carrying his weight. You know what I mean? He's just kind of hanging out there. Now we're going to throw some left hands, Chris. Now we're going to throw some left hands. Here we go. UFC fight week. Look at that. I like it. All right. Peel him off the fence. Peel him off the fence. Huh? Explain the hand down rule. You can't knee or anything when the hands are down. I think it's I think it's dumb. I think it just needs to be your knees. If your knees are on the floor, fine. But if your hands are there, you should still get kneed in the face because people play that game. The knee, uh, hands down, not down, hands down, not down. Nah, you should get blasted. Blasted right in the head, If your hand, even if your hand's on it. Drop to a knee, and then you can't knee to the head, personally. Yo, Matthew, how you doing, Matthew Chambers? All right, now you got to try to grab that body leg, lift him up, lift him up. There you go, just start throwing shots right there, popping left hands. Free left hands, Wyman. Sit over there, pop, pop, pop, pop. Hit those lefts. Peel them off the fence. Peel them off the fence. And he's just stuck there. You know what I don't like? Silver's just sitting there. He's not moving. I know, I know Weidman's applying a lot of pressure. He's heavy on the lower, on that back like that. And he's just sitting there. He's stuck. He's just sitting there on his hands and knees, on his feet and hands. Hands and feet, there it is. It took me forever. And just walk on, he's just stalling. Chris got to do something. And he's just sitting there waiting. He's like, I'm not making the first move. You make the first move. But the reality is, you losing the fight, so you're going to have to do something. Now you get need. You're getting need in the uh, back of the, need in the hammy. Huh? Imagine putting a hand down in a street fight. Well, that's got nothing to do with the MMA. Why would you do that in a street fight? Shouldn't be nobody should be street fighting anyway. There we go. Oh, short time, short time. He's gonna get knees to the back of the thigh. There it is. What do you mean? It, this is, this is. Um, man, I just said his name like six times. I already forgot what it is. Awareness is the key. Keep the fakes going. They like it. They like what they're seeing. They like what they're seeing. UFC Fight Pass YouTube. Hey, UFC Fight Pass Facebook. How you doing? You know, if you come over to the YouTube, Fight Pass YouTube. Yes. Is that a 10-8 round? Oh, what? Oh, huh? Man, that should be a 9-9 nine, nine round. What do you mean, 10-8 round? He literally just pushed him up against the fence. The dude sat there with his hands and feet on the canvas, just getting kneed in the back of the leg. Did Wyman wrestle in the Olympics? I don't know. He probably wrestled nationals and all that. I don't know if he's on the Olympic team, but I know he's a college wrestler and stuff. All right, here we go. Oh, big kick caught by Silva, taken down. Weidman worked his way back up. Did he limp? Did he limp on that kick? Oh, good right leg. Good kick, Weidman. Silva caught the one leg kick. See, I found this weird. Every time I've watched Silva, I'm not seeing this knockout artist that he's been. I just That's just why... His last fight, he lost because he's just, I don't, he's just sitting around watching stuff. He don't do anything. It's weird. He used to have a lot of KOs. He don't KO anybody. He's just standing there, like trying to react. He's just reacting to everything that, that Biden's doing. Now he's not limping. I thought that for a minute. He's just kind of sitting around. Huh? Congratulations. Yeah, no, I'm not itching all over the place. Yeah, dude, that whatever that was, it was itching like all over. I wanted to sneeze. It was horrifying. 
But I had to say it because it was a crazy, crazy scramble. I was on the struggle bus. Then why you have to say something? Now I'm thinking about my nose again. Damn it. Stop it. And the referee is Copeland. What, Jan, do you know those knockouts come a lot easier at the lower levels? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But he's not there. Now he's trying to, now he's trying to, but see, did you notice, like, he's got 14 strikes. He's got 12 significant strikes. He's not punching. This is round two. He's not, he's not doing anything. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't, where are your feints? Where are your circling? Where are your setups? Where are your combos? He's not, he's not doing anything. He's just, he's not throwing anymore. That's my point. He's sitting back and he's waiting for, he's just waiting for, for, for Wyden to come in and do something. I don't know. You know what I mean? There he charged forward quite a bit, but that was the only thing he needs to, he's got, he's, he, it's like, he's just kind of standing back and, and just watching this fight. He's just watching this fight go away from him. You got to do something. You can't just let Weidman just step forward and win on ring generalship. Not that I'm not rooting for Weidman. I'm just saying. Now we got an eye poke, bad eye poke. And they are booing. Boom, big right hand. Oh, he put the thumb in there, though. He put the thumb in there. You put your big boy thumb right on that eyeball. That's a whole, not even a finger. He's asking for a towel, 100%. What's wrong with you? He's looking at you going like this. <laughs> yeah, no, he's taking a break, 100%. Oh, he wants to wipe his eye. Let him wipe. There it is. That's all he want to do. Let him wipe. He's wiped. He's wiped and he's ready. There we go. That makes sense, man. Wipe it. Why not? That's why they allow you to wipe it now. You can wipe it. Hey, you can. Oi! High kick for Weidman. Now he's starting to look at it. Now Silva's pushing forward a little bit. I think he's overexerting, but he's, he's, he's pushing forward a little bit. High kick. Look at that. Righty versus lefty. They're playing with they're, they're playing they're playing fingers. They're playing fingers in that with the uh Front hand, why was going to try to drop into a single? Denied. Denied. Boom, there's a jab, Wyman. There's a jab for Silva. There's another jab for Silva. Great jab. Oh, he tried to do that jab cross and bring the leg. He tried to kick at him. Wyman was going for the head kick. Oh, oh, ooh, two big shots landed by Silva. Wyman backed up. Wyman cracked him with the jab, though. Oh, he's stumbling. What are you stumbling on? What the hell? Man, there's a good kick, Weidman. That's crazy. Silva just throwing some shots and he just stumbles off to the side. Oi, belly. Oh, man, Silva is just, you hear him? Like, he's just, he's swimming these punches. He's lobbing that thing out there, not moving his feet. Oh. Get that jab, Chris. One blocked by Silva. Silva tried to swing. There we go. Another left hand lands. On the other fight, I'm surprised you are not coaching some of these modern champs. Carolyn, one day I will. I'm not. Oh, left hand landed for Silva, but then look, Wyman brought it on. He fired a right, and then he tried to fire a left. Oh, he moved out of the way of all three, but he ate the knee. <laughs> Weidman moved out of three of them and then ate the knee. Oh, back him up. Weidman's against the fence. There you go. Hit him with that left hand. There was that right hand counter for, Sil for Weidman. Silva's going to pick it up a little bit. Slip underneath, slip underneath. Oh. Oh, you didn't get out of the way of that left. It got you. You better look. He's covering up. Oh, there you go. One, two, one, two. There it is. Wide, turn it up. Short time. Turn it up. Body. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, Silva, Silva was playing possum. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, Yeah, no. 
Uh, Carol, I will, I'm going to start coaching later. I became a volunteer coach for the high school wrestling because the, these are the, my, fresh, my son's a freshman. And I just absolutely refuse. I refuse to miss this time. I will not, I will not miss this time and wonder later on where'd the time go. You know what I mean? I'm spending this time with my son. And that's, again, why I love being able to do these streams. And I love being able to stay at home. And I love, you know what I mean? I, get the, I, get, I have the ability to stay home and raise my kids. And then, and then, once he graduates, then I'll start coaching. Because that's every weekend. That's going to fights all the time. That's traveling all over the place. That's, you know what I mean? Then I'll be raising all kinds of little world champions all over the place. But now, but see, that's why, yeah, they're all, I've got all the wrestlers now anyway. So that's, I'm just recruiting all wrestlers. I'm going to have all the top wrestlers in Iowa. Some of them are going to come back from college. I have them too. Oh, you were going to go with that high kick. I mean, there's no way they're not giving this fight to Weidman so far. How many rounds is this? Three rounds. I, oh, he dropped this time. He said, both you guys did it. We got an eye poke. He didn't. It was a punch from Silva. No, he didn't poke. He punched. One punch, one poked. But I don't see... Oh, there it is. Copeland, you're wrong. He didn't poke him, dude. He punched him. Oh, no. Well, but that's okay. The thumb, but it's, it's, but it was, he was holding like this. He was punched. He wasn't, he was still in a fist when he punched. That's, a, that's, how does that work? You know what I mean? With the thumb, and he didn't pop it out. The thumb was just right here. He had the thumb like this, and it just, Boom. It went in, you know what I mean? It goes in, but the way that it was sitting, it's a trip. It went in like that. That's a trip. I don't know. I don't know. Double eye poke works, though. So now they're going to pick it up. They got short time. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yo, Tilt Slick, yeah, much love and appreciation, yeah. That's pretty badass. Congratulations. Oi, high kick Silva. Right hand Silva. Why would, still back there, pawn that jab, pawn that jab. Doesn't matter, he's not losing this fight unless, there you go, Weidman. All you got to do is stay on your feet, Weidman, and fight yours. Slide, slip, slip. Oh, oh, there you go. Look at it. He, he, he swatted at him. That was good on the eye, double eye poke. I mean, I didn't even see it with the one. He looked like it was his glove until the very last one about that thumb getting through. You know what I mean? On the punch. It was crazy. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, right hand. 
Puts him down. Right hand puts him down. Weidman's got him hurt. He's going he's gonna to stay there curled up. Ref's going to stop it. Look at He wants the eye poke. The referee, he's crying about the eye poke. Calling it a stop. Done. He gets it done. He gets it done. That's got to be a feeling. Nice job, Weidman. Nice job. Nice job. He wants an eye poke, and he doesn't he can do what you want, man. He's been crying about his eye poke the whole time. Weidman walking around the cage, walking around the cage. Crowd is going nuts. So what is happening here? Oh, he put that middle finger right in his eyeball. Oh, then he puts his pinky right in the other eyeball. Oh, he poked both eyeballs. And that's why he dropped. And then he fell because of the eyes. And they're saying it was a punch that wasn't even a punch. He poked both eyeballs horribly. Boom, boom. And then he pawed. And then he threw a punch that didn't even land. And he fell down holding on to it. And then he started trying to cover up. And the ref missed the whole thing. This ref is having the hardest time of his life. They got to turn it into a no contest. Those are two eye pokes. He literally went boop, boop. And the ref missed the whole thing. The ref missed it. You can't restart the fight. But you got to go back to the eye pokes. And it wasn't even a punch. He didn't even get punched. The ref doesn't even know what happened. How can he rule it a foul? Someone else has to go in. Someone that's been sitting at the... Some, we need a new ref. We need the other refs. The one that's watching the monitor ref. I, I know they have one. They have to have one. We need the monitor ref right now that can come in and override, right? Or something, maybe, right? Do they have that? Like the monitor ref? This is all right. That's it. I'm coming in. Peep, peep, peep. <laughs> Double eye poke KO. Double eye poke KO. They have this replay and they have to watch it. And once you watch it, you'll see it. There was no punch. They weren't even punching with anything. But it goes back to that protect yourself at all times. You do not get to be the referee. You cannot, right? A lot of eye pokes. But you cannot. Nope, they're going to call it TKO. So then they're going to leave it. This is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. They don't care. They love it. Who cares? Video six is your next one. All right. Whenever you can wait for them to play it. Yeah. This. Watch this. You can't drop. See, that's it's what he said. You can't drop to the ground like that if your eye gets poked. You just don't. You don't get to do that. You got it. You don't get to just drop down. You don't get to drop and flop. 
you got to, you know what I mean? You can't drop and flop. You got to protect yourself at all times. And, you know, I mean, I get it, but they should have. But I don't understand the whole idea of the replay. Like, why do you have that camera and the replay if you can't? No, I know what I'm saying. If you can't, like, change it right there, like, what's the point of having that other camera? There should be two people sitting out there. We all could see it. You know? I mean, well, I could sit here and watch it. I could see it. That makes... It is weird. He said he's Carolina, Chris. A lot of eye pokes, a lot of eye pokes. I wish, I don't understand, all I'm saying is, I don't understand, like, where is the person that could have said, like, where's the override? Where is the override police? Right? Like, somebody should have been, don't they use, they, can't they go to the camera? Can't, I mean, they go to the, they go to the monitor and watch, like, what we just watched, they showed us, you could literally see, he, he one hand, one hand, both went in, both went in, like, you could see it. Maybe, it's like, you should be able to have the override, Right? What? No content takes away the win bonus? Maybe. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Gary Copeland has called a stop to this contest at four minutes of the first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Kyle, the Monster Nelson. I'm here with the winner, Kyle Nelson. Kyle, congratulations. As you can hear, the crowd isn't happy. You're not the referee. Your job is to fight. To doing that, you were doing fantastic. Teeing off with massive shots. Give me your thoughts on the whole situation. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was having the time of my life in there, you know. I was just throwing punches, and, and man, Bill's tough. He was eating them, but I was going to go all day long, and I was just going to pick up the power, and, you know, it was a matter of time. Uh, I think the ref did his job, uh, but I got to thank my coaches, Adrian, Helene, Lowell, my fiance, she's watching the fight somewhere with my my brand new baby Knox. Corbin and Griffin, I love you. Remember, kids need their fathers, and 50-50 custody should be a standard. The crowd liked that one. So, what would you say to anybody that criticizes that stoppage? Because you were connecting, you were landing big shots. So, take a look at the big screen, walk us through it, and then give us your thoughts to any criticisms. Yeah, so anybody that's got some criticisms, I, I can be back in this octagon next week if you want to come on down. I'm here and I'm ready. So I think that was perfect. Yeah, you like that, eh? Yeah, yeah. Let's go, Atlantic City. That was a big win. Billy Algio, he's got a great reputation, tremendous fighter, got a first round stoppage. Who do you want next? I think uh, Nate Landwehr had a good knockout earlier, and I think, I think me and him would, would match up really well. So uh, what do you say, Nate? Let's do it this summer. All right, well, sign me up. Congratulations on a great victory. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Kyle the Monster Nelson. Sign me up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Victor Rivero has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nersofan Black Rosebo. Hey. hey, you still listen? Good. You still in the game? I know you've been in it long. I've been in this for six years, bro. Hey, I respect you, whatever you get what I'm saying, but we're going to run it back soon. I'm here with the winner. Nersultan Rosaboyev, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Thank we'll you. talk about the stoppage in a thank second. You. Let's go. <laughs> that is now 34 wins, 32 stoppages, and two stoppages in a row in the UFC. Give me your thoughts on your success. <laughs> Brinjolunda 
Muhtaram Prezidentimiz Şokat Muramanoviç'e, Otebeyeki Umarif'e, Üstadlarım Begzot'a'kem, Kodinif Nodrak'e, Vlad Hakim Şurat Koşakbaoviç'e, Kalağı'da rahmet ayetim ben doyum kolla kodlap duruşalım. İyi, bu Philadelphia'da Amerika'ya gelenimde akamız var, Azamat Asad'ı diyen doyum karaşı duradı, o akamızı yad düşü rahmet ayetimiz. İyi, zalımız Marcos Ememe, en zor zal. Şipanin partiyorlar, Jopayver, Şombredi, Ceramaya, İtso, Andrei Petrovski, Kudokolisi darçı bölücü top kekilamız inşallah. John Kovçka, John Wenge, Bob Rakan, Bollar, Hamege Rahmat. Thank you to everybody, thank you to my family, thank you to the team, thank you to the president of our country, thank you to everyone who supported me, thank you very much. The fight ended in kind of a little bit of controversy. He was complaining about an eye poke. But that's not your fault. But give me your thoughts on all of this. Uh, It was, it was a fist. My first punch was a fist, so I got him in the face with a fist, and now I with a fist. You have a tremendous record, two UFC fights, two stoppages. How far are you going to go in this organization? Gerald Marshall, King is here. Bizos Bey Solis Fortune Youth Gun, Gerald Marshall. Jared Mershon, this is who I want. I want Jared Mershon next. Sully call out. Congratulations. Oh, no more. This is the boy, Yebichan. Oto onam ge. Uzbek zonda kolla kolla durga. Hamma ge rahmat ayda man. Primer fillerde korup durga. Şeke ge ge Uzbeklar da hamma zige. Tocikistan, Kırgızistan, Kozakistan, Uzbekistan, Tocikistan. Thank you everyone who came here, all the Tajikis, all the Uzbekis, everybody who's here to support us. Thank you very much. Congratulations on a stunning performance. You want to talk more, Ladies look. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. Run from. Nur Sultan, I don't know what he... Then he got booed. I don't understand what the heck's going on with all that, but he got booed. What is this? What? All right. All right. All I got to say is. Where is my Luke social? That's it. No, which one? Which, what is it? Number is it? Snoo? There it is. I What's the question? Now. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All I'm going to say is, all I'm going to say, if I get, if you want me to talk about it, if you all, you all talk about eye pokes, eye pokes, eye pokes, eye pokes, eye pokes. Have you ever, have you ever poked eye poked four times in a fight? Not in a fight. No, I've never, no. But I have, I got, I got my eye poked so bad in a fight. I kept going like this, trying to protect my eye. And they were letting Sakurai still keep punching me. And he kept throwing shots at me. And I'm trying to block him. And I'm trying to block, block. And then I started throwing back and I'm blasting him. I'm trying to rub my eye. I'm punching him. I'm trying to like, oh, I'm rubbing. I almost had him knocked out. And then he just ripped my eye. And I was like, I'm trying to fight. And I'm like, I can't see nothing. So then they end up stopping the fight, but I move around. I'm like, he gets me taken down, and I jump to guard, and they stop, and I was like, oh, is, we're done? All right. So now they have me in the back, and they want they wanted me to start to do an interview. And I'm like, all right, hold on. I, I got something in my eye. I think I have a hair in my eye. I go, I got a, I go, I got a hair in my eye. I, got, I go, come on. My eyes kept burning. How can I get some? I need to wash it out. So I start washing the eye out, 
And I'm like, nope, it's not helping. I'm like, I can't, I can't see anything. I can't do anything. And it's starting to burn. I'm like, I gotta, I got, you gotta take me to the hospital. So now they take me to the hospital. And they fill my eye with dye. And they'll say, well, when they put it up on the monitor, they go, if there's a scratch, it'll, it, you'll see it with all the, with the, with, you know, the, the coloring. My whole front of my pupil was gone. He dug, he scratched and took the whole front of my pupil off. Gone. I had to have an eye patch. I was going to have to get my gosh dang. They, like when it healed up, I had double vision. I was going to have to get laser surgery the whole nine. And I didn't even get a timeout. They didn't even let me get I didn't get a T.O. I got nothing. I just had to defend myself. I had to keep fighting. So I'm not listening to anybody cry. I'm not listening to anybody cry. I'm not listening to anybody feel sad. I'm not feeling bad for anybody. You shouldn't have plopped face down when you got poked in the eye. Deal with it. Stand up and defend yourself at least enough to let them know, man, my eyes hurt. You don't just flop down there and expect them to stop it. You know what I mean? I had to stand. It sucked. <laughs> it's, it hurt so bad. It was horrible. I Okay, now here's the worst part about it. This is no lie. So in Japan, they wouldn't give me any eye number. So I had to fly home. Now imagine this. My eyeball would scab up, and every time I moved it, it's like ripping the scab off. And it was the most painful thing I ever, ever experienced. I had to fly all the this way is home. Video six. I had to fly all the way home before they would, and they go, "Why didn't they just numb it?" Yeah, they didn't. Hey, but you know what? I've got a video for this co-main event. We'll talk about it later. Check this out to the top of the rankings and fighting high level fighters. Everybody knows my game. I have a lot of skill, enough skill that I can finish. Among the more exciting fighters, regardless of division in UFC history. Everybody knows that I'm not here to play. Oh, look he's got it, that's tight. I'm here to go to war and it's either me or you. Wow. Vicente Luque. It's gonna be me every night. There's a lot of respect on this man's name, Vicente Luque. 13 first round finishes. Oh, beautiful left hook. That's it, that's it. He just knows how to find the button on people. If I can get the most knockouts, the most submissions, the most finishes, I'm looking for that. This fight with Buckley, I think it's a really interesting one. Go out there and getting a dominant win against a dangerous guy like Buckley can just showcase everyone why I'm here. Everything that I do and how I do it, a lot of guys cannot withstand that pressure. He goes above and beyond to make people interested when he steps in there, and his fights speak for themselves. My hunger and my motivation gives me a lot of drive, which makes me a very dangerous individual. This is everything that I've worked for since I've been a young kid, and now that I'm here, oh my God! it's that time. In all of his fights, the majority of them, somebody goes to sleep. It's the style that he has. Oh! Wow. Head kick! Ain't none of these boys that want to step and stop me. I say nobody. The things that make me so dangerous is that I'm willing to put it all out there. With me coming forward, there's a lot of dangers that might come my way. I actually welcome it. Oh! That's it. That's it. Joaquin Buckley! When Vicente Luque is locked in that cage, he will realize there's only one way out. However the scent they want to come, it doesn't matter. We're going to stop every style that he comes with. He's going to try to take me out of there as quick as possible, and I'm going to have an answer for that. The shots that I'm going to be able to deliver, it's just a matter of time before he breaks. I got to be there and do what the silent assassin does. I'm willing to take it as far as I need to go. Making his way downtown, walking fast. But, you know, the one thing, it was, it was getting out of hand. It was getting out of hand with that eye poking in that fight. It was getting crazy. It was, that was nuts. I don't know. That, that, that whole thing, was, that was just a weird vibe, wasn't it? It was just a weird vibe. Either way, it happens, but... Now we've got Joaquin Buckley. Joaquin! I love it. I mean, nothing against Vicente, but Buckley. Let's go, my... Let's go. (laughs) 
Now, he was out there partying at the pool. He looks all right. No, where was he at? He was partying at the pool like a couple hours ago. Four R, yeah, man. Four eye pokes. That's just too much. That's just too much, right? We can't, we can't be doing that. We can't be doing that. What up, Ryan? Ryan, how you doing? How you doing? But we'll see. We'll see. Got to do it, man. Why not? Huh? What was the worst? Your eye or the eye? No, the eye hurt worse than all of it. The reason why the ball hurt, but they gave me, they, they hit me with, they gave me morphine. So I don't remember anything. Joaquin Buckley, though, back to back wins one of five finishes UFC history by spinning back kick to the dome. Third highest knockdown rate amongst active UFC middleweights, 1.05 per five, 15 minutes. No, so here was the problem. The reason why was because I had to go all the way home. They made me fly all the way back to the U.S. And my eye, every time I'd move it around, it was like ripping a scab. It was so painful, I could barely deal with the pain. I wanted to just punch myself in the face and knock myself out. It hurt so bad. And so when I finally went back, I set up and did it. I had an appointment with the eye doctor that next day when I got back the next morning and I rolled in and the first thing they said to me was, why didn't they numb it? That had to be so painful. And I just about shit. I'm like, what? Why didn't they numb it? Because they didn't think it would heal. So I had to sit there for two days in the most pain. I've never been at the, it was, it was horrifying pain. It was like ripping a scab on my eyeball every 20, every, like every hour. It was every time I moved my eyelid, my eyeball, it would just rip off. And I'm just, oh, it was, and I would just sit there and I didn't know what to do. Like it would make my nose run. My eyes, it was horrible. Finished 19 of 22 wins, 11 knockouts, 6 submissions, tied 5th most wins in UFC welterweight history with 15. 3rd most performance awards in UFC welterweight history with 8. That's why I literally, when people ask, I literally tell them that eye, that eye gouging was the worst. It was the worst thing I've experienced in my life. It was horrifying. Horrifying. Horrifying. <laughs> what? What? Oh, it was t oh, oh, eye pain. And I had a big old eye patch, and then I was going to lose my vision. My vision is piss poor now. No, it's not too bad. I tried to use my foul, but I, I didn't even get a pause. They didn't even give me a timeout. I got nothing. I didn't even let me take two seconds. Now, now keep going, keep going. I'm like, yeah, all right, fine. I just kept, I kept, kept fighting. Whatever. They said, I'm missing. I can't see. I'm missing and stuff. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. Almost bad as the nut shot, but the nut shot, I, they put that in the damn, the morphine took all that away. I don't remember even how, I don't even know how I got back. I don't even remember getting home, let alone being home. Baby toe on the table. Ooh, that's a tough one, but nah, not me. Oi! All right, Buckley. All right, Buckley. Vicente Luque, Buckley. What? Um... What up, Cutthroat? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Wait, what do we got? Round? Okay, everything's good. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Buckley. A lot of us look forward to these watch songs, gents. Thank you for doing these and giving us some insight. Hey, thank you for being here. Thank you for talking and thank you. Yeah, man. Thank you very much, Fight Pass YouTube. Get it bigger. The more we have, the more we grow. Let's go. I'm here. I'll be here every weekend with you. As long as you all show up. If you don't show up, there ain't no reason to be here. I'm out. Ooh, all right. A lot of movement. A lot of movement so far. Moving around. Right? Slipping. Why didn't they numb it? Because they said it wouldn't heal. 
I don't know. Japan did me dirty. They just said it wouldn't heal. They didn't. It would mess with the healing. So they made me just. <laughs> they made me just ride it out. Like ah, this is terrible. The flight alone was. I think what the flight's like twelve or thirteen hours. I was. I. I have no words. The amount of pain. I came. To, it's like like I said. Every hour, ripping a scab off your eyeball. Just rip it off. It was terrible. The amount of tears and the snot that would come out of my face because I was in so much pain. I was literally like, it was dumb. But Joaquin tried to get inside there. Oh, oh, there we go. You got that left hand through there. Buckley got the left hand. Oh, man. Well, tooth pain's pretty bad, too. But, yeah, tooth pain's pretty bad. Tooth pain's bad. Try to avoid that. But the eye was, that eye was my worst. Oh, look, he tried to come with that right and left. I like that combination. Buckley damn near caught him. But look at that. Be careful, Luke. Luke lunge in with one shot at a time. Buckley starts cracking if he can hit with these three, four punch combos after he gets in. Let him, watch him. Just close the distance, Luke. As soon as you pull that jab, Buckley rip him with four. Get in there, Luke. Go. There you go. Oh, he ripped it with three off the kick. See? Get in there with the jab and watch what happens. He's going to watch it. Buckley's going to wreck him. Get in there. Let's go. In, in. Let's go. Kick that leg. Kick that leg. Let's go. Yeah. There you go. Wait, wait, look at that. I see he's punching from too. Now he's punching too far out, and Luke was able to pop, pop, land those. You know what I mean? Land some, land some shots. Buckley's got to get inside a little bit. Sidekick. Pop that jab, get inside, bait him in, pull him in, and then let him, then, there, now, ah. What? Coach, time didn't start for the first round? Okay. What? Talking about. I don't know what to tell you, man. If the time ain't rolling on your, on your stream, then, I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm absolutely right on. Was that a stagger? I don't know if Buckley let him back up. What did he go down for? He slipped, tried to let him back up. Let's go. Try to throw the right and come back to Hey. Throw that right hand. Let's go. Still moving, though. Look what we got. Buckley. Walk him down, walk him down. Side to side. There you go. Oh, he just moved out of the way. He's doing great angles, but he, he kind of he angled too far away from him, so he couldn't throw the punch. Just got to make sure he angles and gets in and closes and gets in the disc where he can throw. Try to throw a kick upstairs. Fail. Hall of Fame, June 27. June 27. Touch it over him, right? No. Oy, that kick, though. Yo, Terp, P-M-M-A. How you do? How you do, Terp? What's going on? Hands up. Walk me up, Jens. I got the, I got the what? Sport 360 on? It's, it's right now. Time. Fight. 21. Huh? There you go, right, left. Outside. Oh, he tried to go underneath, tried to go for a single leg. Luke wants a single. Buckley's not going to let him with the sprawl. Hit the switch. He tried to go for the switch. Luke got that single and switched to a double. Peel him off the fence. Peel him off the fence. Oh, hey. <laughs> Luke, they're very, they're being very, very, very patient, man. Less people in the 
Huh? And then the fake YouTube dudes. Huh? That's fucked. Please, guys, get behind the old OG of the fight sport. Why? Are you, don't tell me how many people, how many, what? Is there not very many people in here? I don't know. I don't watch. I don't see numbers. He gets weaker, we get stronger. He gets weaker, we get stronger. You know what I mean? That's what I'm after. But I liked it. I liked it. Good first round. UFC 300. Ooh, let's go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sidekick. See, 140, what's wrong with that? That's good. Double jab, double jab. You just listen to me talk. Step inside. There you go. Body, body. Oh, trying to get that jump. Do you see that? Bouncing in, bounce up, trying to hit that jump knee. I like it. I like it. Oh, but other YouTubers have 800 plus. Oh, that's all right. I'm three weeks into this whole thing. Now you gotta give me a gotta give me a year, right? I gotta have at least a year. I'm only three weeks in. All right, we go. Come, let's go. Who's winning? I can't even, I wouldn't, you know, to be honest right now, Dice, I have no clue who would be winning. They're literally even in total strikes. They're throwing back and forth. It's crazy. You know what I mean? But I do understand what you're saying, Turby. I got it, man. Maybe from way back. Started watching UFC in 97. Love it. Coming to love, love your fight. So I appreciate you, man. Thank you, though, Turb. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. Big, sh come on, man. Where would you see? That's what I'm saying. I love the, the amount of people that are here. That's enough, man. One person giving me their time. Greatest gift on the planet. Love it. This should only be a three-round fight. These two are literally just sitting here, shadow sparring in front of each other. Significant strikes, 30 to 27. They're not doing much. They're just they're doing a lot of moving, a lot of defensive, and trying to land one, two shots at a time. Somebody will be able to land the one shot. We'll see what happens. There we go with the body shot. Oh, look, he's trying to step in and load that lead hook. Keep walking him down. Buckley, throw that left. Buckley swinging that one heavy shot. Luke better make sure he keeps his hand. And now Luke throws the right hand. Right? Now Luke throws the right hand. I like that kick, though. Now he's going to pull the guard. All right, we're inside the guard. We've got some ground and pound. He's curling up, though. Wait, do, who's the referee? Oh, wait, it's, it's, it's, it's. All right, big shot, no nonsense, right? The other one's going to stop it. There we go. Come through, come through. Look, he's got the ground up there. He's got to make sure he doesn't cover up too much. And, right? There we go. He's got to figure out. Mensa's just throwing those shots. Let's go, Buckley. Keep throwing. They're going to stop it, Luke. Look, at they're going to stop it. He's just keep throwing. They stopped it. He just laid there and didn't get up. He just laid there and didn't get up. Just laid there and didn't get up. Look at him. He just... Nice job, Buckley. Nice job, Buckley. Dang, man. Sucker punch went 2-0. Look, he shot in. And he just blocked him. And then he just pulled him down. And then he just started getting ground and pound. Couldn't get up. Couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. 
Jez, you know who the only what? I missed that. You got to ask that again. So yeah, he just covered up and never tried to do anything. And then Buckley just kept throwing, kept throwing, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Vicente, man, you just it seemed like you just done. He just got swarmed, but yes, he didn't even try to kick away, push, he didn't try to do anything. He just done or something, tired. Whatever. It works. It works. Doug didn't do a good one on that one. Y'all had troubles on it? No, oh, I get it. I get it. Ah, that's crusty. Don't get me wrong. I wanted Buckley to win, but that's just crusty. That Duque, he went for a shot, just got denied, fell backwards, and then just curled up and... You know what I mean? Good enough. Good enough. Well, evidently, he didn't get worn out by the pool. You know what I mean? He didn't get worn out by the pool. Matt and Daddy, hey, real people know where the legend's name and where they fight him. Oh, Jen, it's the only YouTube. I appreciate you. Love yous. Love yous. No, I love it. Appreciate y'all for sure. We'll get there one day. We're going to have plenty. If we hang out and, you know, we build it. You build it. You can help us build it. You can share the information. But, Doug, I think new gents, you had, had enough to leave? Yeah. Who, what? Yeah, we, oh, about the next fight? We'll get there in one minute. Three minutes. Are they both of these new? Nurselton? We, did we do Nurselton? We did or didn't. I don't think we did. All right. Oh, oh, oh, oh my goodness. He stopped to look at the referee for an eye. Oh. Sure he's showing up a great chance. Look, he's looking away. And, oh. Look, Ibiano's like, yeah, I don't care. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. He stopped to look at the referee for an eye. Oh, look, and right there, he did it again. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. He oh, oh, my, oh, oh, my goodness. He look, right here. Look, he's looking at the ref. And the ref's like, nah. Doesn't matter. I don't. It don't matter. Don't matter. Three for an eye poke. Do that though. Is there's that uppercut? And now he's gonna get a knockout out of it. The Suta Rusi Bolev again in the first round. Certainly showing up a great chin. Oh, oh my goodness! He stopped to look at the referee for an eye poke. Do that though. Is and now he's gonna get a knockout out of it. The Suta Rusi Bolev again. First round. Ref said attack. Dude, that's that's that's Vitor Shaolin Hibiero. MMA. Long time. Been fighting. That's Vitor Sha that's Vitor Hibiero. Showing up a great chin. Oh, oh Shaolin. Oh he stopped to look at the referee for an eye poke. Vitor Hibiero. Oh, do that though. Is he's oh. not the oh. and now he's gonna get a knockout out of it. The Suta Rusi Bolev again in the He was not impressed. You know what I mean? First round. So, I don't know. He's calling out, he's calling out Anheuser Bush. Change. Remember the good old days when there were no rules and you could literally kick people in the balls? And kick people in the eye and, and pick people in the eyes? Yeah, no. You could never do that. Not ever. In fact, those are the two things that you couldn't do back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Jens, huh? My mate just said uh, to me, who's that Steve O from Jackass? Made me laugh. He's not as huge as uh, you Steve O. Steve O's my doppel. Steve O's my doppelganger. Me and Steve O have been, we've been, um, that's my doppelganger. I've done the I've done watch songs with Steve O. It's awesome. I know everybody says, 
I look, I, I guess I look a lot like Steve-O. I don't mind such things. I don't mind it at all. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, but yeah. Now we had no weight classes. Yeah, no weight classes. And there was a lot of, a lot of rules, but we're okay. I don't know why that, what happened here? That one don't work. Yeah, they already dipped it. They're like, nap. Aaron Blanchfield, who we got? Who we got? Let's go, Blanchfield. Ooh, Aaron Blanchfield. All right. Hey, I got a video for you real quick. Check this out. Speaking of Blanchfield. What? Beat up. Cold blooded Blanchfield, and my dad actually made it up. I remember competing in like grappling competitions, and I guess I had like a pretty stoic face. Like, I, I never really changed my emotions, like wins or losses. Um, I remember th him saying, like, oh, it's like cold blooded. And I remember when I started fighting, and they like asked if I had like a ring name. My dad was like, oh, you should use that. It like flows good with your name. So I wrote it down once, and I, I like the way it sounded, and it's stuck ever since. Erin Blanchfield at her cold-blooded best tonight. I feel like it does describe me in, in my fighting style. I have a good poker face and I know how to work through it and I feel like it talks even to like my style. I'm very persistent and there's nothing that stops me. I have cardio for days and, I, and I, I'll always put the pressure on everybody. You know, I'm trying to just stay centered and, and think about everything I've trained and what I want to implement and then I know once the fight starts that I'll be flowing. Old UFC was like a street fight-ish. Old UFC had moments. There were some things that, yeah. Like, we went back and watched them. You could kick them in the, yeah. Like, they was punching in the sack. They had all kinds of craziness. You could hold on to the cage. You could use it to pressure down and smash people. You know? Um, hot gents, what? That time when Penn was being a, on top during the fighter picks? Oh, yeah, that one, Festios. I still bitter about that with him. We still talk about that. I, we watched, we watched, we watched it again. And I felt that, yeah, I felt that little burn, that little, you know what I mean? That little burn. Watching that, I, I didn't. Yeah, certain things just stick with you. You know what I mean? Certain things just stick with you. Can't, just can't ever, can't let it go. I'm with it. Chins. Wild ride with Steve-O would be, hey, man, I'll rap with Steve-O. We'll get at him. I would talk to him. I'll let him know he's my doppelganger. Dude, I'm telling you, doing the watch with him was hilarious. Hilarious. All right, but hey, we got one fight left. You know that? We've got one fight left, and guess what I have? I've got a video for you to check out. Is it this one? All right, well, here you go. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'll see you afterwards. One more fight. Manon, the beast Firo, everything is geared up for this to be Firo's coming out party. And this is a massive step up for Manon. Well, it's a star, you know, in the United States and even here in France. I think I've beat a legend, I've beat a woman who's already been champion of UFC. I want to do the most combat possible, but I want my combat for the ceinture after this combat. When I look at Manon, she is so excited. She's aggressive. She's nasty. She's big. She's powerful. Oh my God! Que je pense de la catégorie flyweight, il y a beaucoup de nouvelles filles qui arrivent, qui sont fortes. Just dominance the whole time. Beautiful technique on the feet. C'est pour ça que j'ai j'ai envie d'avoir cette ceinture et de la défendre contre toutes ces ces nouvelles filles qui arrivent dans cette cette catégorie. Oh my goodness! Oh! Barrage pointed on! Wow! What a fantastic performance by the Frenchman Manon the Beast Fierro! After this combat, there will be no doubt that it could be the ceinture. I think I would have beaten all the filles of the category, so it will still be the ceinture. I'm telling you, Fish of Fury! I feel like right now I'm somebody that everybody expects to get like a title shot within like my next fight. I knew that Manon uh, Farat was the only other girl that people were kind of talking about deserved a title shot, and I knew that fighting her would really solidify my spot as the next title contender. She is a stone-cold, baby-faced gangster. I feel like I showed the world that 
I can strike with great strikers like a Jessica Andrade. I can handle that pressure and I can perform under any circumstances. The bright-eyed 24-year-old Erin Blanchfield, standout technique in grappling. What makes me a dangerous fighter is my persistence and how I'm always chaining everything. And that's it! Wow! Oh! Cold-blooded has reached a new level. I think it's funny when people doubt me and, and the quick rise that I have had. That's tight. That's high elbow. She tapped! So if you still doubt me now, you're silly. Alors, euh, mon adversaire, Erin Blanchfield, elle a beaucoup de victoires à l'UFC. Elle est invaincue comme moi déjà. Mais euh, je pense avoir plus d'armes. Moi, j'ai hâte de faire ce combat. That's gonna do it! The beast again! I'm gonna show that I deserve this title shot with a win and with a finish. There's the tap! Wow! She dust her shoulders off. Mon rêve, c'est d'avoir cette ceinture. Le plan parfait, ce serait du coup de gagner ce combat par KO. Oh! I want it to be an iconic performance, something that really puts me on the map. With five rounds, I feel like there are going to be so many opportunities for me to find that finish somewhere. Ooh! Ooh! All right, it's about that toy. It's about that time. Here it comes. Who do you all have? Who do you all have? Blanchfield Manon. Let's go. I've had Steve O. Turpy. That's I've done I've had Steve O twice. I've had Steve O and um, CM Punk. That's a, I, but I, I have had this Tivo. It would boost the views. What would the Stevo? Probably. But I've had the Stevo. We'll get there. We'll boost it. We'll push it. I don't know. I like the like. I like the people I'm chatting with right now. You know what I mean? Since you and a few others fighters brought different styles in, I, I get it. I get it. Yo, you know what, though, Manofiard? Longest active win streak in UFC flyweight division with six. What? 11 fight win streak overall. What? Second largest strike differential in UFC flyweight history. 2.74 per minute. Did you know six wins by knockout? Thank you, Comanche. I appreciate you. I think I'm doing fine too. But I get it. They, they go, they see the fight past YouTube and they're like, there's not enough. There's not enough. Like, I, I understand. And I, I'm, I'm all for it. Could UFC help get fighters on? What do you mean? I have guests when I do the uh, pay-per-views. Otherwise, it's just me. I mean, but I like that. It's just me hanging out with, with chat. I hang out with the crew. And it's what I do. I've had, I do guests when we do like 300 and stuff like that. And then everything builds up and piles up and it gets a lot bigger and, you know. But these are fight nights and I like the fight nights. So I'll just slow grind because I enjoy what I'm doing. I'll just slow grind. I got Tatiana as a guest. Well, that's my point. See, that's why, look, here's the one thing. What I love this is what I love about this. And I don't go by numbers. What I go by is, and this is what I've always done. So I'll let you know just really quick. There's a reason why I don't do numbers. And I don't look at numbers and I don't put anything about numbers. Because I want to treat one person like I would treat 10,000 people. 
because the fact that you are giving me your time, it's the greatest gift in the world, time. Money can't buy it, and we always wish we had more. The fact that you're giving me your time, greatest gift in the world, and I will treat one of you like I would treat 5,000 of you or 10,000. I don't care. The fact that one of you is in here, that's enough for me. And as long as you stay active and give me someone to talk to, that's all I need. See what I'm saying? So it isn't about that. I have more than enough because I have, think about it. I have people that come in here and we talk and watch the fights together. And I get to talk a lot. See what I mean? That's why I love it. That's why I love it. And that's why, like, a lot of people would get pissed off because I pause and, you know what I mean? I pause and I stop and I make sure I talk to everybody in chat. And there's a lot of people that shit pisses them off. They can't stand it. Stop pausing the fight. Stop pausing this. Stop doing that. Shut up so we can watch the fight. I mean, get all kinds of shit. But that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to treat everybody in here with respect. I'm going to remember their names and I'm going to make sure I talk to them. Longest active win streak in the UFC flyweight division with six. About to make it seven, maybe. Nine fight win streak overall. Ooh, second most submissions in UFC flyweight history. Highest control time percentage in a UFC flyweight history with 55.1%. You know what I mean? The numbers are great, but I know people that have numbers and they're they, whoever they are, but it doesn't matter. I'm very happy and content right where I'm at. I love it. I love it. This is going to be something. Jens, drink of choice. Um, well, right now that Herba Mate, the, the, the Shimahau, I'm, that's, I'm trying to work on that. I do a lot of water. A lot of water. 24 years old, 5'4", 125, 66-inch reach for Blanchfield. Ooh, she got one inch longer reach. Manon is 5'7", 34, 10 years her elder. 65 inch reach from unknown. This is number two versus number three. But if I had to do like a drink of choice, it would definitely be my coffee. <laughs> I don't drink that. Me, alcohol. Bleh. Vitor Ribeiro gets the last call. Ooh. Well, I put in, like, I do, like, I put in, like, I got certain things I put in the water. You know what I mean? You don't like, <laughs> it's says Vitor Shaolin Ribeiro. Did you look him up yet? That's all I'm saying. Um, I do, yes, I do have a creamer and a, um, and skim milk. Here we go. Here we go. Is he gonna do we get a one foot? Are we gonna bunny hop? Yeah. He jumped. My man jumped. What the fuck? All right. She's 24 years old. She's 24, Chad. She's 24. Yep, in 2021, who's Jens? He's stupid. Shut up and play the fight. Stop pausing. Because see, what I like to do too when we're doing breakdowns and stuff is I pause the fights and I break them down. I rewind them and stuff. And people would say, stop pausing the fights. Press play. Shut up. And they'd be like, really? All right. You know? Uh, Matt, what up, man? Jens, you were a great coach. on Thank you. It's dirty out, BJ, did you, when y'all were picking fighters? Yeah, it sucked. Who, who am I on this fight? Blanchfield. I like Blanchfield. Look at, let's go, little Blanche. I mean, she's not Tatiana Suarez. That's my, yes. But this right here is, she's a, she's a close second. Let's do, let's do. Aaron in trouble here? Probably, but we're going to find out, Edward. I think this is a great, this is a great fight for her. You know what I mean? This is a great level for her. Because look at Manone. Holy shite. 
<laughs> Holy man. When you size them up, uh-oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you were to go by look, uh-oh. If we had to go by, by look right now, we're in trouble. She's looking up at her. Yeah. This is 100% the grappler in Blanchfield and the striker in Manon. But we'll have to see because right off the bat, look at Manon popping that jab. Blanchfield did just come in with the leg kick. Manon fired a fast left, though. That was quick. Be careful. Ah, see, I don't like how you're kind of flinching your way in there like that, Blanchfield. Manon's already getting that one, two, one, popping them off quick. She's making you look slow. Let's go. There you go, but she's, she's seeing it, but you're still moving forward. Let's go. Ooh. Huh? When I was 16 watching you fight, I never in one million years thought I'd be asking you if you put creamer in your coffee, and that's why I like <laughs> Oh, there we go. We got a clinch. <laughs> Let's go. She, there it was. Look, she tried to land that left. Blanchfield's trying to pump. Blanchfield's going to stand with her a little bit. Get in there. Pop that. There you go. Watch that hook. I don't... There's something going on with the hook. It just looks like Manon. There was a right leg left. I mean, a right kick left. Right hand left leg. Sorry. Blanchfield, look at that. There you go. See, Manon got behind, picked you up, and just slammed you. But it's right into a guillotine. You messed up. No, Blanchfield's got a guillotine, but she's only doing it with one leg, one leg. Oh, now she's got to flip her over. She utilized it. Keep that on that front headlock. Snap that down. Snap Manon down. All right, we're going to push her up against the fence. You're going to keep this lock. She's going to keep the lock. Now she's going to try to switch it. There she goes. She's going to go with no arm. She's going to try to jump guard. She got guillotine. Are you going to try? Manon's got her pushed up, fighting the hand, pushing up against the fence. Blanchfield freed up, reached inside. She's trying to look. Did she get her arm back inside? No, see, she's still inside. If she can move that shoulder, she'll get that high. She likes that high. There it is. Oh, nope. She got out of it. Back underneath. Underhook for Blanchfield right there. Now we're going to get that body lock. We're going for the double. We're going to go to the single. Manon's going to try to stand her up. Oh, Manon's going to try to stand her up. Blanchfield's holding on to this single. Let go. Throw. Nope. We got a break. Good job. <laughs> Everything good. Everything's good. Now we're back to the center. Try again. All right. Oh, Blanchfield tried to throw a jab in there. Manon lets that right. Look, she let that left go. She popped her. Blanchfield ate it. Just walk your way. There you go. Don't. I don't like the way she. I don't like how she's blitzing in because that's it. Manon's cracking with that left hand. She's like she's blitzing in with her hands open, her chin up. I don't like that. I wish Blanchfield would subtly, you know what I mean? Try to subtly get in there and. I don't know, circle a little more, but she's kind of running straight at her. She's running right into that left hand. And remember, when we were watching these fights of Manon earlier, she can just, at one point, she'll just open up 60 punches. It's ridiculous. There you go. Look, she's moving back so fast, Blanchfield can't even close it. Add a feint. Add a feint in there. Circle a little bit. Look at that. The kick, right leg. Yeah, don't get frustrated, Blanchfield. Just keep doing it. Just keep pushing. There you go. Watch that side kick. Watch that side kick. Oh, Blanchfield's still stepping in there. Look at it. She steps in, gets the body lock over on her position. And there you go. Okay, they were both trying to throw on the break. They're both trying to throw on the break. Sick. <laughs> oh, I like it. Yeah, they're not setting any of these strikes up right now. Blanchfield just bowing in, just bow, just going in. And Manon's just trying to counter him. Then that was crazy. They were both throwing right there with that over-under. Look at that. There's that jab she gets out of the way. Nice jab, Manon. But it's like Manon is waiting, right? See, she times it when Blanchfield comes in. She just cracked with that jab again. So she's waiting every time for Manon to step forward. And that's why I'd like to see, like, and yeah, no, she's, 
She is utilizing the reach perfectly, like how somebody with the reach should. She's moving backwards, sticking. She's moving forward, sticking. But look at Blanchfield got in there and caught her three times on the chin, caught in the double underhooks, pushed up against Vince. But see that pressure, pressure. But then you let Manone pummel her way into an over-under. She just pummeled, but it worked, Turpies. It worked. She got her in. She pushed her up against the fence. She's got that body lock. See, that's what she's going to have to do. She's not going to be the striker that Manone is. She's got to make it ugly and just get in there and phone booth it. Pop, pop, pop. Ah, and grab a hold of her. I love it. Short time. Oh, but on the break, big right hand from Manone right there. But the one thing I was going to say about Manone that I really like is, is how she's moving forward and backward and keeping that exact range. Like I always say, there's a drill we used to do or you could do. You take like a, a broomstick or a piece of wood and you, like a two by four and you put it in between your chest and you kind of learn how to keep that, right? You got to how to keep that range. And then you let go of it and then you learn how to do the same thing. You kind of, you just keep that distance and learn how to strike. Just kind of understand what that is, how to move forward, how to move back and not, you can't push, right? Boom. I like how she caught that kick. Manone stepped in and picked her up and slammed her. But Blatchfield goes right into that lock. And Manone's doing a very good job of sliding in and out and just acting as if there was a piece of wood, like as if there's a barricade right there between you. And she's doing really good at it. But Blatchfield, see that time, bomb, bomb, bomb, popped her right in the face. I was able to get that body lock. But Manone's strong. This is five rounds. This is five rounds. <laughs> yeah, don't reach. Don't, don't get baited, right? Because that's what the Sugar Show is very good at. He's very good at getting you to overextend, a la Aljamain Sterling. He got him to overextend on that punch, thus his balance was off. And when he came down, boom, he, got, he just got blitzed with the right, with that left, with that right hand. So make sure you keep your feet underneath you. And that's what I like when Blanchfield did come forward. Punch, punch, punch, punch. Keep your feet underneath you. Make sure that chin don't pop up, right? I can see Judge going for Manone on that one. There we go. We got a body lock and a trip. But Manone reversed her. Oh, Manone, you little savage. And then she pushed away. <laughs> if you're Blanchfield, you got to be thinking, what now? The timing on that turn. Man, Blanchfield popped in. He had to take down. Manone reversed it. Turn around and just and just and post it off and stood up. Damn. All right. Manone. There we go. Now we're back inside. We got another body lock. Another body lock for Blanchfield. Manone's got one arm in. She's got overhook and got that under a little bit. Well, that'll definitely boil down to who's gonna get tired first. You know what I mean? Now, Manone, look at Manone's lunging in there a little bit. She looks, she's stepping in there a little harder. There's a good sidekick. Blanchfield, all right, Blanchfield touches the leg. Oh, oh. Oh, see on the brakes. Be careful. Get that hand up. Oh, sorry, sorry. There we go. Oh, she timed you this time. Get inside, Blanchfield. Oh. No, I had my moments, Turpy. I had my moments. Yeah, I was undefeated in boxing, too. It was fun. Oi, sidekick. There we go, Blanchard. Keep going, Blanchard. Look, just keep running at her. She's going to get tired of counterpunching. Just keep running her down. Just run her down. There we go. Just get in there, Blanchfield. Bite down. Bite down. Come on. Go, go, come on. Look at, she can't, she doesn't want to keep it up. She caught the foot and away. She's getting tired. I promise you. She moved back. She's not throwing. She's moving back, getting out of the way. Look at, there you go. You, they're getting in. You're getting to her, Blanchfield. You're getting to her. Oh, come on. Oh, that no head movement at all, Fast Jones. This is, she's just pressuring straight forward. Right now, Blanchfield is 100% taking one to give one. You know what I mean? I'll take two to give two. I love it. Just pressure. And Manon's like, I'm really not digging this. 
Or at least she looks like it. She's selling that. She's not really having fun here. Look at the way she's kind of reacting. Like she needs, look, she moved back and tried to land that check hook on the way in. But Blanche just smothering her. And it's just really starting, like she's got her like, here, we're going to deep water and we're going to wrestle. You know what I mean? Manon did a great job of defending herself and threw that kick right there. But look at Blanchfield has to do It's working, I think. She's taking her to deep water. There we go. Good kick by Blanchfield as Manon is backing up. Back to the center, back to the center. No, no head move. Just straight, just straight. She just bowls forward. That's all that matters. Look at her. She don't care. I love it. Put your chin down, bite down, and let's go. No, she can't. She has no answer for the distant management. So you just got to make it ugly. You're not going to faint your way in. You're not going to outstrike Manon, you know, I mean, in that aspect. But you can make it ugly. You're going to have to take a couple, get in there, and just bite down. Look, she tried to move away and lands the left, and she's backing up because she's slick. But then, look, you just keep that pressure. Keep in her face. Make it ugly. Let's go. Oi. There you go. She missed watching that comeback with that left. Or that right hand, left leg, right hand by Manon. Now we got the clinch. Yep. Can't she, man? It's like she's just trying to chip away, chip away, chip away at the bigger, stronger fighter. It's how it looks. You know what I mean? Look at that. Every time she gets in, Manon trying to back out with that. She's throwing that hook on it and she's backing out. I don't know. 51, 57 total strikes. This is awesome. Can you do it? All we need is we need four and five. Man, main event, fight night, 24 years old, getting paid. Let's go. I'll tell you what, Mattel, not sure how this is the main. Hey, I'm, you got number two and number three. That's how. You got the number two and number three. That's why it's the main event. You know I mean? This whole card, man, the, the undercard was hands down. Oh, my Lord, the hand, hands down the best. Yo, Festius, what up? I must, I missed it. All right, here we go, here we go. All right. I'm telling you what, I'm not disappointed in this fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm not disappointed at all in this fight. I said, it, oh, it's 2-0 Fjord. I could see it. I could see Fjord, but I could see 1-1. Because look, at they're literally tied in total strikes. They're tied in total strikes. And Blanchfield is the one pressing forward. Manon looked like she was kind of backing up and trying to counter, but like getting frustrated. You could tell, like her salesmanship. She looked like she was getting frustrated a little bit that it was that Blanchfield would kept trying to, you know, push, push, push, push. I could see one one. They're even Lost in striking. What up? What? Round three. Oh. All right, round three. Boom. She's gonna try to get in there. Oh! Oh, nice defense. <laughs> Man, Blanchfield went in for a body lock. Mano just turned and whipped her into the cage. That was insane. Oh, but that's what I'm saying, Fessios. See, chat? That's what I'm like. It seems like Manon's getting tired. But then I see her do things like this, and then she's not getting tired. Look, she's recovering very fast. See, Manon's going backwards. I don't think she's selling it. Look, she keeps going backwards. It keeps it's Blanchfield pushing forward. Like in the eyes of the judges, there was some moving back and landing three big shots from Manon. That was beautiful right there. Moving back. Pip, pip, pip. Popping her in, trying to jump that jab ahead. She's literally. There you go. Now Manon lands again. Oh, now here comes Blanchfield trying to throw the one, two, and a body kick. There you go. Those jabs of Manon. Look at that. Oh, Blanchard, you can't just stand in rage. You got to go in, in, in. Point fighting 100%, Comanche. But, and she's sticking her. She definitely, she started teeing off. Ooh, see, and then on that break, she will rip the biggest right hand so far. Look, at, just keep pushing, Blanchard. 
Keep pushing in there. Oh, she tried to blitz in. Caught the leg, threw her by. But no, I'll tell you what, though. The, she's she's winning me over. She's winning me over just as, as a fighter. Doing a great job of dealing with the strike, with the wrestling and stuff like that. The sprawling. She, she, and still being able to strike. She's, yeah. Just standing her ground in the center. And every time Blanchfield tries to pop in, boom. Look at that. She just hits that hook and spins out of the way. See how she turns out of the way? Matador in the bowl. The bowl coming. She just moves out of the way. Boom. Throws that hook and moves it out of the way. Sits back and waits. And Blanchfield's kind of... Now, I wish Blanchfield could change up the rhythm a little bit. You know, bounce in. Faint, faint. Then she's not really circling to close the distance at all. She's just kind of charging straight in. If she would try to circle, see what I mean? She just tried to just straight in. What about circling? Closing the distance while circling. Inching in as you circle. Could change it up, you know? Oh, yeah. Blanchfield's cut just on the corner of that right eye. Manon, Manon, still sitting back. Trying to catch that kick. See, then they want kicks. They want kicks from her. But that's again, I would like, I would love to see circling. Just circle. Instead of going straight out, circle and, and close as you're circling. Close this, you know what I mean? Tighten it. Circle as you tighten. I mean, there you go. But I don't know. Oh, sidekick. Oh, Blanchard runs into her, and then look, she just turned out of the way. She went for an elbow. Anything to stop the jab, well, that's it. Anything to stop the counter punch that she's moving backwards, you know what I mean? Manolo's just floating backwards, standing her ground. Then she tried to step in with that one, two. Look, she just can't close this distance. Manolo will throw one shot and move out of the way. She tries to hug up on the head. Like, she's, in, she's stuck. She's seeing it all. Oh, Fjord's in control. You can see it. She tried to tie him and rip that big uppercut when Aaron's coming in. Look, now she's timing the knee. She's timing Blanchfield. Yeah, you know I mean? what up, Fessios? She's, in, she's getting picked up. She's getting picked apart. Manon's going to pick this up here in a minute. Blatchfield's tough. She's very tough, but good body kick. I just think overall, but no, look, she's backing up, just sticking her with one, twos, and look at that, popping her with jabs. She just can't get in. And when she does come in, because she's lunched her way in, and then she just flips her off real quick, you know, flicks her by, throws her by, and like, come on, and then it goes right back to it. She's controlling the range. She, she's good, man. Fiore head, head in there with kicks. Blanche shows the blitz, but pulls back and hits a head kick. Might warn a dirty something. I'm telling you, man, I wish I was, again, I wish I wasn't watching run straight at her. I wish I would see circling. You can close the distance and circle the whole time. And I wish that would just be another way of attacking, I think an effective way. People don't just, they don't like to, man. They like to walk straight in and then walk straight out and get clicked in the head when you do. You know, it's too much straightforward. Straight forward and straight back. Like there's no no circling. Run a lap, man. Circle. Well, that's the problem. After she's in trouble now with the body lock, Manon's doing such a great job of stopping her. I wouldn't want her to go down. I wouldn't. Maybe try to hit a mid level double. Maybe tie in and drop underneath and lift up. You know what I'm saying? But maybe grab a single and run the pipe. But I wouldn't be. I definitely wouldn't be shooting where I get stuck on the ground. This girl, she's strong, man. Mano is strong. She's snapping her punches. She's look at her. She's doing a great, like I said, controlling the range perfectly. That side kick right there. Look at one, two, one. When you come in, she leans back. She's just dialed in. She's watching you. And you can see Blanchfield is like, you see what I mean? Like she's just trying to lunge in and she's trying to, it's like you're really looking at just two levels of striking. You know what I'm saying? You can just see, you can just see the level. 
She is just pinpoint accuracy, and the other ones are trying to flail in blindly, if, if it makes sense. I'm not knocking or striking, but you can just tell. You can just see it. She just comes lobbing in and just lunging in to throw these shots. And look, at Manon's just picking apart. She'll get one or two in like she just landed right there. But th look, there's an elbow. But this is what Blanchfield has to do. She's got to just bite down and make this ugly and keep coming forward like she's doing right now. Bite the down and fight. You're not going to sit out here. Look, there you go. you got to make this ugly. You're not going to outpoint her. You're not going to sit back and outbox her. It's not going to happen. You're going to do this shit that she's doing right now. Rush her. Take her down. Rush her. This is what you got to do. You see what I mean? This is what she's doing. Take a beating to give a beating. You're going to have to because you're not going to be able to sit back and just land jab for jab. You're going to get wrecked. And she's starting to do it. Look, she's doing it. You're 24 years old. Fight like it. That's what I'm telling you. You know what I mean? Round four, Jen. Gosh. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. It's the only way you're going to break her. Make Manon have to defend. Look, Manon grabs a body lock. There you go. Defend it. She couldn't lift you. Good, good. Let's go. Let's go. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Keep going. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Manon trying to get out of the way. There you go, Blanchfield. You know what I mean? You're 24. Fight like it. Get out there. You got all the energy in the world. Go, go, go. Come on. Look, at every time she tries to step in, she gets popped with the jab. She's got to get past that jab. And then it's the next punch, the punch after. There you go. Get in there, Blanchfield. I don't think Blanchfield was ready for the strength. This Manon is strong. Good, good leverage. Good job with the hips. Good job with her striking. Again, controlling the range. She's impressive. There's that jab. Manon moves out of the way. Oh. Come on. She's beating you. Every time you step in, you're getting hit once. You got to do something after that shot. You know what I mean? It should be lead elbow to the forehead. <laughs> Maybe. Here we go. Manoj has been doing a good job, but she rushes in, just turns her, steers her, and pushes her away. Oh, the right leg. Side kick. There we go. Try to see, and then she pops her head up when she throws that one, too. One, two, one. See, that's it. Like, she's moving back so fast that Blanchfield can't even move fast enough to punch and kick her. There we go. Double jab, circle. See, now, see Malone circling. Look at jab, jab. Look at those feints, those feints, boom. Pop that jab. There, look at that faint, faint, faint. I like it. Aaron trying to grab her. She can't. She can't grab her, and that's the problem. Good movement. There we go. Trying to land that left. Oh, there's a the left, right. That's real still trying to press. She just lost. There, good left leg. Oi. Lands that left leg right there. Look at that. Pop that jab. Gets out of the way. Blocks the kick. Boom. She then, oh, going for the body lock. Now she's stepping in for the takedown. Boom. Lead hook. Side kick. The hook out of the way. What are we going to do? What are we going to do, Blanchfield? Put her on the cage and start chain wrestling. Put her on the cage and start chain wrestling. She hasn't even tried. I know. She tried to body lock, but that's it. Like, she's, she can't, she just can't close the distance. She got into a couple of situations earlier, but.
She said, how, he said, how tired? She said, well, I'm not tired. I don't know what you're waiting on, but. All right, here we go. Fifth and final round. She don't get tired. I love it. She don't get tired. Here we go. Here we go. What is about to happen? Two jabs already from Manon. Boom. Cracks her with the left. I don't know what it is. She's trying to hop up what she's doing to try to close this distance. But Aaron is having a hard time trying to close this distance. She can't out pummel her. She can't do anything to her. You got the head kick. Like, this, this Manon is all over the place. Yeah, got it. She keeps pushing butt. You know what I mean? You got two, two, huh? I would have three, one, if not four, zero from a known. The problem is if you're watching this fight and you're a judge, there's no way they're not looking at it going, she's so lost out there. It's like, I don't know how to describe it, but she just looks like, just like the smaller, she looks like the student trying to fight the master and the master just sitting back, just picking you apart. I don't know, I don't know how else to, to describe it. You know what I mean? But that's literally what it looks like. She comes lunging in, and she just calmly sits back, boom, boom, and it just kicks you to the floor. Boom, boom, boom. Just calm that, boom, boom. Just sticks everything. But every now and then, Blanchfield will, will kind of will extra push, and it looks like Manon's going to break. But she doesn't. You know what I mean? Oh, Blanchfield needs a 100% stoppage, in my opinion. Boom. And then when she does come forward, it's Manon that level changes, body locks for a minute. You know what I mean? I Miss mean, exactly what it looks like. Like Blanchfield's gonna learn a lot from this. You just learn from the master. Ten years of ten years of striking, you know what I mean? And here it is. They want to chain wrestling along the fence, it's just not gonna work because Blanchfield cannot move her around. Manone has done such a good job of controlling this range and just controlling the pace of this fight. You know, it's it's crazy. Like, they want her to rush up against the fence and start chain wrestling. She couldn't get her up against that fence if she tried. Because she can't get close enough because she gets punched in the face when she does. You know what I mean? Because she's running once, she's running straight at her, which is the part is, again, I wish she would circle more. There you go. Keep coming, keep coming forward. But now, having said that, here's what I will say about Blanchfield. For 24, man, she's very tough. Really, really tough. I look forward. I, I'm very excited to see what she learns and takes away from this fight and who she becomes after this fight. I like her, man. I think, like I said, I like the way she fights. But look, if you notice, she's stuck in, she's stuck in the repeat cycle right now. She keeps doing the same thing. She's walked straight into Manon's range, gets punch, punch, side kick to the thigh, Kick and steer it off, and then it's just look, it's over and over. And then she'll try to lunge in and just throw something up there. She there she goes. Now she gets the lock, she can't hold it because she's too busy scrambling to get these these wrestling positions. Just look at that. Just boom, boom, boom. And now she just keeps doing the same thing over and over, rushing in. But I'll give her a toughness. Look at she's not backing up. She's not quitting, and I'll give her that. And you got to, like, if you were to, like I said, if you were to watch this fight, you're like, you know what? I see a lot from both of them. I see the, I see the expertise in the 34-year-old, but I see a 24-year-old that's about to be a savage. You know what I mean? Whoa, look at that. Big shot by Manon right there. And see how, look at, Blanchfield stuck in rinse and repeat. Look at her. She steps one foot in. Bing, bing, bing. There, she gets a body lock. And look how easily Manon just drops into an over-under position with her and starts throwing body shots and just controls it. She's just too big, too strong. Throws the knee. Now she's going to pummel in and get double unders. They've got to pummel in on each side. She's going to push on the fence. Blanchfield's got her push up to the fence, but there is no way you're chain wrestling because you can't do, you can't control her well enough to be able to do this. Look at that. Then she just, look, she just peeled it off. Now we got to start again. She tried to do a jump knee. Boom. Sidekick. She can't. 
They, they're saying she's got to go nuts. She can't. Look at Manon. Just pop that jab. Go. Look at that. Move out of the way. She just trying to figure out she was going to close that distance. Manon wants to keep playing with that jump knee in case she. Oh, oh! She tried to throw the tried to do this kick. Blanchfield landed the right hand. All right, but look at I love little Blanchfield. Still just keeps coming forward. You know what I mean? She still just keeps coming forward. I'll give it to her. You know what I mean? She's going to be tough. She's going to be tough. Ah, we shall see. We shall see. Man, I don't know. But before we hear that thing, so would you all say, if you were with me from the beginning, My knockout. Ebo, look at this fight right here, though. Which one was our fight of the night? Which one was the fight of the night? You remember? These guys are fun. Ended up finishing with the uh, these guys right here. All right, here we go. We'll see, we'll see. Significant head strikes, 134. Significant body strikes, 19, 31. So you, let me see. Hold on. Let me get back to this. 120, 142, 164. Arce, knockout of the night, right? Arce looked, Arce looked. Five rounds. All three. 50-45. They didn't even give her one. They didn't even give her one. Aaron had one takedown. No, it was Manon's takedown. It was a scramble. But they didn't even give her one. Nate Landwehr! Let's go. You know what I mean? Yep. Very good. She looked, she looked good. She looked good. Now she gets the belt. Look at they don't need a chance. She got a coach. I want a title. That's it. She wants a title. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, see, that was awesome. Andre Petrosi, Malcolm. What a fight. What a card. What a night. What a night. All right. She wants my I want my title. Look at, she wants the belt. She wants the belt. Well, what do we have going on with that with the belt? What do we have? 125? Right, 125? Yo, much love, everybody. All right, well, let me do this then. She did a great job with the wrestling. She did all 125, so they got to do the... Uh, they're going to do the whatchamacallit first, right? The uh, They got the whole show to go and stuff, so we'll see what happens. Hey! All right, everybody, but that. And with that, we have another fight night has come and gone. Our time has come. Where did it go? It's always fast when you want it slow. We had some fun, just you and I, but now I must wave bye-bye. We played some games. We sang a song. Sorry, so sad you can't come along. But you can come back. Twitch TV says UFC Tuesday. We'll be starting season 19 of The Ultimate Fighter. Tough Tuesday. As always, back here on Fight Pass YouTube, Fridays and Saturdays. I'll see y'all soon, all right? Y'all be real. Y'all be good. Y'all be real good. Love you. Appreciate you. Thank y'all so much for your time. As always, enjoy tomorrow. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. What the heck is this thing over here?